My bad, chat. Had to fucking do some, uh... I put some laundry in, and then I, I finally had to do these fucking Windows updates. Fucking dumb shit, dude. I've been... Dude, I, I've, <laughs> I've been supposed to do these Windows updates for, like, fucking... A week. And I know if you, like, go too long, it just auto-restarts your computer, and it's... I remember that happened to me twice during streams, so... Lower that just a little bit. Bad. My computer's finally decided to link up though on Spotify after it, so I guess you can say it wasn't all too fucking terrible. Whale, thanks for the 33 months. Oh god, chat. Oh god. Hold on, hold on. I gotta change the title. Alright, it's happening. It's happening. Hold on. <clears throat> That's it. We're fighting a war against the Russians, then we're fighting a war against the rest of the PD. You know something? It's time for a PD civil war. So what if I can't punish people from the state? I'll just fucking arrest them in the fucking streets. The peacekeepers won't hesitate to put anybody in fucking cuffs. Nobody is above Kyle Pred in RP! I don't know about it yet in RP, so it's not like we're going to be jumping into it. <laughs> but it's fucking coming. My peacekeepers will be fucking arresting officers in the street. And we're eventually going to work our way to breaking away from the UPD. I don't care if I got to be fucking detaining people in the offices of Cerberus buildings. I, I think that might actually be fucking cool. If we just start fucking doing interrogations in the fucking lobby of the Cerberus building and locking it down, taking people into offices and fucking beating the shit out of them. Dude, I don't know. Uh, I, I already have, I already, uh, why don't you, you can tell me, but I, I probably already know. I'm not sure if you notice, I don't even use a class two anymore. Well, I also don't like the way it looks with my jump, excuse me. I also don't like the way it looks with my jumpsuit. Yo, pro player bomb. Thanks for the 26 months, brother. I appreciate it. Get an actual office there for interrogation. Yeah, it would be too powerful to use, like, random offices. It'd have to be, like, set-aside offices. Dude, buy a... Dude, take the storefront, the 911R, the, the fucking uh, RRU storefront, and just turn it into a fucking PD, a makeshift fucking PD. <laughs> Server's protocol is we can put people to death. I don't know. I, th I feel like stuff like that could, would be cool, but people would uh, get crazy with it. I don't know. I am thinking about trying to get 40 peacekeepers to march on the town hall and execute Crane live on camera. But I, knew, I was thinking about... Uh, I had this whole thing. <laughs> I was going to do it as the military, though. I was going to get uh, fake documents drafted up of uh, Crane, like aiding and abetting Russia or some shit, uh, and potentially like uh, funneling U government information to Russians at the embassy, and then uh, move for the mayor to make it a state of martial law, and then execute the chief justice on the steps of the town hall in front of everybody, and then lift the status of martial law. I mean, I, I, I thought all this stuff completely out. You know what I mean? I've thought it all out completely. <laughs> Treason and traitors will get a trial. Nah, we don't need that. Dude, I always have my poker chips. What do you mean, brother? My poker chips are always here. I don't know what I want to do, though. About 100% sure. 
Don, thanks for the 15 months. I'm just going to kind of go with whatever RP kind of like presents itself. Evil Cross, thanks for the 16 months. Vanisara, thanks for the year. Appreciate those res uh, resubs, guys. One step at a time. Yeah, you can't uh, try and do too much or you'll just always be fucking disappointed. But like, I don't know what they expect me to do. I don't understand how the person that destroys their department gets moved to the top while the person that creates a goddamn force, the department that everybody would want to have, you know, I'm, I'm not going to listen to shit. I'll just, I'll shoot Bass. I'll shoot Bass and dump his fat ass. <laughs> well, your conflict RP should be good. But when somebody has the ability to completely big dick you, it kind of makes things a little hard. The good thing, though, is that you can put the, the president of the United States could come to the fucking city and nobody would listen to them over me in my department. <laughs> Fuck. You know, dude, my depa uh, Pred's department knows that... Uh, I think I honestly think that Pred's department... Wouldn't even listen to Soze over him, and they OOC know that Coil's the owner of the fucking server. So we'll see what happens. I think we can, I think we can put up a good opposition. Can't wait till we get new uh, ranks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that's what people were DMing me. That uh, that I had. Hold on real quick. Let me see something, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Which is fine. Oh, man, my nose. You need to get gold shoulder pads. Gold wouldn't look good with black and red, though. Oh, man. Hold on, I'm just trying to wake up a little bit. I got too much sleep. I went to bed at like 1, and I slept literally until 9.50. Well, more like 9.25. Ah. Judge uh, Dread wears red, black, and gold. Eh, it probably would look good. All right, so what's this? But essentially, this was the hardcore systems we were going to do. Uh, um, it's going to be tied into a bit of like the gang territories and gang sprays and shit like that. So basically, you unlock a certain amount of gang sprays. Um, you get pistols. You unlock an extra set of gang, gang, gang sprays. You unlock SMGs. And if you get the top tier, then you unlock rifles. To craft, that is. Um, but how the crafting works is... If I craft 10 guns, each time I craft one gun, the price of the rifles go up by 5,000, I think, <clears throat> with a base price of like, I don't know, 100K, 50K or something. So if they, if, if somebody makes 20 guns, um, it's going to be a minimum of like 250K for a gun. You know what I mean? So you can't just like mass produce whenever the fuck you want and shit. Uh and then I think what we got to do though is like have some sort of system where you can destroy the weapon. So, um, you know, but essentially this was. All right. So listen, I know you guys are going to say stuff. Um, um, all right. But it's honestly just like spitballing an idea out loud as opposed to having something exist in actuality. All right. But, um, I don't know if I really like uh, like that system. I feel like if the hardcore system is it is it a hardcore role play or hardcore game mechanics? You know, Tyrese, thanks for the seventeen months. Like uh, I don't know. I feel like I think I think that might be good for the current server. I don't know if I 100% think that should be like, I feel like, I think, I think if you, if people take RP seriously, not everybody's going to be walking around with an AK-47 and whoever is just like, is on the white list of the speed of that server could just limit the gun intake without giving into the masses. 
that kind of solves all the problems because the issue now is like everybody has a bench, right? I know when I first got the pistol bench, I was literally told OOC not to flood too many guns out into the streets, right? And then everybody started fucking crying. I was told that uh, there sh the guns should be to the point where you can't use them for every job. Right? So that's what I did. 500, and I disputed, uh, distributed them between most shifts. And then it changed, like, uh, in the blink of an eye. Pretty much when I stepped down was when it changed. To just mass-produce, mass-produce, mass-produce guns. But I don't think... Uh, I don't think you guys should be, like, dooming the whole thing without really... You know, because I, I think that's more of like a brainstorming idea than someone something that actually goes on right now. Well, pistols to return, I mean, here's the thing, right? So what do you mean by pistols to return? Like, what did Coyle say yesterday? Tell me. Because here's the thing. I know a lot of stuff. And I'm not a leaker. PJ, thanks for the 16 months. No class two for cops. I mean, I feel, here's the thing, dude. I kind of feel like, kind of feel like a lot of you guys kind of don't give Coil the respect that he actually deserves. I think that, uh, I think that like, I don't think there's anything wrong with brainstorming ideas on your stream and like saying stuff and shit like that. It, what it comes down to is like when something's implemented. And, in fact, all of us should probably be on board to try different things out. I feel like that's kind of a fucked up thing to respect, Slain uh, to say, Slaynor. You realize I wouldn't... Uh, I think that's kind of, you know, it's an odd thing to say. Oh, you guys are saying kind of dumb shit, let's be honest. Uh, they could solve it instantly by removing benches and making weapons millions of dollars each. No! You don't need to do that. Oh, my God. Oh. oh. Listen, if you want to fix it, all you do is you just fucking take the, you take the people that are in charge of shit and tell them to limit the quality. And then it becomes a production like anything that's like, uh, you know, anything. Like, it's based on, like, a materials market that exists. Like, materials are limited in, in a capacity. And, like, it fluctuates on the server. So, like, only a certain amount of uh, materials can be done uh, between tsunamis and then people who run mechanic shops might have to pay a little bit more every once in a while and then the the market on like uh, like the market shouldn't be completely stable for anything whether it comes to guns or cars it should fluctuate and the way you do that is like you have it at a random amount of materials that can be farmed per like tsunami you know and then all right never mind listen that was the thing i was doing is i was trying to fucking uh fight against my own market so, like, I would, I was going to, like, sell, I was going to buy materials for, like, high prices one week and then low prices one week and then blah, blah, blah. But I never got that far because I wanted to kind of, like, RP that there was, like, a shortage in aluminum and stuff like that. That was different, though. Limited amount of mats equals grinders up good. I mean, bro, you're acting like on the hardcore server there would be, like, grinders. Like, there would be people who would grind in RP, but there wouldn't be, like, the fucking, uh, let me farm materials for this person because if I give them stuff, I'll probably get a couple subs or viewers. Ah. <sighs> Amount of grinding is required to further RP. No, it's not. No, it's not actually. Not if you. Not if you make the. Huh. I don't think so. I only think that's because that's the way the mechanics are now. But it doesn't have to be like that. It should be. Uh, you know what? You guys are just pissing me off today, and I got a stuffy nose. Roxas, thanks for the eighteen months. Andalof, thanks for the prime. Temsky, thanks for the 18 months. Gogo, -Go, thanks for the 18 months. PJ, thanks for the 16 months. Noros, thanks for the 16 months. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like uh got to think a little bit more on on what I think would work. I haven't really put a lot of thought into things for a while. I kind of just been focusing on role play. <laughs> you know, who would have thought? <laughs> but how has stuff been? Bass is my boss now. Yeah. I mean, we'll see if I listen to him. And if he, uh, you know. I mean, I'm going to be fighting. Once I find out about it in RP, I'm going to be. I'm going to be fighting pretty hard tooth and nail to fucking separate the Cerberus Police Department from the UPD. And we'll operate out of the fucking Cerberus Tower and shit. It'll be pretty cool. Bass telling Pred what to do. I don't understand it. I really don't. I don't understand no election in any regard right now on the server. Like, I don't understand why there isn't an election for the commissioner position on the server instead of just, like, giving it to somebody. I feel like we're skipping a lot of RP steps, if I'm being honest, and I'm not really too happy about it. I feel like there's, like, just a lot of things that we're literally just, like, skipping. Like, we're skipping just a lot of build-up and, like, RP stuff just to, like, do things. And it kind of gets on my nerves a little bit because I don't understand why we're skipping something that could be good RP. You know? Like, you could have a commissioner's election while also having a you know, uh, chief election. But the thing is, though, I'm going to win the commissioner shit. Hands down. There's no one, no one will beat me. Soze wouldn't even beat me when it comes to voting. Nobody would ve beat me currently in RP. Mm -mm. Imagine Den commissioner. I actually think Den as commissioner would be great. I think Den would be good in a lot of positions. But I don't know. I feel like I feel like we're just skipping a lot of RP steps a little bit. And I don't really I don't really like it too much, if I'm being honest. King Killer, thanks for the prime. Fast Food Fred, thanks for the year. Andy McDee uh McDoe, thanks for the three months. What is with 5M? I don't know what's with 5M. Carmine is commissioner. That'd be funny. But I think, uh, I don't know. I just, um, I just kind of wish we were not skipping steps in RP just to do things right now, though, if I'm being honest with you. I feel like it would be a lot better, a lot more natural. But, uh, all right, let's talk about the fun stuff instead of, like, potential drama clip stuff, right? Like, nobody should really give a fuck about my opinion on anything. Out of all honesty. Even though I am an RP god. Clarkson is commissioner. I'll quit PD. I'd quit. I'm not even joking. OOC, I'd quit the fucking police department. I think it's a bad idea for him to be high command, let alone be commissioner, but that's for different reasons other than in character. Uh, so, I don't give a fuck. It's my opinion. I'm not going to shy away from expressing my opinions on shit. doesn't mean I don't like somebody. I just don't think they're good for a fucking, for a role. What do you want me to do? Want me to lie to you? I feel like that would be more disingenuous. Drama clip? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. React how you want. I don't give a shit. Pick the wrong guy. <laughs> I have an opinion on something. I mean, I'll share it. I'm not going to shy away from my opinion really on anything. I just don't, I don't like it when people badmouth people though. I don't like it when people badmouth Rami or like Coil and shit in my chat. I think that shit's kind of fucking stupid. And I don't give a fuck if people do badmouth me. I don't care about that either. Badmouth me. I, I don't give a fuck. I know. Listen, I know what most of these people think about me. 
They act like I care. <laughs> Daniel, thanks for the 27 months. Doesn't affect me at all. I sleep sound at night. <laughs> Peach, I think Peach would be good for a lot of roles. Behind closed doors. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> You see how Bench Guy makes his benches? No, I've never seen how Bench Guy makes his fucking benches, dude. I kind of like us just chilling for a little bit before I get on the server, if I'm being honest. I feel like it's pretty chill just sitting here, but I do realize it's kind of like, I'm starting to realize now it's, it's kind of like given the, you know, the drama baiter stuff that they want. Because I know how people, listen, here's the thing, right? I'm not going to change the way I conduct myself because of how people are going to react to my opinion on shit. I feel like if you can't have a discussion or like, you know, if you can't have a discussion against an opposing opinion or something like that, I feel like, eh, whatever. Making, I mean, I don't even intentionally do it. I think that stuff during the meeting yesterday was definitely going to bait some shit, but I don't even check. I mean, I just know that me existing creates it because, like, there's a vast majority of people that, for some reason, don't like me because I just don't take people's shit. And think, uh, you know, the whole, like, loud equals funny thing is, like, a low-bearing fruit of, like, a uh, insult. It should be loud equals millionaire, if I'm being honest. Like, if they're going to get it right, like, if they're going to insult, if they're going to try and insult me, they might as well leave the, you know, include the facts. You know, because loud equals millionaire, but crying pussy uh, equals YouTube commenter. Crying a relevant failure of a man or woman, most likely a fucking man in his mid 20s with nothing going for him other than a shitty job. Depressed, you know, nothing better to do. And they know it's true. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm going to be honest. My community is a bunch of people that actually contribute to society, but also have body pillows and probably now read Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm just saying, if you watch me, you have a chance of being a success. That's a scientific fact. I've looked into it. God, Chad, I don't do matchas anymore. I do sugar-free Red Bulls now. And they get me... Uh, they, I, I, actually, I like the taste. I like the taste, boys. You think I'm going to destroy my body? <laughs> All right. Maybe we should try and get on the server. Hang out a bit. Get some RP going. But I kind of like us just sitting, chilling, shooting the shit about stuff, dude, at the beginning of the day. Especially since we're doing longer streams. You know? I think RP drama all aside, right? I think every... Oh, listen. You want to hear something, like, important? Everybody has their flaws, right? All right? Including me. All right? I'm an asshole for sure. I'm an asshole that isn't afraid to talk shit to people if they fuck with me. You know, I'm not afraid to voice my opinion really on anything. That kind of is a bad trait to have, out of all honesty. It kind of contributes also to the problem. But I'll never change, and you shouldn't expect other people to change either. Fuck it. It's just the second, though, people start talking shit about me publicly that the gloves are fucking off. I don't give a fuck who it is. There's a reason why nobody does. I'm just going to put it out there. There's an absolute reason why nobody shit talks me directly. I, mean, I can deal with comments every once in a while, but there's a reason nobody just fucking does it. <laughs> you got to love RP. Dude, chat, it is so easy 
Oh my god. I got I kind of got to stop because it is so easy to kind of dude. It is too easy, man. Jesus Christ. It is just too easy. <laughs> Behind the scenes. I don't behind the scenes, I don't talk to fucking anybody. <laughs> I don't really talk to anyone. I talk to Mecca and Penta. <laughs> I hate to say, I don't think me I can't remember the last time me and my girlfriend really sat down to talk about RP shit. Actually, we talked about Red Dead stuff a few days ago. Oh my god, dude, dude, we should dude, you should make that. That would be actually funny. Kyle and a Wrangler behind closed door. Dude, that would be funny as shit. That would be fucking hilarious if you made that. Seer? I miss Seer. Seer's a good guy. Do I think Wrangler is going to betray Pred? I think the RP, I think Wrangler knows an RP that somebody has to have his back. Because who's going to have Wrangler's back if it's not Pred? Let's be honest. Andrews, maybe? He's not around enough. Penta knows that I in my jumpsuit will fight in the corner for him, for, for Wrangler. And it's not just because I'm OOC biased, it's because, in character, I think Wrangler's a great cop. It's fine, it's fine. Why do you guys keep asking me, of course, listen. Uh, what, what, the, the messages that I send people about the stuff that they're going through is my business. What, what do you, what do you want to know that type of stuff about? Like, I don't understand. Don't you feel like that's kind of intrusive to ask on repeat? If somebody's going through something... And I am talking to them. I'm not going to tell you what I'm talking to them about or if I am. No, it's been like six people fucking copy pasting the same fucking thing in chat for the last 10 minutes. Fucking annoying. Soze's got my back. I actually do think Soze's got my back. Here's one thing I know, all right? I know that Coil actually likes me. And he knows I don't break a lot of rules, but I am an asshole. Me, Penta, and Coil are gay together. Listen, those people are so fucking brainwashed over there that I do not understand it, dude. Uh, I've never seen a group of people. They are, all right, listen, the group of people that comment on those YouTube videos are the same group of people that sit in the lunchroom, see the fucking jock start pushing the bully, like start the jock bully start pushing the nerd. And then run over and then start pushing the nerd and say, stop bullying him while looking at the jock. Stop bullying him. You better stop bullying him. Just give him your, why, why wouldn't you give him your lunch money? Fucking literal brain deads, dude. Hey, Klaus, how you doing? Ugh. Wait, hold on. Hey, hello? Hello? Oh, God. Ah! Hey! Hey, hey, can you hear me? Uh, yes, sir. How's oh, hey, doing? Klaus. How you doing, buddy? Just about to... <clears throat> All right, get to work. But if I was yeah, you, was I would start leaving to. a car in Polito instead of coming here, because you're literally going to the PD right across the street from Little Moscow. Eventually, I know they're just I know the Russians really aren't known for their creativity or their intelligence, but you know. No yeah, no, no, I'm not gonna see. Yeah, I just have to come in and grab some. That is spicy stuff. today. Yeah, chat's easy to make spicy. Because I get baited every once in a while. <sighs> and also, I was trying not to dip today. I went 16 hours without dipping. 16 fucking hours. 
run, uh, run without dip because, bro, I I'm getting massive headaches, so I can't drive. I never can, uh, dude. I can never do it. Cause I know what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna fucking be a drama clip, Andy. But I also just don't give a fuck. Stop sending me Pokemon Go raid invitations. I'm not playing Pokemon Go. Lock installed on the shotgun rack. They don't have the shotguns anymore. Huh. I'm actually okay with... Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> huh. You know what? Everything is going to be fine. <laughs> you know what? Everything is going to be fine. Yeah. Oh, the rubber slug shotgun's missing too. And the EMP gun. So what are what are we doing about bikes right now? We just fucking pit them. <laughs> hey, hey, does anybody know if we just pit people off of bikes now? <laughs> London style. I feel like London style pisses people off more than fucking the EMP gun. I'd have to ask the people that frequently use bikes. Oh, I uh, why would I ask them? They just bitch and complain about everything. You thinking I'll ever get removed is fucking a joke. I'm sorry. You know who the fuck I am? You know who I am? I'm the backbone of this PD. What's up, copper? Hey, Fred, can you uh, come down to Little Moscow? We're across the stream. We have an issue. Oh, shit. Uh, the, one of your uh, have Greaves, this guy, he got taken by them and tortured. Um, If you tell... All right, I'm coming down right now. And if they t torture any of my people, I will get fucking the well, entire department. Did. All right. Well, looks like I'm going to be Ow, going into Little Moscow this morning me. and killing everybody. Sorry, Hall. I'll talk to you in a bit, Copper. I'll be there shortly. All right, her, see you. Hey, you, hey, Mueller. Hey, what are you doing? We might right? end up killing a bunch of Russians in a bit. How do you feel about going to war? Uh, sure, I'll do it. I'll, I'll go to war. Now, Sounds me like a... as the general of the military, so here's the thing, I found a loophole. As the general of the military, I was ordered not to push World War III, but not as the Grand Marshal of the CPD. Oh, the loophole, loophole. loophole so you start, loophole. The, you start the war. Yeah, it doesn't count. You're it doesn't on count, the duties of the yeah. Grand Marshal, and then the general just has to get involved because it, and yep exactly see this is why i love going to war actually do you know if we have any c4 i'm just going to drone strike their ass like obama hello i think we might move we, out yeah. mueller go get, me, go get me a c go see if you can find me uh, mueller over here real quick all right mueller go see if you can find me a c4 so i can strap it to my drone and then drone strike them yeah, I, I know a guy. I, I know a guy that I can call. And then we're going to deny them medical aid. And if they Ooh. airlift to our hospitals, they'll be shot. <laughs> they airlift to the hospital, they'll be shot. Yeah, we're going to deny the airspace. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Well, is, I feel like that's... We'll shoot down any Russian helicopters that go in or anyone who go... Or any humanitarian aid effort. I think you might be called to the Hague for that. I'm pretty sure denying medical is like a... The Geneva Convention no, no, thing. No, no, deny. Listen, I can't violate the Geneva Convention if I'm not familiar with it. Well, cool. I, I, I think we have the same like rule set here, where incom like or ignorance buddy, doesn't like buddy, uh, cover buddy, you for. Her. Buddy, you're acting like I can't just sound whoever's trying to push this to me as the general to Guantanamo Bay. Oh, look at you, Mueller. You're so sweet. Oh, say, look at you, guy. Hey, come here. Give give your grand marshal a hug. Oh. Uh, you're so sweet. I gotta go head to the checkpoint. All right. You see if you can find okay, that C4 well, for me. Keep it under wraps. I'll see. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll talk to one of the senators. I mean, it's not like we have a UN <laughs> yet.
Hey, Brad. Hey, Snow. Uh, you sell drones, right? Uh, I do. I don't think we have any in stock at the moment, though. I can get oh, some if you'd shit. like some. All right, all right. I'd like to get, like, maybe two or three. Okay. Yeah, I can get some for you. All right, thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you in a bit. I'm heading Sorry. to the checkpoint. Apparently, these sons of bitches kidnapped one of mine and tortured him. Really? When did this happen? I'm going over to the checkpoint now. I'll get the information from right. Copper if you want to come over. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just getting a vehicle repair, so. Yeah. Huh? All right, see you soon, there buddy. Soon Hope you're having a good shift. All right, cool. Yeah, you too. I'll see you soon. Good thing I don't get cold. Nah, I, I have to get uh, I have to get OOC. If I do, if I do drone strike them, I need to ask them OOC first if they're okay with it. Cause it is kind of RDM. But I don't think anyone over there would player report me for it, cause I think that they would think it's funny. I'll drone strike them and then I'll give them aid. I'll let the EMS go in and take care of them. But they can treat them at a uh. Russian hospital. I'm sure they got a little corner in there. Okay. Oh God, rent a cop is coming. Rent a cop? Do they even have cops in your country? Oh no, they're just all corrupt. Uh, hey, what's it's going on, Grand Marshal? Commander Little Big, how are you doing? Uh, Commander Little Big. I don't. Uh, you know, you, you talk about dick size for a guy that sits in the cold. That's never smart. Um, you know, I wouldn't no recommend problem. that. No hey, Jenny, how you cold. doing? Hey, we need you over there just for a small conversation. Oh, all right. I was just saying hi to the Russians. You know, I like to come Whoa. over here and look at, uh, you know, a third world communist country. It makes me feel really proud to be an American. Russia yeah. number oh. one. Yeah, yeah. Never. Never number one, actually. You know, saying Always you're number, number one, one and being number one, two different things. Oh, excuse me, pardon me. Drop it off a customer. Oh, hey, listen, if you want to defect to Russia, you goddamn sympathizer, go for it. And then if you ever step hey, foot I'm on American it. soil, I'll have you fucking shot. Uh-huh, keep oh, talking, Brad. Yeah. Oh, thank you for the So is this a military operation? All right, hold on. First off, is this real world or exercise? Oh. I'm sorry, sir. Is this real world or is this exercise? Is this a training this exercise or did this happen in the real world? Uh, I need to know. This, ha this happened in the real world, sir. Okay, so it's real world, not exercise. All right, is this a military operation or a Cerberus Police Department operation or a UPD operation? Military, sir. I'm a pull into military. Okay, hold on. I need to change. I, I leave. Uh, you got the twilight over here, right? I keep my my general garb over here. Hold on. My general pred. All right. Perfect. All right, Addies, private Addies. Looking good, sexy bro. So what the hell happened? Oh, thanks, Copper. Appreciate that. <clears throat> private Hazel have group, sir. LS military. Gotcha, Private Hazel. So, 
I'm standing outside on guard like I normally am out here. You can ask multiple officers that have passed by. I've been sitting outside for probably about two hours. Um, that being said, I was outside doing my due diligence, making sure no fuckery happened here, and if anything did happen, I would have reported immediately. He said, hey, why are you here? And I'm like, I'm here defending, making sure that no trespassers get in or out, just in case, or any fuck no fuckery happens, commanded by Nova. That's what she told me yesterday. But I do sit out here. Oh, he's like, come, come. See what's inside. You know, to make sure no fuckery is happening. So... I got invited inside, and they opened the gate. I was like, okay, sure. They would love to, you know. General would love to see what's going to... Russian motherfuckers. So, then immediately, as soon as I got inside, they told me, put your hands up. And I put my hands up and said, oh, you want to see how the cold really is? And then they took my shoes. And then they put me in, like, a little a little hole, like, you know. Like, it's, it's not a little hole, but it's like a little square, you know. They put you in a box. Yeah, in like, uh, no, not in the ground, but, like, they have a little holding part, uh, like, you know, and, you know, after that, they went ahead, you know, put me over there, they asked me what I'm doing, they took my gun, they took my radio, like, my legal gun, they took my radio, and they took my, you know, my phone, then they asked me if I was American Sky, they checked for wires, didn't have any, and then I went inside. They fed me five bottles of vodka, and they put a f look. I showed I showed copper earlier. Oh, this is uh, gross. This yeah, is gross. they put a flare to my side. Ew. Oh and they my put a God. flare. To the one by your neck. Do that one. That's gross. <laughs> put one by my Ugh. neck. Yeah. Right they there, tortured sir. an American citizen. Uh, tell him. Tell him about the other. Well, where they really threaten you? Where they? Oh, and then last last time they said they they put one to my genitalia, sir. They threatened if I didn't say anything, they they burn it off. They stop because the smell Good. of human hair getting God. burned. Good God, God these goddamn monsters! They were trying to melt his nuts off. <laughs> they put a floor to me, sir. It made me drink Son. five bottles of alcohol. Thanks for your service to the Los Santos military. Of course, sir. Anything to serve my country. <laughs> at ease, private, at ease. Has he gotten medical care? Ah, uh, he says that Nancy saw over his medical treatment of advisor. His stomach was pumped from all the alcohol oh you can see. Oh my god. Can't have this. Huh. You poor American bastard. You got lured in by the Russians and tortured. For what? What type of information did they ask you for? Or did they do it just for sport? They asked to see if I was an American spy to watch them. I was sitting out there. You know? I I'm just here to serve my country and make sure no, no more trespassers are going into the embassy to start trouble on our part. You're to here sure. to so you're here to fucking give military aid to the Russian border and how's it responded with torture. This, yes, in fact, I view, I do deem it as an act of war. But we can't escalate to World War Three. I'm glad you're okay, Private. Are you fit to return <laughs> to duty? I'm after a shower, sir. Yes. Shower and get back to work if you feel fit for duty. Yes, sir. These Russian sons of bitches! They can't get away with it! Don't let them see you get upset. They're gonna think they're winning you over. Of course, sir. Anytime I see anything going fishy around the embassy, I'll immediately 3 one one it in. Sons of bitches. Well, we can't respond with violence. Oh. <sighs> well, 
Why don't you go shower up there, Private Hazel? The general will inform the Senate of what happened. Yes, sir. No problem, sir. You <laughs> have a good one. Oh, wait, I wasn't dismissed yet. Sorry. <coughs> Look. Am I dismissed, sir? You're dismissed, sir. Thank you. That guy was gonna stand here all fucking day until you said that. Yeah, I thought about. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about just not saying, not saying anything. Yeah. Um. So I suggested Jenny that we get one of theirs and torture them, but then I guess that's already happened. Oh yeah, yeah, we already yeah, did that. Yeah, we've done that a bunch of times. Yeah. So I don't know. He's like our resident uh, war crimes expert now. All right. Oh, you I'm going to enlist you two into a military was... operation. Oh, my um, God. Okay. We're going to reply. We're going to respond to this. Um, I'm going to take a page out of the Obama playbook and drone strike their asses. We we'll have then, drones we'll then basically. Oh, yeah. I can get them. Okay. We'll drone strike their asses, say that it must have been a... Uh, we'll blame it on... I don't know. We'll blame it on somebody. Well, I'll, I'll get documents drafted up. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll give them uh, basic uh, health aid. And um, right, right, you know, right. we'll just go they from there. And... I want to avoid... Uh, you know, if we, we'll blame it on someone else. I'll get the documents uh, drafted up and then... Everything will be fine. Don't worry about it. Once I get a uh, authorization from the Senate to commence the uh, covert drone strike in the dead of night at their checkpoint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, looks like we're going to have some American casualties as well. Then we're going to roll in and be like, oh, but we're good because we, uh, we're going to give them aid. Unfortunate for Private Hazel, Absolutely. if he happens to be too close to the, to, the, to the checkpoint, he might get caught in the drone fire. But God damn it, oh. that's what he signed up for, to give his life in the name of duty. That's how the American right, right, right. military works, Copper. Well, he has to three on one, and whether or not it was successful, anyway. So. Lateral American damage. We'll just give. We'll give his corpse a goddamn purple heart, and everybody, nobody will ask questions. Twenty-five you're day having, and a purple you're having heart. having issues today. Oh. Yeah. Very poppy. Fucking Windows update. <laughs> oh, dude, isn't 11 so good? I don't use it. What are you talking about, dude? It's the best. I don't know what I You're use. I'm, I'm going to be You're honest. I have, I have no idea what I use on my computer. He's still on XP. I have and no idea graded. what I use. I'm, I'm just being honest here. But I'm going to try so, and get uh, authorization from the Senate. Um, hopefully what we can do is commence a drone strike on them in, a, in an hour. And um, I'll get the documentation drafted up as well that it was uh, some ty someone trying to invade Russian soil. That wasn't American. They can be pretty accurate with us, right? Because we're right next to Mission Row. Or is that just another casualty? If we destroy Mission no, Row? No, no, no. These are, they're small. The drones are... I'm just going to take drones and put C4 on them, and then we're going to pilot them in and detonate them at all their checkpoints. Brilliant. Okay. All right, perfect. Well, I better get back to duty. Until oh, I hear, once good. I hear from the Senate, the operation will commence. I've been wanting to drone strike these uh -huh. fucking Russian bastards for a while. And if any, and if, if, all right, look, I want to be aware. I need to get someone at the checkpoint that can relay to me that mm -hmm. if any of them leave, I want them taken to fucking Guantanamo. Where's Interrogation Guantanamo? and ocean dumping. Burn Island. Oh, Burn Island? The least yeah. you know about Guantanamo, the better. 
Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, the least the least you know the better. Yeah, I unfortunately am already uh, sullied by that place. Yeah, I'm I think Knight and I tried to reenact Shutter Island on a bunch of gang members. Oh nice. Good movie. He was a doctor, and so was I. Uh I think it was members of Gulag Gang. Well, they have a copter up there today. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm, gonna, there? I'm gonna drone strike that helicopter. Well, they've they've had a helicopter up there periodically uh, yesterday, and then a well, military like a Chinook. Well, let me just write this down. All right, targets are going to be as follows: checkpoint Del Alpha, front gate off of Vespucci Boulevard. Uh, their helicopter, uh, their their airport, <laughs> the helicopter. Uh, do we know that we, if they have any their, um, um, medical offices there? I want to drone strike that too. But they're giant satellite. Yeah, and probably their radio like, tower. Um, their radio oh. tower if would be okay, really radio good to knock tower. out the communications. And then, do we have any information yeah. in there? Do we know for a fact if um if uh, anybody inside of there? That's coming oh, from inside the again. little mosque out. Yep. No, it's a little Moscow. Do we know that if, if they have a medical, a hospital set up in there? They do not. Uh, they said yesterday that they don't have a, they have like beds, but that's about it. Yeah, they okay, don't have okay. any medical I'll, I'll, hit, I'll hit their beds. I'll, I'll hit their beds then. I, I'll drone strike them while they sleep. Ooh. All right, perfect. All right. Yeah, all right. When they shoot, we shoot. Can't be afraid to pop off a few rounds in the street. There's two of them on the roof now. All right. Well, this is going to go great. Yeah, there's going to be no problem with this at all. Don't worry, they won't be able to prove it was us. I'll just have them know that I uh, intercepted transmissions and... Right, right, right. But what I'll do is I'll give them the heads up. I'll say an operation is being conducted by a foreign agent and um, foreign embassy. Uh, we'll leave active war on little Moscow and Russia. Give them the documentation, possibly what's going to happen. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the real operation through the shredder. Never happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't worry, I got this whole thing planned out. Top to bottom. Tippy toe. Now I need to get back we'll in my jumpsuit. I'm not comfortable in this garb anymore. Once you start wearing the jumpsuits, it fits to your body. Most comfortable Ooh. thing ever. I've never felt more safe. Like a onesie. Yo, Gutter, thanks for the 17. Warrior Dev, thanks for the tier 1. Bigums, thanks for the 31. Warlord, thanks for the 20 months. Stutter and Steve, thanks for the 5 months. Auxilian, thanks for the 45 months. I have to take the car and depart. Important operation. I'll be back in five. Oh, my drones in C4 are inbound. There's going to be an international incident today, chat.
More war crimes. More war crimes. More war crimes. Grand Marshal Kyle Pred of the Cerberus Police Department, General of the Los Santos Military. At ease. I am from uh, UPD Tech Department. I, I bring Perfect. goods. Oh, fantastic. I... I'll be honest, this, I don't know how this is done, so good luck, have fun. Perfect, I'll make sure you get your money wired to your account. How's 2.5 million sound? Yes, uh, that is adequate. All right, well, you can tell me if it's not, sir. You're serving your, you're serving your nation? That's it, 3.5 million. Oh, oh, okay. What, not I good enough? 4.5 million out of the state budget, oh. straight to you. Oh, okay, I uh, want. Okay, uh, even five, Steven. Five point five, even done. I thought. <laughs> Perfect. That's a true patriot right there. True American. <laughs> now what I did was I DM Nikes asking him if it was okay. And I got my response. <laughs> Now the cool thing about Nikes and like DW and like all the other devs is they're always down for to facilitate roleplay. Sorry, sorry, apologies. Oh shit! Oh man, I was about to call Vinny for Stone. Oh, what's up, bro? <laughs> I was actually about to call Vinny and enlist him into the war effort if he gave me C4. Hey, 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 lucky you today. Yep, you have friends with me at all fucking times, I know. I'm you need... lucky it's stuck with Pred. Yeah, have you, 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 have you ever thought about getting jumpsuits in the Rangers? They're really comfy. Bro, you look like your fucking balls can't breathe. Uh, my balls have never breathed better. Do they have, like, air conditions in there? Oh, I don't get too hot or too cold. It's perfect. Perfect body, body temperature. Oh, I'm gonna tell you something there, Minio. Talk to me, bro. Talk to me. I think it's one of the best things to happen in a while. Oh, listen, as long as you enjoy yourself, you have fun, bro. All yeah, that long, matters. And make sure you're enjoying yourself as well. Who's this piece of shit? Uh, 99. Got him. A plus. Oh, hey. hey. What up, Kyle? How you doing, big dog? Oh, I'm doing great. This is the, the with Grand Marshal, right? Grand Marshal, yeah. Grand Marshal Sir Kyle Pred himself. You know he was knighted. He's Sir. He's Sir Kyle Pred. Yep. Is he Sir? Sir. Yep. I was knighted by the Queen. Hey. Well. Uh. God bless. God bless. On her deathbed, no, no less. Yeah. Literally yep. right before she passed. She called me. She called me to come there, and I I flew out there right away, yep. and she knighted me. Yep. Yep. 
Keep up the good work, Minio. I'm gonna tell you something, Minio. You've been doing great work lately. Well, the drive is back, baby, and I'm happy to be part of it again. I'm per. That's perfect. That's what I like to fucking hear. Minio has been really good lately. You always gotta tell people when they're doing a good job, chat. Nobody has to tell me I'm doing a good job. I'm an egomaniac that believes he can do no wrong. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Don't you tell me what to do on American soil, you piece of shit! Keep it moving, Americanski. Hey, how go about you go ha, go grab wait another drink, stop. you fucking alky? I will, actually, right now. Go grab another- yeah, yeah, you grab another fucking drink! Thank you for telling me to have a drink. I appreciate it. Rent the cop. Real, real cop. It says it says Cerberus police on the car. Da Cerberus rent cop. Da da da. At least my country has police. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. You know. Embassy, keep okay. I heard you yelling, and I was like, "Oh, who's who's making fun of the sheriff? I mean, Grand Marshal." Nobody makes fun of the Grand Marshal. Keep it going. Have a nice day. Thank you. Of a bitch. God damn it. It took him to Guantanamo. Yeah, people ain't gonna be seeing Rent a Cop when I start fucking kicking down doors and arresting everybody. Hello? Penny, where are you? I'm with Copper by the Cerberus building. What's up? Stay right there. Meet me in the Cerberus garage. I'll be right there in a okay. sec. Okay. All right. See you in a sec. Bye. I'm so excited for where RP can go. Take a look inside. Is it locked? Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay. Okay. Copper, go ahead and take a look. Okay. Um, since there's one, uh, what is your target gonna be? Main target's gonna be checkpoint. While across the street, I'm gonna have covert operations. Individuals who are gonna be dressed in uh, all black, opening fire on that chopper on the roof and then leaving the area. A rental chopper is, so here's the plan. A rental chopper is going to play in down on the building across the street. 
four individuals with M4 are going to hop out of that building. They're going to open fire on the chopper after the explosion at the checkpoint. They're going to uh, they're going to destroy their heli their helipad. Then they're going to fly on out of there and they're going to be ghosts. Never existed. Never happened. Ooh. Okay, what's the contingency in case this does not go well? This is called Operation Cannot Possibly Fail. Right, right, right. Oh, hold on. Mueller's calling me. Yeah, Mueller, talk calling. to me. Hey, uh, it, it, Harvey, leave me alone for a second. Are you, are you alone? Uh, I'm trying to be. Get alone. Get okay, ghost. I'm alone. I'm alone, okay. Uh, so... Well, I've I've uh, been speaking to someone, been speaking to someone, and I've uh, got a couple a couple uh, people who were able to provide me C four pretty quickly. Uh, on top of that, on top of that, they might be able to add something additional just as a nice little surprise. So, right. perfect. I'm assuming you're still looking. Uh, right now, I'll fill you in on the operation there, Mueller. Right, first off, this operation cannot possibly fail. Operation Red Veil. Re a a operation Red Velvet. Okay, that's what we'll refer okay. to this as. And Operation Red Velvet never happened. I already have a drone with C4. Once I get another drone with C4, we'll drone strike their, air their helipad and we'll drone strike their gate. I already have documentation okay. written up. And, um... I'm gonna blame this on uh, another country. Tell them we something like pierogi or something. I don't know. We'll blame it on pierogi. That's the perfect. That's okay. the perfect person to blame it on. And then they can't land for shit. We'll have their entire infrastructure destroyed in the space yeah. of like five minutes. At that point, we'll, oh, we'll we'll provide them with humanitarian aid, and they'll have no idea that the American government was behind this the entire time. Yeah, I don't. Okay. Okay. So um. It seems like you got your your C4 drone from the government. I'm kind of taking a more CIA route where I may be getting it from maybe less less reputable people. Fine, that's that. okay, right? Hundred percent okay. okay. You're doing, it, okay, in the, you're doing okay. it in the name of this nation. Okay, okay, okay. Sounds good to me. Okay, yeah, I'll uh, okay, I'll get it set up shortly with you. Now you do understand. We need mm -hmm. to be covert. All right, Mueller, I'm trusting you because I know somebody that loves freedom. That someone is you. Oh, yeah, I'm a fucking freedom-loving American. Through, through. That's what I love to hear. Loves freedom, loves baby goats. Exactly. Uh, one day uh, after we've nuked that fucking place, I don't know, we might just turn it into green pastoral land. I'm going to have a cute little farm across from MRPD. God damn it, the American dream. A true American dream right there. Okay, I'll, uh, okay, I'll, uh, probably get off duty, just, uh, meet up with this guy, and then, uh, and then I'll link with you at some point. Perfect, you'll be reimbursed. Okay, thank you, thank you. Have a good one there, Mueller. All, right. All right, later, General. All right, the war effort's strong. Operation Red Velvet. Mueller's gonna be, uh, getting another C4. I have another drone, and we will, uh, commence a drone strike, hopefully within an hour. Of course, you understand okay. that this information cannot leave this group. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> freedom isn't free. You have to do things like war crimes in order to keep the freedom and keep the peace. We can't allow our individuals to be tortured. For every one of ours they tor torture, we'll kill a million of theirs. Jesus Christ. It's only right. Right, 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 right. All right, so how's the shift been today? <laughs> you know, I woke up. For the most part. I went up and went to the embassy and met with Copper, and then you woke up. Perfect. So I have announced to our units that the females can wear the combat pants for now. However, they will be subject to change. The barrettes can be worn, but only vests can be worn in CPD, and the base uniform must be what we've given them. Fantastic. So what's going on with the whole uh, judge, uh, the DOJ issue? We need to try and you get that You still gotta out. do, uh, yeah, you still gotta try to do the announcement. Got you. Now, does anybody have a plan with me drafting up, uh, 
CIA documents that uh, puts Crane in bed with the Russians and executing him at the rally. Oh, uh, shouldn't yes, call it a rally at that. the press conference. I have issues with that. Senate like Crane, you're just going to be causing more trouble for yourself and ostracizing yourself in that case. Or now you need them on your side. Hmm. Perfect. Crane's a minor, remember? He's not the bigger picture here. He's not a minor, he's an old man. No, what I mean, he's a minor issue right now versus oh. everything else. Oh, okay, I got you. I mean, but nothing says dominance like executing a judge on public television. Sure, nothing sees idiot like executing a judge on television in front of the Senate and everyone else that supports him. I guess you're right. What about if I have him kidnapped, bag over the head, and taken to Guantanamo? See, that is more acceptable, but if anyone finds out you said that, you're fucked. Don't worry. My lips sealed. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it looks like uh, I was looking to just to add more for like uh, building a pattern. But uh, on Friday, when someone we pulled over someone driving a lot of they were very drunk, mm -hmm. reeked of alcohol, barely put two sentences together. I got them out of the car. I was trying to talk with them. Uh, had them in cuffs. I was going to search them. And uh, while I was doing that, someone adjacent to where we were uh, shot us with a RPG and the suspect uh, died. So there's no report of it at all. So the four that were uh, that I told you that like two of them got away. They were stood outside Mission Row PD playing music for like 30 minutes until Winston went up to them and started talking to them. He pretended to be someone else and like try to get information. It didn't go very well. Theory but they were stood plate, outside playing Luga, Luga. uh 747E4X LKG1. All right, thanks. Thanks for the information there, Siri. No, sorry about that. I'm still operating um, on police activated hardware with my uh you're not working through blinks? Mm -mm. I do both. Oh. <laughs> Somebody's an update behind. Anyway, um... I don't want to go cyber psycho, Jenny. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Is that another way to say pussy, is it? No, it's another way to go cyber psycho, all right? My brain has to get uh -huh. used to all the augmentations. Uh-huh. Sure it does. With how, many, how much cocaine you've done in your life, I bet it's already augmented. Hey, cocaine. It's not that bad. My body's Being used to cocaine. My body ain't used to machines. We're having cybernetics. It's a great time. Now, today's going to be a good day. I'm going to drink Russian vodka. Commence a drone strike operation. Ah, good day. Holy fuck. Well, I Are you going to drink and pilot this drone? Of course I'm going to drink and pilot. I'm a much better pilot and driver when I'm a little inebriated. I need yeah, to go I need to go torture here. the FIB now. Uh when are we gonna do this drone thing? Uh unsure. I'm on watch. Let's go see. Hey, you can be one of the pilots. Oh boy. What's going on? Hey, General, uh, just just as a quick update, I'm I'm alone at the moment, so don't worry. But um, uh, when are we planning on doing this? Uh, roughly an hour or so. Okay. Um, I'll try and get it before Might then. Might do it after but... tsunami as well. Might, it depends. Uh, I want it, I want it, I want that checkpoint to be flooded with not only civilians but Americans as well as uh, so as uh, Russians. I want to make sure that listen. Sometimes you will get there's casualties of war, Mueller. Hope you understand that. Ooh, we're not gonna clear it for, for civilians first. No, we're, we gonna... don't, we're the American government. We don't clear for civilians. We kill them too. Wait, do you have like a full guy for this or anything? Like, 
who who needs yep. glasses in the CPD? Yes, I do. The Pierogians. Igor will Well, no, I mean, fall. like, the Pierogians will say it, but then, like, maybe Axel. you have, like, a guy Axel, on the building across the street transmissions. who needs Igor glasses, and he's like, a, a oh, there's, there's no civilians over <laughs> there. That, um, a, a Quinn, he needs glasses, I think. Listen, you can't get cold feet, Mueller. Listen, we're carrying this operation out in the name of freedom, in the name of America. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. No cold feet here. I just. I. I think after the storm would probably be better. If you, unless you want to have a. Ooh. We'll do it after the storm. Okay. Okay. I'll. I'll talk to the guy and I'll let him know that there's no rush. Perfect. No Russian. Right. <laughs> no Russian. Okay. Later, General. Bye. I'm gonna have to start paying Axel out of all honesty. Doing there, uh, young blood? Greetings, civilian. Oh, 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 what's up? Uh, you sound, uh, you, oh, you need some more Vix? That's you, young blood. You need some more Vix? I got some more for you here. Yeah? You go. Keep that Vix vapor drop it rub up. away from me. No, it's all, it's all good, young blood. You got you go. it in Look, my you, eyes. You, 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 no, I didn't get it in your eyes. It's impossible. You, you got, got it in my eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. There you go right there. Ah! Oh, 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 you, what the hell are you doing? You better respect your elders, your blood. Respect your fucking elders. I'm gonna pull my belt. I'm gonna throw the chocolate at you, young blood. You get back here. Get back here. Get back here. Get back I don't know what this stuff is noon, new, like, news footage of. One of these days we're going to have to go through the news footage for old times' sake. Mm. Owns a house but can't access the stash. Polska, thanks for that prime. Bunt Bant, thanks for the 10 months. Kid Tito, thanks for the three months. Threat Level Midnight, thanks for the three months. Mindbender, thanks for the 15 months. Smitty, thanks for the brand new tier one. Big Boy Benji, thanks for the 20. Gregor, thanks for the 23 months. being followed. Um, I have a Hazel half green. He says he's a private in the military. He said he saw what happened. I'm gonna uh, six one seven six eight six. Son of a bitch. We having problems in Little Moscow? Yes, they're, they're shooting from the inside out. They shot down uh, Igor and a bunch of GG members. Uh, I think we have a witness that stated that the Russians did shoot outside first, so I don't know what the fuck to do here. Yeah, AFM, so they've got a downed individual in there currently, I think is a part of GG. Apparently he wanted to defect, something happened, and they ended up shooting him down inside the embassy. They've gone to bring him out to put him back outside the gate. And the whole of GG are there. Easy now. Um, and then all of a sudden, the Russians shot out of the compound towards GG. They didn't. Hey, There's more to it. Um, they spoke to... Uh, obviously, this yellow line in front of the embassy is their line. That's the line that we have to go to. He kept trying to walk in, and he wouldn't get back behind the line. He, they won them several times as they were on their, uh, they were on their soil. And when he refused to move, they shot him. Okay, you trying to fucking start World War Three, you stupid son of a bitch? I should have you thrown in for fucking terrorism. 
I got triple dog there. I don't know what you want me to do. I'm a Throw that son of a bitch in for terrorism. Uh, Pred, on you tomorrow, got it. Paris, I'll go just spot it. Saying okay, that general. They're gonna bomb the uh, Russian embassy. And then Sakeem said, if the police won't protect us, we must protect ourselves. They're starting World War fucking three. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, I don't. Uh... How do you want to handle this, uh? Anyone that attacks the embassy is to be charged with fucking terrorism. It's a sanctioned fucking embassy. Could be viewed as an act of war. Uh, the general's gonna have yeah. to take care of negotiations. I don't know why they're complaining about not being protected. Can I get someone uh, around the side of Mission Road to check for a truck? And if it is there, I might get the car in the street to move it, please. 432. Yeah, I see it. Perfect, Vale. The drone strike, these sons of bitches. 301 overhead. Are you fit to move your feet? I'm gonna let Igor and all the GG guys go. 432 is uh, 23 at the truck. I'm moving it now. It's fucking cold over here, Jenny. EMS repeating. Oh, it's, it's chilly, but General it's okay. General Fred Los Santos military. Warm. Permission to enter Russian soil. Street for that guy that Permission shot. denied. Get behind the line. Listen, okay. I heard that. I'm trying to avoid World War Three. I believe that there's been an international incident today with Igor and the GG members. I want you to know they have no affiliation and they're not cooperating or working with the American government. Please believe me. Okay, I will pass on the word to Ambassador. You let the Ambassador know that I do not- I will have all these individuals thrown in for terrorism. For terrorism. Please. Anybody that attacks a sanctioned embassy is to be charged with terrorism. That man, Bobby, he come inside. He say he wants to denounce American citizenship. He wants to become Russian. We tell him no. Who the fuck said that? He was just shot. We let him go. Can we get him- I mean, if you really wanted to fuck him over, you should have just had him deny his American citizenship and then kicked him out of Russia. And then we just would have taken him in. Taken him in and, you know what, he would have been fucked. He would have been a man without a nation. Comrades, we would like to bring a medic inside. I'm only going to allow medical inside as long as I have some armed combatants with them to protect them. We can bring uh, comrades to front, there's no problem. They Are you sure you want to risk out. moving them? Why don't you go talk about what you want to do? Stupid Russian bastards. We've got people riding BMX bikes, we're going to have people doing some other shit, especially the spots that were just spotted out. Um, witness statement says that one person tried to defect to Russia, the Russians said, shot them, and then other Second people... Second these sons of bitches on step soil, on American soil, I want them thrown in Guantanamo Bay for questioning. EMS on scene, we're gonna be across. Do you get me, Minio? Uh, Do you get me, Nova? I get you, bro, I get you. I get you, sir. Now go ahead and go to the evidence then. All right, what now, now, I don't know if they have American citizenship. I might have to get medical and a doctor to come here to Russian territory. It'd be a shame if these poor guys, uh, oh, sons of bitches. So how are we going to do uh, this? You can bring medic inside. That's okay. All right, we're going to be bringing them in with armed combatants for their protection. We are not here for for a war. We are only no here to weapons. offer you medical aid. Yet no weapons. No, no, no. My people are going to be armed for their own protection. Okay, okay. The compromise can be that you guys go behind your uh, your stand behind your fence. We summon this side, or the mate goes in. Sound fair? Somebody will need to open the gate. Okay, that's fine. One of you can open we, the gate, and then you can work back. We need to get inside so we can scout the goddamn do area, that, Jenny. Right. Yeah, we're not going to I got back I'm not going to stick your argument with them for 20 minutes. No, no, I, I will. I'll, fuck it, I'll sit. Fuck him, let him die. Kostovich is coming back to give a statement uh, about how he was shot down on American right. soil for no reason. In the He's here. Over there. He's here. He wants to give a statement. Bring medic. We go get medic, general. All right, go get the medic. If any of the Russians aim a gun, I want them shot. 
Why did you not arrest people shooting at the embassy? Oh, we're charging them with terrorism, ma'am. Okay, they reported oh, I can take the witness statement if no one else is. It is okay. They are charging them with terrorism. Let's have you on the If I see any guns pointed while the EMS is in there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, you're gonna be shot. I want you to know that. You are only treating these for medical. You are not taking comrades. Oh, we won't take your comrades. Don't worry. EMS, I need to talk to you before you go in. I'll be there. Just Over here with me. Yes. General Kyle Pred, Los Santos Military. What's your name there? Uh, I'm Ira Wilson. All right, listen. Sure one of the guys from Let me ask you something. Have you ever thought about how you could serve your country? I something out. That was threatening. Ah, yes. Sir, back up on the bike! Back up on the bike! Get the hell out of here! Back up on the bike or you will be fucking shot! Okay, damn! Tell him. Alright, now listen. Do you want to serve your country? Alright, we'll get everything taken care of. Alright. You want to serve your country? Uh, some guy yes. holding a gun up to another guy across the road? Uh, yes. Someone's Let me ask you something. Oh. Have you ever okay. thought about how you could be a hero? Have you ever envisioned yourself or seen yourself as the hero? By saving as many people as I can. I need you to deem one of them that they need surgery so that we can take them to the hospital. If they deny okay. it, then just say you uh -huh. can't provide them aid. Oh, sure. We'll provide, make sure you can provide as much aid as you can to two of them, but leave one of them so that they have to go to the hospital. This information sure, can I'll never get out. I need to avoid okay. an international incident. You still on free. Wait. And if you ever release the information that this was organized by the general of the Los Santos military, I'm going to have you killed. <laughs> And tried for war crimes course. and have the entire blame placed on you. You're doing a damn service there. You're a fucking hero. Go provide them aid. That, uh, fucks around, tries to pull out a gun, arrest them. Hey, firm. You got people pulling out guns. Don't hesitate to fucking tase them, get them in fucking cuffs. Hey, firm. If that guy comes back and doesn't listen to my order, Arrest the fuck out of him. He brandished them firearms. Well. Did you hit your head? I need a mega. Uh, let me get a megaphone. Up. I just need to add uh, the one private statement. If you think it's cute or funny to pull out a firearm at a police scene, you will be fucking shot. Do you understand me? I will. Ha I will kill you. I will put you down. This is the Cerberus Police Department. Obey or die. That's my grandmother. What's your opinion on this situation, officer? Go fuck yourself! Alright, I think we've seen the police. We've frustrated. Brad, um, I took the photos, uh, and I collected all the evidence because if you. If yeah, make sure it all gets guy, gathered up and put in the report. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. All the statements are being put in there now as well. Anyone who attacked the embassy as well is, uh, getting hit with terrorism. Apparently they are, uh... Addies! Addies! Addies, Hazel! Thank you, sir. Yes, sir! What's going on, Nova? Six Talk to me. Uh, I'm going to tell you this, but I don't want you to do anything with it. Okay? I'm telling you because of my general. Okay? Apparently, they are going to the Humane Labs today to get Katya's DNA test done. At some point. She didn't say when. For, oh, to find Why? out if she's Russian. She's my sister, yes. Good God, Nova. I'm sorry you have to deal with this. A crazy father and a Russian sister. It's, Listen, it might, it's probably not true. It's probably not true, Pred. Look, we'll be fine, okay? I'm just letting you know that they're probably going to the Humane Lab to do that. Uh. Do not kidnap her until I know, Pred. For the love of God, please. What the U.S. government does in times of war, the U.S. government does in times of war. 
Fred. Fred, look, I'm, uh, you know what? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Fred, because I know deep down in there, you'll let them have their peaceful test. Okay? Yeah, I most okay. certainly will. Did they put Thank the you. injured individual from inside Thank the ambulance? You, Okay. That's going to jail. That's the medic. Is he going in? The black car. They took someone down. They said they took Bobby. They were parked right next to me. Ah. Huh? The guy you guys are arresting. Westbound, Westbound, These goddamn cops the are you're fucking arresting useless. For North Island, Elgin. Unbelievable. Hello? These cops Somebody's are fucking useless. Or... I have no idea. Um, How do we have 15 cops on, on the a scene in a uh, 95 gets grabbed? Fuck off, loser. Quiet. I'm about to no, show all these people out of it. Left. CPD. Westbound. No. Harvick. Left. Southbound. What'd you what say, you say about CPD? I said on top. Oh. Alright, thanks, to see. I said it to the news. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Most likely, Zaseed, you're wearing a mask. I don't, know, I don't even know. I was I parked you, here. Brett. I don't know if it's the guy that you guys need, but there's no one inside that ambulance. I should leave the area, but on power there was the less than a yeah, second before I started that show, they, just started, they started just mad to help and watch them, right? Yes, I almost died. Oh, you poor, poor, and poor, 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 poor pierogi and refugee. And I ran around the corner and I pissed off. Whoa! Grand Marshal saw him and stole a gun from him, too, on scene. Can you believe this Yeah, if we get more... I can believe you're a fucking terrorist, Igor. Igor, what are you from? I'm on a motorcycle, I can't do that. He's from Pierogi. Northbound on Elgin. You poor, poor Pierogi. Pass in, find with PD, Northbound Elgin. They shot me. And I wasn't even on their soil. And I didn't know anything. Could you tell them how they shot you two? Go ahead. I'm 50, this still continuing Northbound Elgin. It'd be a real shame if I had to charge everyone in GG with terrorism today. Maybe will, they should I cooperate with the general. I, the I, 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 will, I will breach right now. Forehead, no you will go no in for terrorism. No balls. No balls. No balls. Forehead, you will be responsible for getting the city nuked and 10 million dead. Hey, if you if you no balls me, I will breach it right now. I'm not going to do that because I'm trying to avoid an international incident. Yeah, yeah. Man, you just really shot people on American lately. soil and you're doing nothing. Well, the old pet would have no balls in me. You now realize you they have power. nuclear capabilities, right? I've seen it. Have you seen Wrangler? And, and you, you you don't think we do either? We don't either or what? Yeah, oh, oh, does GG have nuclear missiles? We, no, 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 GG, but you guys. We, we, right, yeah, you guys. No, we don't have nuclear <laughs> missiles. We just have ground to air missiles. That's good enough. Okay, well, no, it's not. Can... This guy's even an alleyway. We can wipe out a city block. They can wi wipe out a city. <laughs> All right. Well, they're only a city block, though, so we get rid of yeah, them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're they're not only a city block. They are, city block. They are, that's what we, we need. need. They, they have a, a nuclear submarine off our shores. You guys are uninformed. Bomber planes and setting submarines off our fucking shores. You guys are uninformed. You don't know anything about the goddamn war effort, you're civilians. You're getting slapped around, you pussy. I got hurt earlier. Well, you know what they say. Yeah, if it's that black and color Bentley, it's a S plus. Do you want me to pit this interfering vehicle? Are we clear to pit it? Yeah, game out of the way. He already tried to pit, mate. Sir, I am trying in the process of getting a secure citizenship. I just want to get right, my Right, southbound panorama. Oh, right now, this is a police scene. Hit a what the fuck me. happened? There was a shooting. So you back up, sir, so, okay? The We're gonna have to leave the area until we uh, uh, leave the area. Suck Hey, he's on Russian soil. Do you want him shot? Fuck you, Fred. All right, that's what I thought, pussy. Pushing westbound through the I got you something, can't you? What is it? Can I, uh... It's okay, Fred. We all know you've got a dick extension. Dick extension? <gasps> I didn't tell uh, I would, ne I would I never get that surgery. I didn't tell him. Looks really weird. What they do is they put a pump in your balls. What is a pussy? It's an animal. Yeah, they, they, I think they remove one of your nuts and put a pump in your sack. No problem. 
There might be shots. People sneaking in. One second. You must leave now. Out. Out now. Medic out. Okay. Please. We have breach again. We will shoot. We will respond with force. Go, 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 go. Breach. All right, break. Uh, Get the goddamn running. perimeter uh, uh, on Little Moscow secure. They have a breach in there. I want this person grabbed up once they're trying to escape. It's so weird. Go to the oh! Yeah. Terrorist! Oh, self-driving car. Uh, channel 3 should be clear for AD. You need us to back off and come help or? Negative, we can secure it. We have enough officers on scene. Alright, Fred, they're entering from the northern side of Sinister Street. On the street center. Okay, okay. Side. A guy in a base white suit and then a guy in red. Swing to the east side now on a bike. Two of them. Take it. We're gonna be going through Legion Square back out onto uh, Strawberry. I hope people understand that they're gonna get they're gonna get charged with terrorism. Right, we're gonna be off of Davis Avenue, making a left onto McDonald, passing the fire station. Going behind the fire station now, turning into an alleyway. Continuing along the alleyway. Through the backyards, heading towards, um... Tons of bitches. They're across the street, continuing eastbound, uh, parallel to McDonald and Broge. Northbound, we're low and seat, closing lanes to travel. Lanes to travel on the train tracks. Do we have any of them ID'd? They were wearing the exact same shit when they shot at cops yesterday. This is BSK. Copy. Uh, so we confirm they're in the tunnel? No. You said they went in the tunnel. Yeah, they were on the train track, went down into like little tunnel underneath the where it breaks into the canal or the tunnel. I didn't see where they went from there. I've moved the box truck so no one else can get inside now. Son of a bitch. Alright, copy. I'll let the Russians know that we uh, avoided an, in an international incident. Okay, your uh, outside security should be secure again now. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on International this, this incident has been terms. avoided. No, they are crazy. They think they can storm embassy. Can, is it okay? Can we get the medics back over? Yeah. Uh, uh, can, can we get, get medical medics back, back over? Little Moscow, please. If you guys catch anybody storming your embassy, you can do with them what you will. Oh, da, we do. Or you can give them over to us to be tried for terrorism. Oh, yeah. We we Or you can do both. <laughs> no, both. Ah, oh, ah. Oh, yeah, yeah, Opa. It's like a, a group activity, you know? Uh, this is, he messes here again. He'd like, let them in. Uh, General, I'm going to get a bike out just because everyone seems to be using a bike. Okay, so in truth, I was wearing uh, sand color camouflage like you're an American soldier. Hey, uh, Fern, mm. he was wearing a long coat. Okay. Okay. Do we let, uh, let EMS? You can proceed. Finish. Already come through. My apologies. Six, nine, two, ten, eight. So are you still with me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold up. Copy the board. Uh, this is what we need. Oh. Uh, 
This box just not just a knife. Away from me, you stupid son of a bitch! Whoa, man! To just attack a member of the Los Santos military. Stop moving! Stop moving! Stop moving. No, not at all. Passenger, move, move! Turn around! Whoa, whoa! I'm just, I'm trying to help the PD out did. right now. What happened, bro? Oh, you're trying to help the PD out right now. Hazel, are you okay? Yeah. Private yeah, Hazel. I'm okay, I'm Hazel, okay sir. Hazel, Private Hazel, Hazel, report. Uh, uh, reporting, sir. Six nine two seven six. You stupid son of a bitch. Hey man, I, I'm just I'm just trying to tow some cars for the PD. That's my bad. Hazel's oh, my you're boy. just trying to tow some cars for the PD and you drive over a goddamn combatant. Hey, that was that was a Hey, that was what's a going mistake. on, Gold? That was a mistake. It's it's, GM, it's nothing are you, uh, crazy. Nothing crazy are you going on. Right having now? This CPD General, this is the passenger. CPD only meeting? No, 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 not today. <clears throat> you're pushing it to when? Uh, not sure. We're going to wait a few days. We need to get some um, maintenance done over there at the Cerberus Center. Okay. Because um, Splinter was trying to have a CPD only meeting to talk to you and them about claws. I mean, we can always organize it at, a, uh, t at some time today after the after tsunami. I mean, that's no problem. As long when we have our presence, we can organize it. What's going on with the legal front? Uh, so they're building like a law oh, program to train cops Negative. to, you know, do not law be properly. Dumb fucks. Yeah, not be <laughs> dumb fucks in court. Uh, Perfect. Give them the a Cerberus very baseline. not be dumb fucks protocol. I like it. Yeah, the Cerberus not be dumb fucks yeah. protocol. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so he wanted to run some things by you and Jenny first, and then Jenny said the CBD uh, meeting we could do it at like after, I mean, I like one. That's the tsunami coming up? Yeah, yeah, we can um, organize that. We can either have everybody meet at Mission Row and then break and head to the Cerberus Center, but um, we'll probably do the uh, UPD meeting and then we'll head to the Cerberus Center if everybody's available. Yeah, I think that would be best. Just have everyone group up because I know that Debbie wanted to give everyone like a heads up so they can be around for it if they want. But she feels like for CPD it should be mandatory and they were even talking about making like... I mean, it is mandatory because they need to be made aware that they have a legal team to support them now yeah and then um well i don't know splainer wanted to run some things by you and jenny first to make sure everything's all good on the high command front prior to announcing it to the entire department so i'm trying to figure out when you and jenny are free so i can put you in contact with splainer all right yeah just, you tell guys are dealing with the embassy. I just tell him to give me a call i can break off whenever we're just trying to avoid international incidents right now there's no uh foul play uh, going on here from the american military Okay, let me get some coffee and then um Yeah, I'll it sounds like you need it. I just Left woke up. Uh, all right, bye. Continuing bye. Towards continuing Stupid son of a bitch over here and over. You got torch. Okay. All right, sir. You attacked a military combatant. Does anybody have a no. machete? Do you want short sleeve or long sleeve? Damn it, no machetes. No, All right. machete, sir. no, sir. Sir, you better apologize to Private Hazel. Oh, I, I apologize profusely already. We we work together. This the next is my time homie. you assault one of my goddamn privates or a member of my military, I'm going to have you executed or sent to Guantanamo Bay. Alrighty, which may or may not exist. Yeah, Guantanamo doesn't, you yeah, know, it. Okay. Uh! Ah! You better get it together, dumb fuck! Okay, I'll have you fucking killed! Oh, I get it, I get it. What is this, Nassim? Roberto, what the hell did you get us into? You're being watched you know, by the American military, son. We're always watching. Sir, if we wanted to enlist for community service, how would we do that? Hold on, hold on, how old are indeed, you two? Indeed. That was very, very I'm, the, I'm the ripe old age of, uh, you know. What's the description? You know. 31, my 30, sir. How old are you, sir? 37, sir. 37. I might be, I might be too Guess old. Guess what, son? You've officially been drafted into the Los Santos military. You better get that fucking head shaved. Congratulations. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. Perfect. 
Welcome to the ranks Let's of the military. Go. You, on the other hand, you're going to have to submit a form. But this man's been drafted okay. into the Los Santos military. All right, let's go. Get the hell out of here. You ain't earned the right yes, to sir. salute me, you piece of shit. You ain't earned the oh, right I'm to sorry. salute me. Move. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Move, sorry, move, sir. move. I, I, I hope I can get the right to salute you. Move. Son of a bitch. Good call, sir. Hey, more fuel for the yeah, fire. Jesus. There's an invisible I think bike. They request 77s on channel 9. They're at PP. Well, not. There's a. Huh. This girl got ran over by the tow truck. They hit another person, yeah, Jesus. It's all right. They're American military now. We'll sweep it under the rug. I'll be EMS from PD. I need both motor units right here behind me. Come on, let's go. We got an 80 with a bike. A nice arm day, sir. General Kyle Pred of the Los Santos Military, Grand Marshal of the Cerberus Police Department. First of his name, first of the Andels and the First Men, Lord of Dragonstone, blah, 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 blah. How may I help you? Opatsky. Okay, comrade. I need to talk to you, blad. Oh, Ambassador, is that you? Duh. That's going to require me to step foot on your soil. Yet we can talk on phone, Blet. Oh, all right. What's going on there, Ambassador? No, you could I always to... step foot on American soil if you wanted to have a conversation. Die, I come to you, but you add Blet. Perfect. What are you, Blet? Outside a little Moscow. Oh, I come outside, Blet. Oh, perfect. All right, see you soon. Bye. All right, be ready. All right, be ready. We might be grabbing the uh, the Russian ambassador and taking him to Guantanamo Bay. Wait, 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 how? How? We're not going to. Red. What's up, Quinn? How your blip? It's blue. Wait, how, what color is it? It's blue. LSPD is blue currently. Yeah, it's an issue yesterday, oh, uh, General. Oh, shit. I don't. Th I think he got a scuffy wash. Uh, it'll be fixed, hopefully. I'll tell Angel. I think I hear them again. Maybe going back down toward the canals. Four fifty is not popular. Copy. Keep it unit on popular. I'm code six. Okay, wait. I I got headlights. I think northbound in the canals parallel popular. Hey, is that you? Oh, they're so far. Yo, Vertigo, thanks for the 37 months. I appreciate it. Oh, Sorry, General. Keep me awake, General. Ready for surprises. I'm here to talk to the ambassador. He said he would meet me at the gate. He called me. EMS arriving on the scene at the Russian embassy. We're going to need you inside again. Oh, da. Da, weird. Hey, how you doing there, Ambassador? We've had a series of uh, incidents here with people trying to, uh... uh people assassin. trying to break in. Da, I Keep wanted to talk filled. to you about this, Blet. Yeah, we're planning on charging anybody involved with terrorism. Spasiba. Spasiba. That's literally it, Billet. We're getting, we're getting the EMS to run across and help after they've dealt with the person on the road. It's uh, getting tiresome uh... with all these Billet tra gangs trying to attack a nation, Suka. Hmm. I can only imagine. The. This is final warning. Next time gang come here, they try anything funny business, I will bring out tanks. As you should. I think you should bring out tanks already. But uh, then I will violate American ski soil blade. Oh, listen, here's the thing, right? I'm sure that we can reach an agreement. I mean, the 
Listen, I understand that people are going to try and abuse the treaty here to open fire on you on American soil, right? So yeah. I think you should blow the motherfuckers out of the sky with tanks, and then, you know, we can either hand them over to you for trial, or we can tra charge them with terrorism. Opaczki, both work, suka. You know, whatever um, you want, comrade. It, well, I here's the here thing, right? I the... can't, I can't stop them from attacking you. I can try, and I will try. Duh. But at the end of the day, I understand that the embassy needs to defend itself. Da. Uh, I would expect is... the same courtesy that if, uh, if I was in a gunfight with some uh, people on the streets, yes. that oh, you would allow oh, me to oh, no, uh, kill them as okay. well if they were trying to hide in your embassy. Uh, you... Oh, no, you're not, you're there. We do not harbor oh, no, fugitives, no, 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 Suka. No, no. This is embassy and not gang territory, Bliat. May I, uh, may I uh, ask if we do get individuals who cross into the embassy the, the uh, without help, your explicit uh, permission? May we get a statement we may, we may, we may be uh, saying they had oh, no okay. permission? Do you have, will you, the, the will, you will your people cooperate with the police and the da, military that da, comes to investigation? Da. 100%. And if people try to hide behind your borders, you'll uh, capture them for us. Hey, fuck Russia! Still complete! Duh. Don't worry there, Ambassador. I think you should get back inside the embassy. It's not safe Duh. out here. Duh. I bring out tank, but uh, don't be worried, it's not for you, it's only for gang, Bliet. Perfect, perfect. The American government accepts your peace treaty. And we look forward okay. to working together. Relations between Хорошо. America and Russia have never been better. Давай, спасибо. I agree, Bliet. Okay, I bring out tanks. Jenny, I need to talk to you. Okay. How do I get a like this? So cold. Perfect time Crazy, for Operation man. Red Velvet. Doing what? I'm gonna be honest. Um, Are we a go? I'm gonna be. Maybe. I think you need to wait for the next group to strike and do it while they're doing that. Oh. Here's the thing. They believe that they have enough outside interferers to, uh, no, if anything you hear is to be kept between to you and you alone, understood? Understood. Uh... All right, we're, let's get clear of the embassy. We have to talk. Yeah, what's going on, Gold? Splinter is good whenever you and Jenny are. Um, he just wants to know when and where to meet. Uh, Jenny, when should we have a Cerberus meeting, and then when should we talk to Splainer? I mean, we could probably talk to Splainer or... now. We could probably talk yeah, to we should now. talk to Splainer now before you guys have a public, or before we have a public meeting about everything. All right, if Splainer's around now, me and Jenny will meet with him. Okay, you want to meet at MRPD? Um, we'll meet at the Cerberus Center. Or somewhere? Center. Cerberus Center. Okay. Okay, bye. All right, bye. Okay. Hold on. Nova, check the trunk. Nova, check the trunk! Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. U.S. government is planning a um, drone strike on Little Moscow. We're gonna hit their airport and we're gonna hit their checkpoint. We're gonna blame it on Pierogi, specifically Igor. Oh. I already have the documents drafted. I already have everything ready to go. I'll let the um, Russian ambassador know that I intercepted that an operation was gonna take place by the Pierogi government, but I was too late to get that in. But by the time I was able to put everything together, the operation was already carried out. We're going to have an international incident. And what I'm going to use this international incident to do, to get a peace treaty drafted over at the town hall. Ooh. There's going to be an announcement for Cerberus Police Department, and then I'm going to change uniforms and declare that I, General Kyle Pred, have secured peace between America and Russia. And we are working together hand in hand.
Everybody will rally behind me as a hero that saved this great nation. Through peace, through 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 violence, there can only be peace. This information, of course, is classified and not to leave this car. The only there's only five four, five individuals in total that know the four of us and Mueller, and that's all that's ever going to know. Know what, sir? I like to hear. Everything's gonna be great. You're right, Ben. Hey, Toby, what's up, war. brother? Toby, I'm not sure if you want to play a military person that wants to help us with the drone strike. Could be fun. Right now we have two. Two drones. Well, two drones, but only one piece. Of, when is it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure when we're going to do it. Now, I believe me and Jenny got to go have a CPD conversation with our uh, Cerberus Legal Division. Great, great, great. Uh, you can drop me off in front of a uh, little Moscow. I got to grab my car. Will do. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Huh. Uh-oh. Okay. Hey, Gold, is uh, Splainer heading there now? Oh, uh, yeah, he's here already. Oh, okay, I'm on my way. I'll be there in about We're two in minutes. We're in the underground parking. Okay. Okay, see you guys there soon. Okay, bye. All right, we got to go have a meeting with Splainer, get this whole legal division set up. Mm. Wait, there's two... They're the same. Yeah, Toby, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Toby, you've been enjoying stuff lately. By gods, thanks for the gift sub. I appreciate that. Def Not, thanks for the eight months. Cloudy Winds, thanks for the 15 months. TKO, thanks for the 200 bits. Brock Grimes, thanks for the nine months. Uh, guys, make sure if you're new, you're hitting that follow button and getting those subs in. Hope you guys are enjoying all the RP. It's like RP overload. This handicapped parking spot is specifically for me. I mean, you are a little... Never mind. Well, I suppose it's an emergency marked vehicle, so why not? Uh, do you all want to head inside, or do you have somewhere else to be and we need to make this quick? We'll head inside. Don't worry about it. We can take our time. Sure. It's a pleasure to see you again, by the way, Jenny. Hello. Hey, Mighty Flame, thanks for the 17 months chat. We're almost at 9k. Let's try and hit 9k today and then shoot to do a subathon. We might do a subathon tomorrow. I'm not sure. Because he knows me, and that's exactly what I do. I might do a subathon this week. Uh, Amber, did you I'm, I'm really pull, not I'm really going to try that and push myself for it. It is a compliment. I had to say it too because, you know, she thought that you called her a bitch. Oh, I just assumed <laughs> okay. that every lawyer immediately calls me a bitch because they've had they've dealt with oh no i, I happen to have a i happen to have a favorable impression of you jenny no that's good my favorite hobby is arresting lawyers yeah it is well uh as long as it's not a cerberus lawyer i'm i'm oh don't supportive. worry cerberus must stand together cerberus must stand tall I've never noticed that that was called the sidebar until now. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
I mean, we have very nice meeting uh, accommodations here. It's great. Yeah, it's a fantastic building. I just, I never realized that that was called the sidebar, and I'm wondering who came up with that idea because it's fantastic. Almost a 20. I mean, I'll do a 24. I mean, hell, it's easy to do a 24 right now. I have so much RP going. Gold, are you overseeing? Uh, are you helping them with the legal stuff? Yeah, I'm helping Splinter and Dummy. Did you, um, hey, have you seen the smart room transformation yet, Kyle? Yeah, yeah, I know. I got my leg caught in it. Oh. Ask for it. Hey, 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 hey. The head of the table's for me only. He took the side. I took the side. Here, you can take center stage. You can take, take one of you can no, you take the the back end all the way down there. Oh. Oh, he does. You try, are are you trying to punk me out, Fred? No, go ahead and take a seat, dumbass. Cleaner and take take okay. us. Okay, um, but, so it's, but now I feel a little bit off. If you want to, you can go all the way down to the end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm curious to see. <laughs> Amber, can you hear us? Can you hear us down? down there? Yeah, Swainer, maybe you come down here to this end. So it makes sense. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> No, I, I feel like this is better. Yeah. All right. Oh How's it going down there? What? Going great. Okay, so the the idea that Demi, what? Amber, and I, huh? What'd you say? I said that Demi, Amber, and I. Swear you gotta yell. You gotta speak, project. I I'm not very. Um. Uh, I said that Demi, Amber, and I were working together yesterday, and we had the idea to form a legal team within Cerberus Police Department. What's a, you're forming a legal dream? What's that? Do you mean you legal? Yell, Slater, like this. Yell. I, I can't. I can't yell that loud. Why Demi. don't you guys just come sit up here? I don't think this is, works too well right now. Yeah, I don't think so either. Oh, this seat's warmer. Planer, why'd you take the long way? Huh? Never mind. All right, so uh, get me up to speed on everything. All right? I want to know what's going on. Okay. Uh, after our prior conversation that we had uh, two days ago when it comes to forming a legal team within Cerberus Police Department, uh, I brought that up to uh, the Cerberus board, primarily uh, Abdul, Lang, and Dean. Uh, they were favorable of the, of the idea, and they appointed me Attorney General of Cerberus. Uh, and that role is essentially supposed to be a Cerberus attorney that is on staff and dedicated to helping the CPD uh, prosecute and defend itself from civil suits. So that's that's uh, the what's happened from a paperwork point up to this uh, up up to now. Uh, Establishing that forward, I would like to establish a team within <laughs> CPD uh, that are made that is comprised of officers that are interested in learning the art of prosecution and helping to share the caseload therein. What about FOIA uh, requests? We need someone to be on. We need our. I want our division to be handling all FOIA requests. I feel like we're the best. We're the most capable. If we're gonna if we're gonna be going full full on with the legal stuff, I feel that everything should go through CPD FOIA requests for all departments. Um, I don't have access to the MDW, so I can't do FOIA requests, but I can train somebody how to do it. Um, well, what you'll be doing, most, so here's what you'll, so here's how FOIA requests normally are handled. They submit a form. They have to pay the fee. <laughs> you know, of course it's, they, they have the right to the information, but they have to pay for the people to get that information. Usually a $5,000 filing fee, f handling and f handling fee. And then, um, What'll happen is um, the, uh, the the FOIAs person who's handling are for free. That's paid for by people's taxes. No, 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 because they're gonna. In pay this us. case, it's not the it's not the fire itself. It's the admin fee that is not paid for by. Yeah, the it's the so they so they have the right to the information, but they they have to pay for the people to get the information. 
Okay, gotcha. Yeah, it's just a handling fee. So, so that, what, that is something that's something that's new. Yes. Uh, from my perspective, at least. Yes, exactly. So what's going to happen is they're going to pull the report in question. There's going to be the officer is going to be contacted so that it can be redacted and then it'll be given to them if there's any sensitive information in, in that report. That sounds good. Uh, do you mind if I go over the, the general concept uh, of what I would want to be? I want you to take to as much of... time as you need to go over the general concept, Splainer. I want to know every detail. Okay. Okay. God, those suits really are advanced. Uh, so essentially, the idea is to form a legal team uh, within CPD that is headed by myself, Demi Black, uh, and Amber Gold. And what we would want to do uh, at a CPD-specific meeting is to ask any other officers that are interested in being trained up or ha already have their bar license that are interested in being part of that legal team. The legal team would be called CLAWS, Cerberus Legal Services or Cerberus Law Services. And essentially what the goal of that team is, this is to handle all uh, criminal and civil matters for CPD itself. And um, we would also be looking to offer education to any officer that's interested in it. Demi was talking to me about uh, having a course specifically catered to officers that maybe they would they would she had the idea that maybe it should be part of the standard training curriculum so that they understand courtroom etiquette how to interact with the department of justice how to fill out subpoenas search warrants etc but that's she's more educated about what an officer needs when it comes to interacting with the doj than i am i am more interested in making sure that there are officers within clause that are uh educated on interacting with the DOJ and most importantly that it's voluntary that they actually want to be there because handling handling the DOJ can be an arduous task and I don't want people who don't want to be there uh, forced to be there because it would affect the quality of their work. It would turn a specific to a team within the CPD into the clause of Cerberus itself. I love it. The yeah, claws yeah. of the three-headed oh, dog. Yeah. Yep. It's, uh, we, we tear people to court I'm gonna and rip get a the throat I think it's genius. I, uh, I really like it. I want us to, um, I want when people go against the CPD or get caught by the CPD to know that, um, our abilities are higher than other departments. Absolutely. I want them to uh, feel... When someone calls for a bench trial, I want the legal... T I, I honestly would love for legal for the legal team to be present as well as the officers that are involved with the legal team. Complete. A complete show of force and oversight. Absolutely. Uh, having, having a clause member present that could handle courtroom etiquette would also mean that the primary officer who... Um, essentially recorded everything when it comes to the material facts of the situation at hand would also be available to be a witness and to be questioned without any sort of awkward go-between. So they could also have the narrative extracted out of them as a witness. Good. Um, Jenny, what's your thoughts? I think this is a great idea. I think that this only strengthens our department. Yep, 100%. Um... I just want to say, don't be too disheartened if not off, a lot of officers reach out and are, are enthusiastic about it. Like, court is being one of our biggest downfalls when it comes to a unit. So don't be too disheartened if there isn't a lot. Um, I think it sounds like a great idea. I, I think it'll be useful to us all, and it'll be useful to the department on a whole. I also think that having an actual bar certified lawyer within the city as well as our two really good uh, lawyers within the PD, it'll bring us a better strength. So, yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, here at the Service Police will ask. Department, we're going to be working on creating a culture of people that want to do their job and do it effectively. The only thing I will ask is that um, if you are going to do seminars, etc., please don't make them so all they are is you talking at people because they will... 
immediately zone out and won't care. This is RPD. RPD don't have the best attention span. If you want them to learn something, it's going to be have to be more creative than just sitting there explaining. It. Yeah, it'll have to be some level of interactive. I know Demi has a, a curriculum that is already pretty much built up. It's built into modularized chunks so that no class is longer than an hour. And it's not an hour of talking at you. Uh, it's an hour including introductions, questions, overview, things of that nature. So they're, they're broken up into small time, uh, small chunks in order to be courteous to people's schedules and to take into, I take, take into consideration those attention spans. Okay. Um, yesterday they were talking about potentially making a clause cert sort of, or like a sign off for when maybe you become an enforcer, like you get promoted, you have to take the, the law course, the clause course. So that well people said, Enforcer Gold. Like so people have to like, you know, know what they're doing in court and it gives them time to like get on board with all the normal PD shit. Because you know how long it takes for people to figure out how to do like search and seizures even? I don't know. Yeah, we definitely want to make sure that we're offering a resource so that nobody feels like they're stumbling in the dark when it comes to interacting with the Department of Justice. So if you want to take... Uh, if you want Demi and I to specifically formulate something that would be, you know, like a DOJ sign off that somebody takes later on in their career, maybe at the enforcer level or maybe at the corporal level before they get promoted to corporal, maybe it's a maybe it's a requirement before they get promoted to corporal. That's something that we could develop or if it's something that you just want them to go through the DOJ course, uh, the DOJ targeted course hosted by Demi and I before they become a corporal, that's completely up to you as high command. But that, I know I, that's a concept that Demi likes. Yeah. Before. Um, it would probably be a smaller course, uh, basically a brief overview. And then if they want to go into in depth, they can come to one of your lessons. Because the only thing is, is forcing people into some of this is making it, they take, some people just have no interest in court and they would rather pay their own money to a good lawyer to do their things and them to go and to pigeonhole them whole and say, you have to take a, a long course to get higher. Some people just put them off from being in PD. Whereas if we say they have to take a, a, a mini course similar to like we do when you're a cadet where we have you have to learn like the case laws etc but like a more in-depth one about how you prepare yourself at court etc how you talk to lawyers that would probably be better and then if they are interested because some of these people won't have been affronted this opportunity before then they'll be able to reach out to you guys and go to like a bigger longer more in-depth session i mean i think demi said that she made it um so she can teach an entire course in an hour or less yeah they, they were they're they're broken up into bite-sized pieces uh, the thing is, is that I don't know if one of those was specifically catered to what an officer would need to know before they hit that corporal rank in order to at least appear as competent. So I don't, we would need to talk to Demi to see what type of a curriculum she's developed in that nature, or if the courses that she's made thus far is fine. Also, when it comes to incentivizing people participating in clause, I was thinking it, we could offer those services to the other police departments, LSPD and SDSO, but they would have to pay per head. And the people the people who are training those other officers uh, would get a percentage of that, a percentage of it would go back up into uh, Cerberus and CPD's funds for operation. Uh, what we could also do is start charging people for use of CPD officers that are competent and DOJ certified. So if SDSO doesn't want to handle their court cases, fine, they pay a premium, a clause member takes care of it. Same thing with the LSPD. Great. This is uh, this is fantastic. So if if that's an idea that you approve of, then essentially what I want to do uh, when it comes to the CPD meeting that would be happening after the lights uh, flicker and turn back on here in a probably about 30 or 40 minutes, right? So I would want to introduce Claws as a legal team inside of CPD. I would say that Demi would probably be the, the helm of it from a CPD perspective, whereas I would be more of a subject matter expert consultant that's been hired by Cerberus as the attorney general to, to oversight, assist wherever I can, take caseload wherever I can, uh, field questions and uh, being inside of Cerberus, obviously, I would have, uh, if you want me to draft up a specific non-disclosure agreement for prosecutorial matters to make sure that I'm not going to leak anything, I can do that as well. 
but I do fall within the Cer uh, Cerberus umbrella. I am under the I am on the roster as a, a Cerberus Attorney General. And what I would want to do is essentially advertise all of those different incentives saying you want to be the claws that tear into the throat of Cerberus's enemies. Do you want to be incentivized? Do you want to be paid for the knowledge that you simply have in your head? Do you want to go into court and do you want to be the person that takes down the bad guy and rips their fucking throat out? A lot of people are going to be happy about this. Um, you know, the goal is for us to train. Is, uh, so here's, here's a vision I also have. Us training lawyers specifically to work alongside us. Us having oh. our own devoted legal team so that we can always have representation and things can be conducted the way that the officer wants and the way that we want at the end of the day. Um, I know some so officers that's... like to take lead in their cases and have someone there to assist them. And I know some officers will want to have uh, a, a legal uh, person like yourself take lead in their case and work alongside them. Um, I think um, as long as we go into with the mentality that um, the way that we go about things in court is optional, but you shouldn't be trying to do everything alone is going to only be for the better of them and the department. Correct. So that's essentially the, the curriculum that Demi's created right now is phase one because it's curated towards what law enforcement officers need to know when it comes to interacting with the DOJ, what courtroom etiquette is, etc. We're going to use that as a foundation to move on into phase two once the training curriculum has been cycled through CPD a few times and we know that it's good, that it's producing quality students. Once we have that done, the DOJ has a bleeding problem. I believe we've talked about this before. It, it's losing more than it gains when it comes to personnel. So phase two, and I've already talked to, to uh, Lang and Dean about this, phase two of CLAWS is to start offering that curriculum to standard citizens, having a jury's doctor program where they go through the program, they have all the knowledge that they need to become a bar certified attorney. We cherry pick the best uh, candidates from there. And if they're interested in business and civil law, then Tim takes them into the, uh, into the Cerberus fold on the civilian and business side of things. If they're interested in prosecutorial law, I take them into CLAWS and they start offering server, uh, services to Cerberus uh, from the CPD perspective. And all of the runs of the litter, the people that we don't view as prime, get released out into the wild with some level of, of dedication and devotion, knowing that Cerberus trained them on how to be a lawyer. So whenever they have to face us in the future, that's nagging them in the back of the head. Well, here's one thing, though, that's a very possible thing down the line. And it's going to come down to where you know, we're going to have to sit down with Lang and Dean and everybody in Cerberus, the board, and have a discussion as to how legal matters are going to happen when a member of Cerberus is involved, whether that be civil or criminally. So we're going to have to iron the details out on how things are going to be done that way because... Uh, some of the people commit crime. Some of them happen to be affiliated to Cerberus. Do they still get Cerberus legal counsel if they commit crime? Or do they have to get an outside legal service? And because the service is kind of reserved for personal Cerberus matters, including the police department. Um, so I know Tim Collins is standing up a Cerberus legal department that's specifically within the business versus what I'm doing, CLAWS, is dedicated to CPD. If CLAWS is made so that it is pursuing prosecutorial and it is dedicated to the Cerberus police department in and of itself, uh, and, it and it operates almost as an independent entity with Cerberus branding upon it, uh, similar to what CPD they is are, doing. They right have now. been proven guilty then that they're criminals, P Dog. Don't say dumb shit. Prosecute they're literally criminals. What do you mean? Without a conflict of interest. Uh, there's there's still a little bit of a gray area there. I might have to ask uh, Crane or another judge what they think about it to see if that would trapeze or trespass over the over the bar uh, over the strict bar ethics. I'm going to call so Mr. Watson and see if he's available to stop by real quick. No answer. Yeah, because we can't we can't assume that Cerberus board members or or high ticket people within Cerberus are just going to get uh, prosecutorial immunity simply because they're affiliated with Cerberus Police they're, Department or Claws. Yeah, they're not. It's part of a contract. They can't. Yeah. 
So if it's part of if it's part of the CPD contract and clause operates within the CPD umbrella, then that contract already establishes that they're not getting any level of prosecutorial immunity and, if, and any clause member should be able to act upon that. Now, when it comes to me specifically, because I am an I am an attorney within the Cerberus business as a civilian, I am not I am not bound to that oath of of prosecuting of being a law enforcement officer because simply because I'm not a I'm not a public official I'm not a lawyer for the people I'm a lawyer for Cerberus offering services to you I might have to recruit I might have to recuse myself uh, and hand it over to CPD officers specifically. Uh, to prosecute somebody because they have that that oath of service that goes against our contract as well what it, in our contract it specifically states that we have to come to cpd lawyers to press charge to uh in the in the case of like appeals we've been, we've been thinking ahead we on have this to, we have to go to a cpd lawyer yeah we want our and own dedicated spoke, legal practice we spoke to them about it and they said that they wouldn't put us in a position where we would lose lawyers because we have to come to them first if it was one of them suing us or one of them we were pushing charges against. Hmm. That's that's a that's an interesting interaction. So essentially if somebody within Cerberus has charges pressed against them, CPD should go to Cerberus first and say, Hey, how do we resolve this? Well, more that if they, it's more to do with suing us, etc., or bigger cases or appeals. If a member of Cerberus comes to us and says we're appealing our charges, we are by bound by a contract to come to CPD uh, lawyers to tell them that we are being sued or appealing the charges. Okay, I'm trying to wonder. I'm trying to think of hmm. CPD lawyers. That was a named entity in the contract before clause even existed. Cerberus lawyers. Sorry, Cerberus lawyers. Okay. So essentially, you you will try to use Cerberus lawyers first. Basically, that's what it said. Interesting. I, I might have to talk to Tim about the intricacies of that contract because it sounds like that it's. We're currently in the process of having re having it rewritten. Yeah, because that that sounds like if, because that that cr that creates circular logic. That's that's the problem that I have here. That was the so, issue that I brought up when we had it. Yeah, because if if Cer if Cerberus if Cerberus member gets charged by CPD and then CPD is then obligated to go to Cerberus lawyer, Cerberus lawyer is conflicted out of prosecuting uh, said Cerberus person because they are obligated to defend them based on their own employment contract. Therefore, logic is circular. You you've broken it. Um, yes. If you if you caught that very well done because that is circular logic and I agree with you. That needs to be rewritten. Which is the issue that we're facing is that in, in that respect, we need a middle ground here where we have lawyers that are our lawyers versus Cerberus lawyers, if that makes sense, where so we don't conflict some of you in your jobs and vice versa. Yeah, so that it would it would be to the point where if somebody from Cerberus gets um, if somebody from Cerberus gets charged with any sort of significant crime that it ends up. On so the let me chime floor. in real quick. Let's 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 relax okay, go a second because we got we're talking about stuff that we have to iron out with with more than the parties that are here. So it's just going to be a conversation. We're going to have to open again. Let's focus the on the issue is without this conversation, they can't go forward the next step of their of their lawyer stuff because they're basically saying that at that point they would have still, to go squarely back on the officers a, we still have to have a larger conversation so i mean right now we it's do. just kind of uh like i understand um, that it may be kind of important to have the conversation but it'd be better to have the, the conversation with everyone present uh gold what are yeah. your like goals and thoughts for the unit um i mean demi's mostly going to be teaching and i'm just helping splainer and demi but i think it's a good thing to have Personally, because Demi was talking about how many people go up on the witness stand and just absolutely throw, or they don't know how, like, court works in general, like, the process from even submitting a subpoena, getting, like, things signed off, um, you know, anything besides really showing up to a raid. And then when they get in court, they don't really know how the back and forth goes, objections, stuff like that. I think it's really useful, but I don't think um, it's something to tack on to, like, a lower level, like, a, a brand new deputy peacekeeper so that's why i was saying enforcer but i think it's, it's definitely very useful and i think like for this next meeting that we have with cpd only 
um, just have explainer pitch the idea and see people see people who are interested because I feel like some people might be looking for something a little bit different to do than you know just like responding to calls and stuff. Yeah. Personally, um, I think it'd be healthy, especially with like the lack of you know a designated prosecution team right now. That's all. Sorry, Swain, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, that's fine. So essentially when it comes to the agenda of what's going to happen after the tsunami is uh, you, you all have a, a, a larger meeting at hand before uh, we would have a CPD meeting. Is that what I'm understanding? Yeah, we of? have. So for the time being, we're still having UPD meetings until we have uh, bus transport here and police cars added to the garage. And then at that point, we're going to break away from the UPD and focus on uh, CPD culture and having CPD meetings. And um, if information needs to be relayed by, between apartments, we'll appoint a liaison to do so. Okay. Uh, then at that point, I would just have a simple agenda. If you want me to go first in that CPD meeting, I have no problems with uh, with public speaking and presentation. Uh, I would literally just introduce myself as Attorney General for Cerberus. That I am I am at their availability if they need help when it comes to uh, basically running cases down, interacting with the DOJ. It's actually a good idea. And we're also standing up a unit called Clause between Emmy, Amber, and myself. Uh, Going to be offering legal training invite anybody to be a part of it if they're interested in interacting with the doj yeah, at the end of the day uh, you guys are, are gonna have to be stern though you guys are gonna have to you guys are gonna be alongside uh you know for the most part i'm gonna let you guys shape things the way you want to be but i am gonna have oversight right i want things to be uh done yep. right and i want things to uh you know i want uh i want i want you guys to succeed so basically what I'll do is I'll do my best to be there for you guys if you need approval for things and stuff. But uh, what I am going to be pushing for is that people who are detectives and stuff like that, this kind of stuff is going to be mandatory. Right. See, that's what I that feel makes like it makes me. most sense. And also, if there's, say, people that are mainly responding to calls and they have no interest in going to court, um, then at least this way we do have a larger team that they can kind of like have represent them in court. That's yeah, but what's important to them to know then is there there has to be like a brief presentation so that so that the officers or I'm sorry the peacekeepers can know what information to present to Cerberus Council, and they also got to understand that there may not be Cerberus uh, a member of clause available, whether that be an attorney or another peacekeeper to help them out. So I want I do want people to kind of. I feel like uh, in Cerberus Police Department will have no problem doing like a series of a uh, 30 minute meetings once a week alongside our Cerberus meetings uh, to kind of get people up to date on how they should conduct themselves in court and give examples and such. One second. Hey, Mr. Watson, how you doing? Hey, Pred, um, are you brainwashed? I don't think so, but I did almost go cyber psycho from all those all these implants the other day. Huh. You working with the Russians? Oh no, no, I'm actively working to. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't work. I'm uh, the general of the American military. Do you really think I work with the Russians? Well, that'd be like the best position to be in if you wanted to work with the Russians. No, no, no. You see, uh, this is how American uh, American military is very selfish. Uh, I don't work with anybody. They work with me. And as soon as I ha don't have a use for them anymore, uh, you know, we drone strike them and go in for oil. Okay. All right. Well, Igor thinks you're brainwashed and he wants to um, kill you and revive you to remove the brainwashing. Have you, um, have you got someone you can sacrifice for that that looks like you, maybe? No, no, no. I'll just kill him first. No, no, no. We need Igor on our team. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I'll the think Perugians of a plan. Hate Russia. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I'll um, I'll think of a plan. I got something in the works. All right, all right. Just uh, and uh, we're at the Cerberus a having a meeting right now, trying to establish like all the legal stuff. I'm not sure if you want to stop by or not. I have Splainer here. We're starting up a okay. division and shit like that. So if you're not busy right now, you feel free to stop by. All right, I'll see what I can do. All right, bye. All right, how's Cerberus? Bill Cerberus. 
Hail Cerberus. I'm unsure if Mr. Watson is going to be uh, Hail Cerberus. Uh, I'm unsure if Mr. Watson is going to be able to join us at this moment. We can probably uh, he can probably join us uh, some other time. Um, but for Kyle, now, yes. To follow up on your last note before you got on the phone, uh, I know Demi. She isn't awake this early, but she was saying last night that she hopes that at least for CPD officers, this can be like a requirement because she doesn't want her own department to, um, well, be completely, I agreed. absolutely dumb fucks in court. Yeah, I don't think there's anything with wrong with um, also uh, us. Like, I would like for you guys to like once a week during a Cerberus meeting or maybe even more than that, depending on like what's going on legally uh, to give, uh, you know, uh, reports on like what's going on publicly to everybody and you know make them aware if they're, they're doing a good job or pull them aside if you feel like they need to work on some shit and then all you got to do is that it is going to be mandatory to an extent and then if someone's fucking up in court uh you just come to me or jenny or another member of high command and say hey so-and-so's fucked up in court i want to sit down and talk with them for a little bit then you do it yeah, if, if you want performance reviews in any capacity of people who end up going to court, should be a big part of it as a witness. Yeah, I want yeah. I want you guys. That's a big thing about clause. I want performance reports on all the peacekeepers that are going to court. I want to know who we got to work on keeping off the stand and who it's good to get on the stand. You know, we got to we got to develop strategy. Yeah, I tend to agree with that. People uh, that need a little bit more I... attention or coaching before they take the stand and people who, you know, they aren't fucking dumb and can get the get the results that the Cerberus Police Department needs. Hail Cerberus. Yeah. Hail Cerberus. Uh, something that I had in the back pocket that I didn't want to lay flat out onto the table is that if somebody does particularly well in court, say a clause member goes in and they prosecute somebody and they rip somebody's throat out. Uh, or a witness goes up there and they're they're a stellar star witness. I'm able to extract a perfect narrative from them. Is I want to be able to give them on the uh, from public Cerberus server. They have a little bit of a cash incentive in it. Um, oh yeah, we can. Uh, wanna... Money won't be an issue. We can definitely get everything that we need. It'll be fine. Yeah, and also I I want to reinforce the idea that this this does have a compensation aspect to it. Uh, I know that there was a law signed recently that attorneys that take uh, cases to court uh, are going to be paid a lump sum for taking that case to court and doing all the casework for it. If a clause member takes care of that, they would be entitled to that payout. I believe, uh, I can't remember correctly. I, I'd have to go check it. I think it may be 10 or 15 grand per case that they take to court. And if a clause member just happens to be an officer that's also a bar certified attorney that takes it to court, they would be subject to that bonus as well. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of capital incentive for people to join clause and operate within clause as attorneys. Uh, I don't know if that's a particularly motivating factor. I don't know if people within CPD would, you know, see dollar signs and suddenly be interested in it, or if, uh, if, if they're more zealous and more uh, interested in the ideology that, hey, I can go to court, I can serve my country, I can rip a criminal's throat out and take them off the streets, legally. That's the plan. I mean, uh, I want when people see uh, Cerberus peacekeepers to be to, to be fearful, right? They better be on their toes. They better follow the law or they're likely going to get fucked up uh, legally and potentially <laughs> physically. Now, um, uh, uh, Porky Dose on the legal side of things. On the legal, yeah, legally, legally fucked up physically. Or not evil. Not evil. Obey or die. But, uh, Gold, you got anything else you want to bring up here? Anything on your mind? No. No, I think we covered most of it, right, Splinter? Uh, yes, I believe we did. To pass uh, these ideas to you before the meeting, like the bigger meeting with CPD officers only. Yeah, gotcha. Splainer, um, you going to be around because I can give you a call before we have a meeting, and then I'd like for maybe you, Demi, and Gold to kind of come to the front and, uh, you know, make your presentation. Sure. And um, yeah, uh, we'll probably we'll make sure to do a Cerberus meeting today, but hopefully in a couple of days we'll be doing Cerberus meetings strictly um, here. Uh, it might take a week. It might take longer than a week. To okay, this place? I was about to say, gonna... Yeah. No, no, we don't need renovations to this place. Gold, show him the hair splainer. Go ahead and stand up. Yeah, there's a uh, switch over here. Gold, why don't you come take care of that? Come hit the switch for him. 
<clears throat> Why doesn't this pointer hit the switch? It's stuck. We have the largest meeting room in the police department. Oh yeah, I'm I'm familiar with the the technology advances yeah. of this room. I was th I thought that you were <laughs> wanting to, uh, I thought that you were wanting to like actually host the police department out of here, like have oh cells, yeah oh yeah there's gonna be rooms. here. Listen, depending on what happens, fuck it, I'll start holding people in goddamn offices if I have to. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Oh, well, so uh, it'll happen. I I believe you. If anything, if there is anything I've learned to respect <laughs> your conviction. Oh, perfect. I appreciate that, Splainer. I mean that in both positive and negative ways. I accept it in a both positive and negative way. Thank you. All righty. As long as as long as we're above uh, as long as we're above table on that one. <laughs> we are. We're above. We're above water. Yeah, food. I'm hungry again. Uh, you can always go to Roosters. I, I have some food, yeah. I feel like all I ever do in this fucking city is eat and drink. Be eat, burning drink, a lot talk, of calories. And take fucking phone calls. Yeah. Now I'm thinking about us getting a fireman's pole added here, so we can just slide down to the bottom. Oh, I thought you were gonna <laughs> say for something else. Uh, the the only problem. The only problem with that is what lies at the bottom of the shaft. I don't think you want to fire pull directly onto a Cerberus's face. Yeah, that's right, actually. We're going to have to... Do, here, here's some food, Gold. What if you slid take, down and you landed right on top of Cerberus's back and you can ride it? And it has, also, like, a, it has like a little secondary slide off of it? That wouldn't be a bad idea. As long as, as, long as I'm not... As long as I'm not going down a fire bowl and ending, ending up with a, a dog statue snoot up my ass, I'll be fine with it. Perfect. Can't make any promises, though. I'm going to need a promise on that one. Leslie Lingberg looks like Slender Man. Oh, yeah, the statues all around. Jenny must be having one fucking important phone call. Is she around for the meeting, right? At like 1.30? Yeah, she always uh, is. She said you would be, yeah. I, th I think that's when she wakes up. Okay. Ah, uh, look at the Cerberus and all its splendor. I always wonder, what, what kind of stone is that? Or is that, like, onyx crusted with rubies? Onyx crusted with rubies. They spare no expense here. Yeah. Maybe even a few blood diamonds. I don't know. It could also be obsidian. It could be. It could be. Petrified wood. I don't know. Either one's impressive. Have you ever heard of Moldavite? Locked or unlocked? Uh, that can open. usually stay unlocked. I don't think anybody minds. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know that's th that's probably a habit. Yeah, it should. Yeah, it should always security. be. Yeah, it should always be unlocked. Yeah, I think if when and if this becomes like an actual processing station for CPD, then maybe that. Uh, we'll just change. take an elevator down. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I've never even noticed that before. Is that a shaft elevator? Yep. Interesting. Can, you, can we transport cars up and down? Uh, no, I don't believe so. I gotta go change some clothes. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Yep. Sounds good. Fuck that Gundam? I want an Evangelion. <laughs> I want an Evangelion and then the angels come to the city. <laughs> Can you imagine us getting an Evangelion and fighting Godzilla? Oh my god, that was so terrifying. Remember when there was that bug? where Godzilla was in the middle of the ocean. Oh, I just realized, you're right, I did accidentally leave Jenny. What the fuck? Mm. 
Who would you sacrifice? Not sure. I know Gold loves Ghost in the Shell and Evangelion and stuff. We'll sacrifice Gold. For the greater good. Hail Cerberus. <laughs> Get in the robot. That'd be funny. Can you imagine if we had a robot like that? That'd be crazy. That would actually be pretty fucking cool. Uh, let's see. I like going full jumps, full jumpsuit. Guard. Punk thing. I still don't know where things are. Uh, it's all accessories. Glasses. Fucking scouter's funny. <laughs> you have a scouter. I like going no gloves, if I'm being honest. I like going no gloves. Hands. Alright, perfect. Oh, we're good. Oh fuck, I forgot to change my hair because the, the Kyle Predfo hawk just looks so goofy with the shit, dude. Like, just looks absolutely fucking goofy. Maybe I should start a Kyle Pred balding arc. <laughs> and then he gets hair plugs. Made a propaganda video? Sick. I'll check it out in a bit. Home over? No, nah, no, nah, we already have one self-destructive member of leadership within this PD. I don't think we need any more. <laughs> yeah, we just we definitely don't need any more. What the hell changed? I don't have my, my proper belt with my taser. Fuck. Hey, who needs a taser anyway? We only kill combatants. We don't bring we only bring them in cold. We only bring them in cold and filled with bullets. All I know how to do is escalate to shooting, apparently. You know that's what people say about me. People say I always escalate to shooting. What the fuck? They get, they got me confused. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with people. People are fucking stupid as shit. Well, if you're gonna insult me, stop fucking, uh, you know, using your own insecurities to try and insult me, you know what I mean? People that say that, Jesus. Fucking stupid. Grand Marshal Kyle Pred. Fuck you, well, Pred. Uh, big update. I need to talk to you uh, next, next shift, yeah. Hmm. All right, listen, I'm going to be a little busy for the first hour or so, but hopefully we can meet up after then. Is that okay? okay you, uh, I got a lot of, got a lot of uh, Cerberus Police Department stuff going on today. Duh. Uh, Are you safe? Well, duh, duh. Uh, you let me know if the, you need to get out at any time, all right? Also, duh, I got, I'm going to have understand. money for you for your service to this country. Oh, duh. Um, do the winter, winter very cold, break cameras. Oh, uh, okay. I can, uh, I can definitely resupply. Okay, I will go. I will call back in an uh, hour and 20. All right, perfect. All right, see you then, pal. Have a good one, yeah. Mr. Meng. Duh. All right. I need, like, uh, a little bit of alone time until Tsunami, I think. A little wind down. It's been kind of non-fucking stop for the last three hours. Dirt bike that we were chasing before. We're gonna channel four for this. Keep the frequency open. Oh, God. Oh, he's not up. Okay, everyone just touched down on the lower landing. Uh, Harper, can you search to the front of the just in case I'm flipping up? I should have.
should have got the car fixed. Have I seen the different colors for the livery? Yeah, I'm using the high command one right now. Yeah, Jim. What's up? What's up, Sheriff? Oh, not too much, Jim. How you doing? Great. I was uh, out of the city for a few months. And what, what, what with all the Russian? Like, I read a fucking happening? newspaper, Jim. Uh, something interesting? Oh, uh, yeah. War is looming over the corner. Whoa. With who? Uh, nobody. Uh, I got to go, Jim. I got to unwind a little bit. I need to relax a little bit. Give it. I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to get her off the rooftop without someone able to catch it. You think I can move the ammo up? Oh, we got a propaganda video. All right, let's watch it. Let's go watch it. Before, um, before uh, Igor and GG try to kidnap me. All right, submissions. Yeah, I'll get it pulled up. It's really good. Well, I bet it is. You should have asked me. If you needed me to do some voice lines, you should have DM'd me. Yeah, like, if you needed me to do some fucking voiceovers, you should have got a hold of me. Hey, Dokes, how you doing? Howdy. It's Twilight, but she's been repainted. Yeah, we rebranded her. I seen. We're now owned by Dean Watson, all right? Or something like that. Well, I kind of missed half the presentation because I was flying a fighter jet. Oh, yeah, we're not owned by anybody. It's a sponsorship. Like a football team. I mean, more like a, like a race car, but yeah. I don't, I don't get into a race car, like F1 or like... I don't know. I'm not into race cars at all. Oh. Well, then what's a good comparison? Basketball, do they have sponsors? Probably not. Uh, no, not really. Um, you know, but we're not owned by anybody. I mean, nobody can control me. I can't even control myself. So, I mean, <laughs> hmm. we're fine. And we're all going to be rich. Well, you guys will be rich. I'll be still... Do they pay off your debt yet? Uh, no. There, there's no agreement for them to pay off my debt. Oh. Sure, it doesn't make you highly bribable if you're in millions of dollars of debt. Uh, no, it doesn't, because I don't care. I just take money out of our budget. Oh, well. I guess that kind of makes sense. But what yeah, if one yeah, day they take the budget do. away from you? Well, then I'll just go rob the vault, and I'll do what we have to do in order to give uh, the, uh, take care of the officers. I reckon if you sold one of them figurines they have outside Cerberus, that would probably sell for a few bucks. Uh, I don't think anyone that, could afford that big it. It's, like dragon. Oh, well, then it's, not, it's not a dragon, it's a Cerberus. It's a three-headed dog. Oh, like the one from Harry Potter, right? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, just like the dog from Harry Potter, but more fearsome. And that one was pretty fearsome, wasn't Are it? Are you not happy, Dokes? It seems like I'm getting the... I'm, I, I sense that you're, you're not happy. What? You think we're bought. He just gives me the heebie-jeebies. I chased shouldn't. Dean Watson for fucking ages, trying to get that uh, man in prison him, after what he did for Castleman. And... Yeah, chase him again and, and now shoot he's him giving all this money, you know? Yeah, yeah, he's giving us all that money, but he gets nothing out of it. I mean, we're, we're, we're the only it. ones that win. I mean, we have a nice little fucking complex. We've moved out of Polito. You know, we have the whole Cerberus Plaza. It's going to be getting renovations just for us. We're going to be getting uh, more and more uniforms. Uh, I mean, we're getting... We're making out of this like fucking bandits, actually. Who's in charge of Polito these days? Toretti take it over? Yeah, I handed it off to Toretti. It only seemed fair the, for the SDSO to be the BCSO V2, being that we kind of threw in the towel, came down here. A are they time renaming ago. themselves from Sandy to BCSO? Or are they just no, gonna no, they're, they're, it's going to stay Sonora Desert Sheriff's Office. Okay. Just expanding well, we'll their territory. I see. It's yeah, you got, you got no worries. Uh, look, this is going to be the greatest thing that's ever happened. 
we're more unified than ever. And plus, um, you know, I don't, uh, gotta be honest with you. Uh, I don't trust, uh, my uncle Soze. I don't trust Bass. I don't trust whoever's gonna be chief. I barely trust Toretti. I see. Surely you're not just making enemies of people who should be your comrades, as the Russians say. Oh, no, no, no. See, they're the ones that make enemies of me. Do they? Isn't it your dad or something? So is they. Could be my dad. Fred? Could be. Wait. Fred, there is a robot drone, according to Subwell, hovering over in PD right now. Yeah, shoot it down. Okay. As long as that, uh, not as long as it's not flying a Russian flag, it might be an act of war. Shoot yeah, shoot it down. Fuck them. Oh, sounds like someone already did. Perfect. I tried to uh, visit the Russians earlier because they saved me from a fighter jet mishap the other day. Uh, you better be careful. Well, I don't know what I don't know what's going on between them and the state. I mean, they do have sand you know missiles. What American, tend to lock on to you know they already nuked American soil, right? Which which soil? Um, Vespucci Boulevard, Ground Zero. We drive past it every day. Is it? Yeah. If you see Wrangler, be sure to uh, give him, uh, you know, give him, give him some uh, positive uh, affirmation because he. Why? What the hell happened to Wrangler? Victim of nuclear fallout. What the fuck? Poor bastard. Surely we'd be all victims of nuclear fallout if a nuke went off. Nah, small arms nuclear missile. It's more controlled. Ground Zero people were the only ones affected. I was at the Ground Zero, but I pulled... Well, they called it in from the submarine offshore. What the? Okay. I, have I was seen at Ground Zero. I've seen war with my own eyes, Dokes. Sure, it was the Russians that they claim credit? Oh, yeah, they did. Huh. Did we do anything to upset the Russians? No. What they did was things to upset us. I mean, I'm pretty sure honest, the Senate just signed off like... the Russian embassy. What it looks like is a lot of people outside of PD are pissing them off. Yeah, every time I stood outside the embassy for a minute and there's everyone who drives by is saying fuck Russia or they're screaming some sort of Russian thing. I even yeah, went there and tweeted, you know, where are you Russian? Because they were just thing, sitting in the back. Next thing you know, oh my god, there's a bomb on my vehicle. What did I do to deserve that? You got a bomb? <laughs> oh, wow. oh. oh, I thought you just no, said really. you had a bomb in your vehicle. I was about to <laughs> no, start no, running. No, no, <laughs> no. Right, you look good, man. I like the hair. I always look good. Oh, I know, but like, you look good. Have you lost weight? Yeah, you look like you've, you know, lost yeah, weight. Yeah, I'm Your built like, yeah, back. no, I, I haven't lost weight. I've just always been built like an 11 year old boy. Um, uh, no, I don't think you're built like an 11 year old boy. You're built like a. All right, I'm going to refrain from any jokes around that subject. I could go there, yeah. but I will probably be I, I'm, Probably I'm, better not to. Yeah, let's avoid that one. All right, let's check out the uh, welcome to CPD. Welcome to the Cerberus Police Department, a new way of policing. High-tech weaponry. and uniform made of the most advanced materials. It's basically vibranium, but for legal reasons we can't claim it's actually vibranium. Right, State of the sir, art uh, equipment. You just want to face me. Okay. I'm just going to scan you real quick uh, if you just hold still. Give him the duo with Sam. All right, medical? sir, it says right here you're a pervert. Is that true? No. I, no. Cerberus doesn't believe the people protecting the city should be struggling financially. That's why Cerberus offers the Cerberus Peacekeepers free food, free gas, and free vehicle repairs. Compared to the Cerberus Peacekeepers, Troopers, SDSO, Ellis Speedy and Rangers are basically mall cops. While the world is on the brink of nuclear war, Cerberus is making preparations to leave this planet behind and establish a utopia on the moon. This is amazing, Don't dude. Don't forget, Cerberus watches over you. Cerberus protects you. 
Cerberus loves you. Cerberus paid for as responsible for the contents of this advertising. Hail Cerberus. That Axel. Welcome to the Cerberus. Axel. I'm going to be honest with you. That is one of the best things I think I've ever watched. Oh, man, dude. That is so fucking good, dude. Police department. Wrong thing. It played that instead of my fucking Spotify. Dude, that is so fucking good. Now, uh, Axel, is everything DMCA safe if I play it during the meeting? Everything good on that front? Everything's good? That Dude, honestly, that was amazing. According to YouTube, yes. All right. All right, perfect. Dude, that is, that is so fucking good. That is that is so fucking good, dude. Honestly. For real. That that was that actually made my day. That was so so good. That was perfect. That was like straight out of RoboCop or like Starship Troopers. I love it. We gotta run with that energy. You know what I mean? We gotta run with that fucking energy when it comes to doing shit. Cause that shit is fucking perfect. Like that's it right there, brother. That's it to a fucking T. That was so good. We're going to have to play it during the meeting. I'm just, uh, you know how it is with this DMCA shit. But, uh, you know, you, if it says it on YouTube, it's completely fucking fine. I'm not worried. I'm not really ever worried about that shit. Obey or die. Dude, we got to start hashtag obey or die. I hope um, I get the information so I can start jump-starting my arc for PD Civil War. You know, I'm taking a, a page out of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Everybody knows that the best movies were Winter Soldier and fucking P in, uh, Civil War. Would have thought the Captain America movies would have been the best one in that whole thing. The original Captain America sucked dick, but... But let's be honest, Winter Soldier and Civil War were really good. Now, Civil War is not ass. Civil, dude, Civil, I don't think Civil War is ass. There's a lot of, uh, not, I don't think you can say Captain America Civil War is ass. It was like a, it was basically an Avengers film. It was so good. It had everything you want from it. Like, it had decent story. It had all the characters that you want to see, the reveals that you want. If you want to, if you want to shit on that movie, then I hate to hear what you think of uh, fucking Infinity, Infinity War and Endgame because those were trash. Those, those were fucking trash. The, the, the two biggest dumpster piles were those two. And not, not Infinity War, but Endgame was. Endgame was fucking trash, dude. I'm sorry. It was no fifth element, that's for sure. Look, guys, feel free to have your own opinions on shit. You don't have to share my opinion. I'm fine with that. You do not have to share my opinion on shit. Okay, you don't. But at the same time, I think you're wrong. It's that simple. That's how life works. I don't, I don't think you're an idiot for not agreeing with me on movies. Actually, sometimes I do. I'm going to be honest. Sometimes, if you don't think The Fifth Element is one of the greatest sci-fi adventure films ever made, you're a fucking idiot. And if you don't like Blade Runner, you're just stupid as well. So yeah, there we go. Yeah, contradicting myself. What else is fucking new? What else is fucking new? The Batman trilogy. Yeah, but the, everybody knows that the best superhero movies are based on, like, m more real-world stuff than they are, like, being... Like, the, the thing... Dude, I love the Dark Knight trilogy. The Dark Knight trilogy is, hands down, one of the... Uh, is a masterpiece, dude. A liter a literally a fucking masterpiece. District 9? Uh, I thought District 9 was pretty good.
The Boys is top 10. I mean, yeah, I mean, The Boys is a terrific TV show. I can't believe Penta doesn't like The Boys. I always find it odd when people say they don't like The Boys, and I'm just like, why? It, it, it's great. It's, it actually has, like, great characters, great storytelling. Terrific. Uh, I think it's a terrific series. Dude, I mean, fucking, dude. The House of the Dragon is fucking killing it, though. House of the Dragon is fucking dope. If you guys haven't been watching that. Uh, yeah, I watched a decent amount of The Expanse. I watched, like, over three seasons of The Expanse. And I thought it was really good. And then I just kind of stopped watching it. Because I started watching more anime. Yeah, dude, we watched the CPT, uh, CPD video. We'll play it again during the meeting. Have you tried Dark on Netflix? Is that that... Like, German or Russian t TV show? Is that what I'm thinking of? That show gave me a fucking... Dude, I remember... Dude. Dude, dude, dude. All right, listen to this. All right, one time I fell asleep while I was watching it, and I woke up, and I had the strangest, like, half-awake, half-dreaming state happen of my fucking life. It was terrifying, dude. It was honestly fucking terrifying. Bro, it, it was so weird, dude, because I woke, it, I was like, it was like one of those episodes where like, I, I, I can't spoil it, but it was like, it was like sleep paralysis and everything. It was fucking, it was, it was fucking terrifying, dude. I, I want to actually sit down and watch Dark. I think, I think that would be something fun to do. I've only had sleep paralysis a couple times in my life and it's always fucking scary. It's so great. Do you mean dark or sleep paralysis? We need a new black mirror. DW, love the video. That's great. Black mirror. I remember... Dude, I like black mirror. I watched a decent amount of it. Come on, Walker. Come on, Walker. If you're going to have one arm, you might as well be fast. What the fuck are you wearing? What do you mean, what am I wearing? Why do you look like an electro gimp? Uh, an electro gimp? What the fuck's that? Yeah. What the hell do you jerk off to? But uh, you just. I'm so fucking confused. This the, is the future. What are you wearing? This is the, the future, future, Walker. CPD, Cerberus Police Department, obey or die. I'm your Grand Marshal, Kyle Pred. You, you look like a neon twink. You I look like you're gonna die days. alone and sad. Yeah, that is probably true. That is probably true. <laughs> I, I went away for two, two days. What are you wearing? The full Kevlar bodysuit, head to toe with insulation and everything. Perfect body temperature, state of the art vest. You, you sold out? Oh, there's no, we're not sold out. We're just ahead of the curve. No, no, I mean, you sold out to Cerberus. Look, you're wearing a goddamn dinosaur uniform there, you one armed monster. I'm so I'm I'm just confused. You're all what I'm else handicapped. is new? You're all so handicapped. Hey Booba, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. How How's are you? How's Cave Fred? Cop going? Ah, uh, it's good, you know. I don't know. Good. Don't know. How's the down, FIB? The club. Even better. Oh, uh, okay. I'm sure you've heard a few things. Oh, maybe I have, maybe I haven't. I mean, I've heard the stuff that's been brought up in the meetings. I hope you guys are happy with your legislation. You know, it's How's a shame the, uh, our good buddy Rhett couldn't be around. Every week. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's yeah, crazy. you know, it is a shame. How's the, uh, how's the paintballing going? Oh, what about paintball? Oh, is that? Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, when's the race? Uh, what race? Oh, is that... 
You're wearing that by choice? Say the word. Say oh, word. yeah, yeah. Try not to slip Say and fall, word, you know, at the polar ice caps and then get caught and frozen for another couple thousand years and then wake up scared and alone. You goddamn caveman. You know what? I should have let Bass kill you. You know what? You should get speech therapy or be fired, you fucking bitch. Maybe you should too. Recycled joke. Hey! Get the door for you, Grand Marshal. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. Hey, Alexandra. How you doing? Oh, hey! I'm great. How are you? Looking great. Oh, yeah. We're gonna have to get you in uniform. I bet you're gonna wear the fuck out of that. Yeah, I have oh, to put yeah. it on right away. Go outside a second. What do you mean? That's the biggest bear I've ever seen. Yeah, that is terrifying. Grand Marshal Kyle Pred. Fred, it's Max. Don't say my name real quick. Mm. Okay. About about that deal. Um, I'm in the middle of the desert at the moment. Uh, I'm about to pick up four bricks of C4 off the guy that I spoke to. Um, you sure you want to go ahead with this? If you were seeing what I'm seeing right now. What? You would be more committed than ever. Okay. I hope <laughs> the bear doesn't maul Booba. That would be terrible. A, a, what, like an actual bear, or yeah, that would be really the, bad. The biggest the bear, bear I've ever seen. Okay. Consider the job done. Luckily, bears don't speak English or understand it. Hey. Hey. Um, uh, let me try something. Medved Atakuyet Peschernogo Shelveka. I just said bear attack cave cop, caveman in Russian. He doesn't respond to you, Blet. Oh, well, that's, well, that's smart. Boris. Atakuyet, Blet. Who's a good boy? Who's a good bear? What is Suka? Oh, wait, I think I need to give him vodka, Blet. Who's I mean, a judging, good judging bear? Judging by his fucking eyes, it looks like he's there you go. funny. Here, wait, I speak bear. I wouldn't doubt that Boob actually does speak fucking grizzly bear. <laughs> What's what's happening? What's nothing? Happening? Oh, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. What hey, Gold, large, how you doing? What was that you large blob I saw? Hi, sir. That was the world's biggest Russian bear. <laughs> it was a it was a bear. There's a giant Russian bear outside. Stay away from it. It just mauled Booba. Had leg day. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I had leg day. My legs that are just killing me. The bear's the size of Pluto. Holy fuck! The giant bear. There's a gigantic bear outside, dressed in Russian attire. A bear? Wait, really? Yeah. Uh, look, I, I have bad that. news. A giant Russian bear just mauled Booba. The FIB what? has been what? destroyed a second no. time. Oh, no. How much trying to get that? That's unfortunate. Did it send that is a shame. Bear? Well, bears can't commit crimes, you see. When him and I were together, I tried to maul him like a bear, but he, uh, he didn't go for it. Are you guys getting divorced? We already did, yeah. Oh, sad. 
I got married to Charlie Archer of the SDSF. I have, uh, I have a video That today. you have no oh. self-control. Okay, well, I have to tell them I'll have my uniform in a second. You're out of control. Yeah, Moose Beard's a sex Ugh. addict. Ugh. Whitley. Wasn't that Whitley his brother? brother? Whitley's married to What's the scene. That's that? my What's son. All right, guys, let's get started. It's quarter past, well, it's later than that. Okay, hello, welcome to today's meeting. I we have an announcement for CPD, and it's to do with uniforms. You've had these less than 24 hours, and a lot of you would like to mix and, mix and match. That ain't happening. For ladies, we understand that some of you weren't happy with the tighter pants. You have been given two options. Males, you have not. You have still got the standard uniform. Oop. Everyone else, there is a standard uh -huh. uniform. There is still standard uniform. There's hats that have been said that you can wear. And you have 24 hours to get yourself cleaned up, and after that, the uh, command structure will be issuing punishment to people who don't want to wear the proper uniform. This is brand new. This is uh, you shouldn't be that upset with it right now. And if you are that upset, there's other and you don't want to be in the department. That's more than welcome to uh, to us for a transfer. But clean yourself up. We have some absolutely ridiculous things going on with the uniform. They're brand new. Up here. They're brand new. Grab some respect from the people who made them and created them before you start messing with them. All right, how's everybody really, really doing? Really hey, how's my peacekeepers do? Where are my peacekeepers at, huh? Yeah, yeah. 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 where's my peacekeepers at? Yeah. Yeah. Peacekeepers. yeah! Get a look at these peacekeepers. Look at these. Hey, everybody, take a look at all the people wearing prehistoric uniforms around you. Where, where'd they come from? A Civil War reenactment? Am I right? <laughs> Dinosaur <laughs> clothes. Go on, Grand Marshal. Dinosaur clothes. Oh, man. So, um... You know, uh, we're going to be, uh, this is an important announcement. Uh, in a few days' time, the CPD will be departing from these meetings to work on our own culture as a department over at the Cerberus Center. Uh, you'll be able to, hopefully within the next week, you'll be able to uh, take a bus to the Cerberus Center, grab your cars there, and, you know, we can come here and grab our supplies. It is a unified police department anyway until we have our own lockers which are in development right now so yeah everybody i hope you all look forward to focusing on the cerberus police department while we leave everybody else in the dust don't forget we're going to the moon now i have a video to the moon why do you sound a bit like mickey when you say yeah it? you sound no, like I, mickey. I heard that too. i was just gonna say it's happening to you prud Welcome Ooh. to the Cerberus Police Department, a new way of policing. High-tech weaponry. Yeah! 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, dud. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh, damn! Yeah. Made of the most advanced Ooh. materials. It's basically vibranium, but for legal reasons, we can't claim it's actually vibranium. Right, State of the art uh, equipment. Copyright. Right. Face me. Okay. I'm just gonna scan you real quick. Uh, if you just hold still. Give him the duo of a Sam. Alright, sir, it says right here you're a pervert. Is that true? No, I, no. Cerberus doesn't believe the people protecting the city should be struggling financially. That's why Cerberus offers the Cerberus peacekeepers free food, free gas, and free vehicle repairs. Compared to the Cerberus peacekeepers, troopers, SDSO, Ellis Speedy, and Rangers are basically mall cops. While the world is on the brink of nuclear war, Cerberus is making preparations to leave this planet behind and establish a utopia on the moon. Don't forget, Cerberus watches over you, Cerberus protects you, Cerberus loves you. Cerberus paid for as responsible for the contents of this advertising. Hail Cerberus. Hail Cerberus. Oh, that was amazing. Wow. That was Don't forget, yeah. people. Hail We're here to protect. Cerberus. Hail Cerberus. That was amazing. Cerberus guys, Police so Department believes that we can well. bring peace through violence. And only you can only bring peace through violence. That's the American way. We're here to protect you. We're here to help the civilians. In the middle of the meeting. Do we have any more announcements? Anything need uh, to be brought up? Demi, Gold, do you guys want to take the floor? 
Oh. There's something from Command. I don't know. Jenny, do you want to touch on that? Or I could bring it up. Which part? Uh, Pablo from Pablo Lotto. He wants to say something to the in the PD meeting. He's downstairs. Uh, I'll oh, just yeah. say it then. I'll just say it. Give me a, it'll take two seconds. And uh, any questions should be pretty simple. Okay. Uh, it's coming from High Command in regards to... Give me a second. Uh, pit maneuvers and units attaching to calls. Uh, from this point forward, uh, due to, you know, the mechanical recalls on the uh, cars, uh, due to slower pursuit speeds, pits are to be authorized at 80 to 85 miles an hour rather than below 100. Also, in regards to unit numbers on pursuits, uh, three units should be the, you know, standard procedure for a pursuit, the primary, secondary, and tertiary, with two additional units per interference vehicle confirmed to be involved in the pursuit. Additional units may attach at the discretion of scene commander. Uh, it says command, but I'm just going to say scene commander or primary in layman's terms. On articulable facts, i.e. a vehicle is occupied more than three times. Is that pretty simple? So three to a pursuit, unless you can articulate something like there's more than three people in the car. So then you would bring four. What if there's gonna six? Say. Then you would bring uh, one, two, three, and then, you know, bring three extra cars. Do six. So we don't want to have a, so like no a parallels. unit parallel. Uh, yeah, we don't want to have a unit well, paralleling. Just well, this like is what I said when it got brought up in command yesterday. If you actually read the description in our SOPs of what a tertiary unit is, they should be looking for opportunities to parallel the pursuit. So if there's, you know, three people in a car or two or one, should be three units on the chase. If there's four, then it's up to the scene commander to get, you know, a fourth unit. I'm just the messenger here. This, this is coming this, from this, uh, this, high this, command. This is all standard stuff, guys. Don't act like you're surprised. This is this is all standard stuff. There's no need to be a doomer. All right, this is all normal stuff. Man, okay. it sounds normal to me. Conduct yourselves out there and be aware of uh, everything. Um, make sure if you handle this type of shit that you're in the fucking know. All right, if you're commanding a scene, you better know how to command a fucking scene, or you won't be commanding scenes. Do you get me? Uh, I'm just gonna I'm, I'm just gonna read that last part one more time, okay? Additional units may attach at the discretion of scene commander on articulable facts. So, if you think three units aren't enough in your experience for three people with class twos, then you can call a fourth unit. Or if there's more than three people on the car, then you can call more units. Is this going to be announced in like any other meeting, like any uh, outside of this one, so everyone is aware? Of? The command is aware, and the command should be passing on the information on meetings. Okay, got it. Thank you. Just you know, if you uh, experiences out in the field, I mean, you guys are in the know now, so just reverberate it to the rest of the PD or people that may not be here. What so pits at eighty there? to eighty-five. Uh, and then three units for a pursuit. Okay, the reason there's... there's okay, let me just speak. The reason why there is no PD announcement is that things are constantly changing. And until the, the vehicles are in a suitable area in which we can 100% say for certain, this is how they'll be, then there'll be announcement. For now, we're trying something to work with the city, and that's why there's not a PD announcement. Do, 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 do. Oh, wrong all song. Right. All right. That's all I got. All right, is there any more stuff that needs to be brought up? Uh, Ayub wanted to come up here and uh, talk about some things. Ayub, that's you. Hey. Oh, Ayub. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Hi. Um, if you don't know me, um, my name is Ayub Aomi. I'm currently Deputy Mayor of Los Santos. I'm also an EMS Lieutenant. Um, I have been proud to serve in Mickey's administration for the last four or five months. As you guys probably know by now, Mickey cannot run for a third term, which oh, gives no. me an excellent time to announce that I am running for mayor. Okay. I, I want to be your next... deputy mayor. Oh? I mean... You were a useless deputy mayor, you... Oh, I was, he did a lot of I was, shit. He did I was the only one that was around. Abolish EMS. He was an OG, what the fuck? 
Tell people you're you running basically did everything for Mickey. I mean, guys, relax, class. relax, relax. Hardcastle can't read uniform SOPs. He's just upset. Yeah. Um, I will. Uh, I mean, I enjoyed having seven people over the last four months. I want to continue the good work that we were building under Mickey's administration. You guys are not going to lose your funding on, under me. You guys are going to keep getting your money from the state, but I also want to improve stuff on a personal level. Uh, the Learn Los Santos program that Bunny did try to start, I tried to start it under Mickey's term. I will actually get it started up. We're going to have first aid courses. We're going to have business management courses. And we're also going to have a law school. I'm going to get lawyers. I'm going to get judges. I'm going to get hopefully cops who are familiar with the legal environment to go ahead and teach civilians and likewise cops how to how to do law, how to conduct themselves in court, how to make legal arguments. I don't know a lot about court. You guys no, know more don't. than me. Which, yeah, you know what? This helps me. I need law school. And the fact that hey, we hey. don't That's have... That's a good call. We will see you at the shit. classes. Uh, there's Potential more stuff. Um, we wanna, I'm going to introduce more town halls. We're going to have more town halls, more improved communication between the mayor's office and the people. We are going to take control of the airspace. I've spoken to Chief of Snow. We're going to get some legislation drafted up and submitted to the Senate that will uh, propose new, le new laws that will basically make people lose their pilot's licenses more. I don't want to see people Ooh. just flying the helicopters around doing like crime that. without Amen. consequences and the, the fact that that the issue is that they even without a license they can just go rent one for five thousand dollars yeah that's another thing we're going to be working with air Reds and we're going to hopefully try and get them to control the vehicle the helicopter rentals oh, so cool. you got to go to you got to go to air Reds employees to get a helicopter rented out um it will probably be yeah It'll be a little bit more expensive than now than what it is currently because right now it's like what five k to get a frogger, yeah, or something stupid like that. Yeah, five thousand dollars. The the fact that you can get a frogger cheaper than an S plus vehicle, it's crazy. It's dumb. Yeah, I mean I've been proud to help everyone in the last four five months, and I want to continue doing it. I'm not moving free from. Oh, that's great, um, my favorite EMS. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry I sound dead. I'm just really tired. I've been up for, like, a long time. Pablo Loco is also here to say he's running for mayor. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Uh, Pablo Loco invited me to be one of his deputy mayors. Uh, one of his platforms yeah. was defunding you guys. He doesn't oh, like oh. how... Oh, yeah. Good. Okay, I'm, I'm actually up and Try and defund me, Pablo saying. Loco, and I'll have you oh, killed. I, I honestly go, don't know why he's there, saying Pablo, that. So there. All right, um, let's not start this in here. Okay. This isn't a debate. See your piece. Get off the stand. Yeah, yeah. Wait, who's this guy? All right, thank you, Ayub. Appreciate you coming up here. Pablo, oh, well, I told hey, you, you know, to wear something nice. defunding the police would be good for this us because nice. we'd be the only ones dressing. with any fucking money. What? Oh my God. That's true. Okay, okay, maybe not the shoes. I'm working He's on it. With the of... Look like fucking that guy oh, that owns the New York needs. Knicks. Yeah. <laughs> so I look Mark like I have Cuban. money? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Hola, how you guys doing? I'm Pablo Loco. I'm running for mayor. Uh, I'm going to shoot out a couple things that I do support that your current uh, mayor Mickey shoot. has. He's going to shoot out. Definitely not going to shoot. And if I did, I would miss. Clearly don't have any uh, crimes under my belt of shooting cops because I miss. Yep, facts. Anyway, uh, I am going to continue pushing bonuses. Uh, I actually want to raise uh, police uh, uh, pay because I want to raise medical pay. Uh, in doing so, those work together. So I think that a base pay should be raised uh, for the people that do the most in the city. Now, currently right now, Dodo makes $20,000 in less than 20 minutes, and uh, medical staff make nothing, along with uh, officers as well as their base pay. So I want to raise that or at least attempt to raise that and continue... Uh, what Mickey has already started. Uh, I also want to get some uh, legislation passed. If I do make it in 
to hold uh, businesses and criminals way more accountable than that they have been doing uh, some type of strike system on uh, or, or more money they have to pay every time that they try to have a shootout one of their complexes or their businesses. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I'm putting thought into that, and I feel Ooh. like you guys would help you run your jobs more and put cr criminals in check uh, thinking that, uh, that they're just going to run to uh, a higher uh, place in one of their complexes and try to you know, wipe you boys, you know? Okay. Question in the back. Question in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, uh, Dan Faley, CPD News. Uh, you said you want to go harder on businesses and all that. Uh, what about the, when you use Pablo Loco, the Pablo Lado, to force me to a location, kidnap me, and then throw me out of a helicopter with Dean Watson? <laughs> Uh, if you oh, actually uh, press charges and if that was true and you did your job as a de detective, uh, I would be in jail. But clearly, uh, not everybody can be as perfect as Pred or the other people. Mm -hmm. talking cops. Nice, nice oh, okay. oh. Yep, yeah. Yep, so, yep. man, it's almost like there was an investigation, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Where it just vanished. I don't know. But what I am uh, fo focusing on is getting you guys more higher pays, focusing on actually uh, putting people in check, including uh, businesses and uh, illegal enter, you know, big old biz uh, companies and stuff like that. So I do think that would help you and your business uh, with the police and stuff like that to move forward. Uh, and I do not want to change anything. I hate people that take mayorship and want to remove things that were put in place from the previous mayor. So anything that you guys have in place now, I would never touch or do anything. If anything, I would probably add more to it and uh, assist police to actually be able to do their job. Also, I think your uni new uniform is pretty cool looking, man. We know it is. Uh. Yeah, you don't need to tell us. Yeah. Is there any other questions or something that you guys are looking forward to as a mayor to take office? Besides not losing current things that you have now. Are you still going to give us millions covered. of dollars? Uh, bonuses will still be happening. See. No, budget-wise, are you still going to give us budget millions wise, of dollars? Yes, if there's still if, if budgets are in place for, uh, say, like the Class 2 Act and uh, the Vagina Act and things like that, I will not be fucking with anything that is already in place and money will still flow. We to want more money! Rabble, 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 rabble! More money. Money me. More money. Oh, money, 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 money. I can help the leprechauns. Yes. Okay. Uh, guy sitting down with the hand that was up. Yeah, sorry. I, who are you? I'm Pablo Loco with the Pablo Lado <laughs> and uh, running for mayor to support the people of this city. Okay. What, what else have you done for the city? Uh, I've made large events uh, with the lottery. I've uh, invested that money back into other smaller businesses and things like that. Which ones? And, uh, uh, Which uh, well, we're talking about uh, Amazon. Uh, I've uh, invested in mo mostly into the uh, music industry, actually. Wasn't Amazon active for basically like three weeks? No. But uh, a lot of businesses are dying out right now, which I also want to focus on taking mayorship okay. and bring back some kind of... Uh, Bring back Dean's world! Oh yeah. my god, that's what I'm saying! But bring it back Dean's at the Cerberus world. Center! Hail Cerberus! Bring back the farmer's markets. That's exactly. what we want. Bring them all Actually, back, but at the Cerberus civilians. Center! Farmer's market never should have went away. Fucking stupid. Yeah, and, uh, I, I do I do not agree with uh, the local selling shit. I mean, they're very anti-social. I fucking hate that shit. But, uh... Looking into a lot of different things as we do take office and uh, seeing what kind of legislation we can get written up. Is there any other uh, questions uh, concerning the police department or anything like that? Are you actually going to have AU coverage or are you going to say fuck AU like every other mayor? No, I want to actually have a serious uh, team uh, that covers AU and uh, NA. Uh, and I want people's voices to be heard. Uh, I'm kind of bringing it back a little bit. Uh, gonna have like court court hearings and stuff like that. I had letting the civilians come in, speak their piece, police or anything like that. Uh, and I want to actually get this job done properly and ran very good. So no, I will have coverage on both, and I will actually wake up for both occasionally, uh, as well as having actually full time uh, deputy mayors actually being able to be reached and then uh, messages being able to give to me, and I'll reach out to anybody that has any issues. All right, appreciate it. Orally. Anything else? Any other questions? Are you still a part of the Vagos?
I am no longer a part of the Vagos. I am a clean member of society. You said the Mandem dressed you. What's your association with the Mandem? Uh, Mandem run businesses. Uh, uh, when I reached out to talk to them about different types of business, like gold panning and stuff like that, uh, they told me that I needed a better drip to look cool, and I am now trying this better drip to look cool. I gotta, do my, I I gotta take care of like my fucking. Shoes. I gotta put my laundry in the dryer. Huh. Okay. The uh, cannoli is take care of the rest of the meeting for me. Okay. All right, everybody. Uh, just like I said, vote Pablo Loco. I need to put my shit in the uh, Real change, and we're going to keep the current stuff that you do have now. And yes, I would say more money coming to the police's way. I, I have no question. problem with that. What's up, mister? When are you going to tell us that uh, you're funded by the Russians? You planning on leaving that out? Uh, not funded by the Russians, but they did have a large bear that attacked him uh, right outside the facility. Change. And uh, you, nobody helped them, and I felt bad. Compound for 15 minutes talking about funds. I was watching you just two days ago. Oh. Oh. Uh huh. Oh. Uh, What's going on? Uh, nobody was ever in their compound. Uh, I do believe you were outside talking to them about asking what their rights and their laws were and how different it is for cops. So if you do want to join the Russian police, I think you should let your fellow police officers know about this instead I'm of- sorry, are you calling Carmine a liar right now? Uh, absolutely calling Carmine a liar. He was out yeah, there you know talking what? to Russians. It is Bell. crazy. Only we can insult Carmine. Yeah, what the fuck? Carmine's ours to beat up, not yours. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not even beating him up. You do it for me, so it's all good. Maybe you shouldn't suggest when you're the one lying. All right, all right. Does anybody have any other questions about anything Pablo talked about today? I want to add to that cannoli, okay? You sold out to the Russians. At least you didn't sell out to a corporation, huh? Who is run by criminals, known criminals. I don't know why we're not addressing this elephant in the room. We just stuck up for you. Shut I'm up. I'm saying it. Carmine, we <laughs> just stuck up for you. You literally Carmine. just had Hydra, who's, who's in that building. department, defend you. Are you yeah, catching me? You're like straight out of a dystopian, futuristic movie. All right, does anybody else have anything of substance to ask uh, Carlo before we get out of here, or before he uh, leaves us? Hey, on, on a serious note of the mayorship, I'm really trying to get this shit done. I know I have a flaky history. But I do want to want you guys to wake up, come in the city, and actually see change. This was Just a like dystopian future. I'd have Carmine with shot. The department. So I, I do want some real change, and I do oh, want to put the effort so cool. on all on all ships. I have so. 30 day miss waiting for the server center. All right, everything good so to much go? for coming in. Yeah, oh, appreciate no, it. And don't forget, Pablo Lotto has reopened one thousand dollars per ticket. You can buy up to ten for a chance to win okay. hundred k this Saturday. Who asked? Who asked? Yeah, I have. Who else do you want there? Because I have charity there um, by the three-headed dog wanting to do your press release. We're not gonna do. We're gonna do. Uh, we're not gonna do it at the town hall. I mean, I thought you'd be cooler if you because the video of you. Oh I'd yeah, be yeah. We'll, if it yeah, was we'll go down in front of the three-headed dog. Uh, Germany, grab. Like, who do you want me to it's grab? It's not really a press release, then. It's just more of an interview. Well, yeah, but it goes on the LSBN and they tweet out about it, which makes it more legit. We'll go down there and, and it. iron it out. Who do you want me to grab? Uh, I'll come with. I'm not sure. Grab it was whoever. Beautiful. I'll come with. Where are we going, bro? Hey, good luck in. Uh, yeah, we'll come with you. We'll come with you. Totally. Appreciate it, man. Hey, if you got any actual, like, real ideas, uh, just let me know. I am uh, putting the effort in. I'll be awake, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to win. Oh, it's okay. I have more power than ever. Exactly. All right, Brett. I appreciate what you do. You have a good day. Hey, you guys have a you good one. You look good, Power Ranger. You look good. Totally. Gotcha. Gotcha. Like Judge Dredd, bro. Double whammy. Ah, Pop Tarts. Right, I think we actually might have we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Are we going down to uh, the Cerberus Center? Yeah, we're going to go down to the Cerberus Center. We should probably bring Cerberus, someone like right? Cannoli with us, too. We need That's to bring just uh, the Cerberus, right? Yeah. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was a different place. Um, you want to go get Cannoli? Energy. Yeah, get Cannoli. Cannoli! Cannoli! Grab the vehicle. Hey, uh, Grand Marshal. Yeah, what's up, Klaus? Klaus? We must talk. Uh, right now is not a good time, buddy. Okay, gotcha. Just uh, give me a call whenever you're free, okay? Will do!
Mods, what happened? Hi, Fred. Hello. Grand Marshal Kyle Fred. Hey, it's done. Hold on. Perfect. Uh, you want me to hold on to it for now? Or? Gold, you coming too? Yeah, hold on to it for yeah. now. Okay. Uh, just let me know when you want it. Sheriff, is this uh the thing? All right, later. Bye. Later. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be going to the Cerberus Center to conduct an interview uh, for the public. Maybe I should give them the, vi the this video. The press release thing. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, that it's, video it's probably was gonna be amazing. more of an interview than a press release. Uh, um, oh, so I'm not doing my my speech. Um, what I might try and do is still organize a um an actual press release at the town hall. I might do an interview at Cerberus Center and then we'll go on over to Town Hall and give us and do a, a full on thing for the people. Alrighty. Uh, I'll, I'll get in the trunk today. so uh, Jenny has a spot. The pop in the, How many pop people the can fit in this? Oh, Cannoli and I will uh, we'll get a real pot in the trunk. Right, Cannoli, you ready okay. to jump in there, buddy? Count it down. No. Okay, go. Alright. What you laying? Oh. Ow. Oh. Move your fucking elbow, man. Well, move Most your spacious knee pad. trunks and all the PD. Oh, it, it, it's the knee pad. I I can't. I know it's the knee pad. Oh, yeah, it's right in my goddamn well, armpit. Well, How does it in there? kicking the roll, back roll, seat. Roll to your left a little bit. Oh. Roll to the left a little bit. Oh. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good. That fucking what unicycle out of my way. Okay. Jesus. I have a fucking question. What's going on? Is it me or was everybody dooming at the meeting when I said what I said? I don't think well, that's an out of the world look, fucking announcement. There's listen, nothing they're always different. going to. Yeah. They're always it, it's going. It's literally nothing different. Tertiary is always listen, in You got to understand, thing, a lot of those people are just so inherently pissed off all the time that there's no... Uh, you could go up there and tell them something good. Well, what the hell does this mean? Yeah. Like, I get it, you know, changes are happening, but changes isn't always a bad thing. People got to be flexible. Yeah, people got, that's the issue. People get, uh, they get too, um, you know, they like running in place. They, you run in place for so long, you get comfortable with that scenery, you know? Yeah. What's going on, Anita? Want to come to the, uh, yeah, Cerberus Center? So what are we doing here? Are we just having a meeting? I wasn't sure, we, I wasn't aware we were doing this today. Uh, I think what we're going to do... What are you eating? Or pop tart. Oh, wow. What kind? Crazy. Brown cinnamon sugar. Oh, you gotta lay off those. You oh, have a heart we're attack. Gonna, we're gonna talk to charity about LSBN. Uh, don't worry, the nicotine and the um, Red Bulls will take me out before the pop tart does. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing. Woo, Empire charity! Today, I'm drinking a Red Bull at 2 p.m. Yeah, hi. I'd started drinking mine at 10 oh. a.m. I thought we were. What gold? Doing a charity yeah. event. Uh, not no. talking to a woman named Charity. No. Sorry. Oh, no. The Cerberus Police Department, you think we do I charity? I Hell no. We only I take. Don't we don't know. give. <laughs> okay. Ms. Demas, yeah, hello. We're, uh, hello. We, as you can tell, we used to be PBSO. We have changed into a brand new department that is now sponsored oh, by God, Cerberus. Yeah. Um, we need to do a press release for uh for the courts to acknowledge us as a police department okay and for the citizens to know that we are quote unquote legit so we've come to you because we know sbn is the best Wait, place Jenny, for information such as that you. that's Where's fine downstairs. downstairs anita how do i okay there's the, the stairs the stairs <laughs> wow. hey guys oh boy right here. and it looked like stairs oh there she is okay yeah, I saw the stairs. All right, don't worry. I took care of the twat. In 15 minutes, we'll go down to the town hall and give a press release. You want to do an interview to... here, though? Oh, we or... have to go public. We can do an interview do an in... here. We can do an yeah, interview, do an interview here in after. Front of that. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's right do now. a... It's 15 minutes. Well, get some, get, call Faley and someone to get yeah, we'll them get to start organizing and, yeah. um, uh, security for the town hall. All right, let's see here. We want you to set up a security part, please. We're breaking you down. Let's start with. Now is unfiltered press while he. Uh, does... 
All right, here we go. Let's start with some words about uh, what the CPD is and what their mission is. A lot of stuff kind of stuff. Well, someone's phone is ringing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mute your phones, guys. Everybody get their phones muted. All right, what's the question? All right, give me one second. Let me uh, make sure I'm not going to hear that again, just in case. All right, why don't you tell me a little bit about why, first of all, why did PBSO decide to go into partnership with Cerberus? PBSO decided to go into a partnership with Cerberus because Cerberus is the most successful business in this city, hands down. This great city was built by Cerberus, and the PBSO believes it can only make it stronger. What things have changed? since becoming Cerberus PD. What's changed, as you'll notice, we're in the latest and greatest in suit technology. Our Kevlar jumper is basically bullet resistant, knife resistant. We have the latest in vests, tactical knee pads that allow us to be more mobile and agile. We're always ready for any conflict. People will get used to the Cerberus Police Department. Cerberus PD, obey or die. So that, that's the new motto then, huh? Uh, right, yes, have it there is. Been any, okay, have there been any changes um, between following a public police system versus being sponsored by Cerberus? Policy changes, things like that? Oh, yeah, there's been several policy changes. And if I told you about them, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> well, that's just a joke. To happen, so, okay, good. Uh, I was just kidding with you. Uh, there hasn't been really too many policy changes implemented as of yet, but we are working on some things that are only going to make the PD better and give us a better ability to protect the public. So is the Cerberus Police Department still a member of the United Police Department, or are they completely independent now? Cerberus Police Department is a proud member of the Unified Police Department. Perfect. I think... Do we want to get a group shot here in front of the statue? Well, hold on. Yeah, we definitely got here. Everybody, come on. Get in here. Get any, anybody got any, got any questions for anybody else? Maybe you want to ask them how they feel about Cerberus Police. Oh, Nova, since we have Perfect. Class 2s, it's gone to ends. Can I get everybody over there? For some, don't want me on camera? Okay. Perfect. Fine. You can get it now, um, Marcel. I'll go on the end. Mm -hmm. uh, wait. 13, all of you. Oh, okay. What's that? I got to send guard What I'm one. doing. What are we trying to do? Hide a hard on? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're looking professional and strong, Fred. That's what the cigarette's for. You can do what you want. You're the, you're the Grand Marshal. Oh, okay, all right. Well, that's what the smoke's for. Oh, okay. Good. Can uh, why do we have two wanna... people not wearing the eye thing? Why are you guys not wearing the eye thing? Oh, the eye thing, the scanner's optional. Oh, it is? Okay. Does anybody want to make a statement about how they feel about being a member of the Cerberus Police Department? Hail Cerberus! Very proud of being part of the Cerberus Police Department. Hail Cerberus! Hail Cerberus! I want to be hailing Cerberus on the... You know what? Ah, fuck it. Hey, um... <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> You know, uh, the Cerberus Police Department is proud to be a member of the UPD and proud to be policing the streets of Los Santos, keeping the city safe, making sure every civilian feels loving, compassion, romance. That's what we're here to do. We're, we're just here to make sure that everybody's okay. We're here to bring the peace by force. The Cerberus peacekeepers are always watching. Obey or die. Obey or die. Cerberus Obey Police or Department. die. All right, perfect. Jenny, do you want to talk off to the side on camera about the political stuff, or do you want it to just be completely separate? Oh, no. You oh, I just, um, just want to say that. Front of us. 
No, I don't want to be on the camera. I'm good. Um, just more for you than anyone else. This sponsorship does uh, while putting us in a better and more uh, giving us more access to equipment that can better serve the people. It does not change our quality of policing, which is already high. On top of that, this this uh, sponsorship supports our officers to be able to thrive in the field by giving them access to things that they they are required to make their life easier, such as food, repairs, etc. Um, it isn't necessarily a complete like overhaul of policing. We're still part of the UPD. We're still oh. proud to be members of the UPD. However, it does give oh. us better equipment and a better attitude to be able to serve the, the city. And as they said, obey or die. So are you saying that you made this deal because you weren't getting the money you needed from the state? <laughs> no, it was to continue the fantastic work that the Mayor Mickey put in for the officers as we realized what he had supplied was perfect for what we needed to sustain the quality policing that is expected. All right, perfect. But who I doesn't want more money, am I right? I do, more I want more money. money. More money. Me, me, me. Money. And we believe in Cerberus. We believe that through Cerberus, we can police better. All right, perfect. Is there anything else you want to say before we go to the official press release? Or do you think we'll cover pretty much everything else there? We'll cover everything else there. Perfect. All right, then. I think it's pretty good. We got a good right, group perfect. shot. Good job, guys. Yeah, good work, good everybody. Good work. Let's go. Uh, where's Amber? Uh, we should probably wait to um, head over there before. It doesn't seem like they've mobilized yet to head over to the town hall. Yeah, they're all at that. Uh, ben has his speech four. ready as well. I'll get on uh, channel four. Mom, I can meet you guys there. I'm gonna talk Dan's to Dan's doing a speech? Fast. Okay. Yep, that is being made to make a speech. Oh yeah, Dan's God, being punished. Know, fuck this up. Yeah, if he fucks this up, he'll be uh, unemployed. Oh, nice. And I already made it. I already made it perfectly clear to Dan that no other department wants him. I couldn't even trade him for fucking uh, Saul Leesman. Oh my god, that's terrible. I think the rooftop. Two thirty-eight on security duty. Oh my god. All right, pal, you ready? Go. That's my majors. How do how I do during that? Was it good or? It was great. Was great. Yeah, you need to you need to remember the only thing I would say that you need to add is that naturally the political side of who gets the fuck they already know. You're great. Hey. You're doing great. Oh, thank you. I, I want you guys to speak up too. I want you guys listen guys. Don't be afraid to you know start talking about shit. I trust all of you. Just you know dive on in and start doing the shit. Uh, we can probably All right, just, uh, you, wanna... you know, remember what it is. We got to earn the public's through. trust through oh, violence. Uh, I mean, through uh, our words and violence, both. There you go. Compliance. Obey or die. Compliant. Obey or better fucking die. Okay. And um, yeah. I'm not sure if we should be hailing Cerberus on camera. I mean, you know, oh. but we already did, so oh. fuck it. Oops. Copy. All right, so everybody, uh, Copper's going to be leading. Uh, We've been saying it in all, in, all the, yeah, the meetings. Yeah, but I mean, so that's for like really the PD, show, you know what I mean? Uh, Once they start seeing oh, us oh, on sorry. the outside, it's okay, it's okay. I'll get that charity to bleed out. Hey, Marlo! Hey, Marlo! Hey, Marlo! Hey, Marlo! To give, uh, to do a, um... Hail, sir! No. Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper. What's the, what's the word? Oh, press conference. Peacekeeper press conference. All right. Cerberus, we'll peacekeeper work. press conference. Be good, kiddo. Uh, do you know if Dina are lying around and they want to be there? Oh, oh God. Oh, oh God, Dan. Yeah. You two, We're still organizing. We're get them in. Eat, them. eat them with the trunk. Oh, my God. You guys need to uh, maybe yeah, you pull us eject out. us out of here. Help! Eject those Cedo cuz. God, I fucking love that movie. It's gonna be like a podium speech. Right, there we go. Hey, how about you guys just grab a car? Yeah, I was gonna say just come and do the. Yeah, yeah just come and do the car. I'll leave a note. I'll leave a note. So uh, we'll take the. It's lost. We're about to save it though. Break it. Tonight. Lucky to get 350 on radio. Direct. 
seven. And I want everybody to have their beating sticks ready because we might have to beat the shit out of the entire crowd. Does okay. flashlight work? Uh, Pred, they just want to know, you're going to stand out front, kind of like a podium thing? Or? Yeah, yeah, stand out front. I, really, I really wish we had a mobile podium. Yeah, Pred's going to stand out. Okay, side, okay. Like Guys, talking like about beating uh, people up, what about CPD, uh, katanas, and sledgehammers? Oh, don't worry, we're working on <laughs> getting worry, executioners things are blades. coming. Yeah, things are coming that will, uh look really fucking cool when you and get them stun batons dude if i can slice someone in half while i'm chasing them that'd be sick no, imagine having your black and red katana in your bag that would be sick my hey, well, that would be sick hey i thought we told people there's front. a press that's out front. conference that's right out front call him on he'll walk it off yeah. all right come back to the rpd has he been snooping? I got a line on you, Hayes. Oh, oh poor you. dopey Carmine. Oh my god. Uh, no, because Good. Yeah, I don't know. I'm yeah, probably, what, what you know. What the fuck happened? Did they get knocked down, shot down? What happened? Uh, I asked, I asked What'd you say, Gold? You're probably what? What happened, Carmine? I said I'm letting him handle it. Oh, perfect. All right, we're heading over to the town hall. Oh, yeah, I have one. Okay, I'll meet you there. Perfect. Uh, what's going on? Uh, Splainer, we'll be giving a press conference to announce uh, Cerberus PD to the public. The DOJ's being a bunch of cunts. It's either I murder them all or I do a press conference. I'm choosing the lesser of two evils. Um, I actually think that they're not being cunty. They wanted you to have a moment in the sun. The moment would be most important. Oh, what's going on? I'm pretty sure the person that came up with making you do a press release was actually doing it because they wanted you to show off. Hmm. So I shouldn't have to worry about having them killed. No, you don't have to worry about DO, DOJ. If, what I, if my information is correct... Because I'll have them killed. You know you, I will. No, they want you to have a moment and a big moment in which the city is like, Oh, shit, okay. What if this is all a plan so that I they mean, can see for us in the face? Could be. I don't think it is. They're gonna see but we're going to get C4 anyway, Anita. It's just a normal thing that happens <laughs> in the it. city. I'm just going to say that I've never been C4. I have. The, Hey, hey, I've been seeing you. It is not okay. fine. No, the white ghost stand at the front of the breast release. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Let's change what? it today. Hold on. Shit. Um, here, hold and on. of course, Nobody we, we were like car. having, we were like meeting up sure in front of Bob Smith and someone threw a fucking grenade. Yeah, uh, car bomb situation. A bunch of us were here. I don't mine. This is the shed that I put up on protective. All right. There's a shed parking lot at City Hall in the western. Oh, my life. PD motor pool. Also, yeah, Dan. Hey, uh, I'm in Air One. Do you need yeah. me on the ground to read that thing yeah, or what? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what we need okay. you here for. You know what? Okay. You should. Okay, okay. Let me swap out pilots. Yeah, you're gonna be the closer. Uh, okay. All right. Be there shortly. You got closing energy. Yeah, yeah. Of you course I do. You got the energy to be a closer. I'm gonna impress you, Sheriff. You'll you'll love it. All right. All right. Remember, your job relies on this, and no other department will take you. Wait, I what? I made that completely clear. Remember, your job relies on this, and no other department will take your ass. Nobody else wants you. I couldn't even trade you for Anybody? fucking Saul Leesman. So let that sink in. I don't think anyone gets there. I don't see anyone else. I'd rather be a doorman that worked for STSO. Perfect. Well, hey, you keep that up, you might be... You keep that energy. If you don't keep that energy, you might be a doorman. <laughs> okay, see you there. Bye, Dan. Don't pull a failie. Copper, what's up? Ah, perfect. No, I'm mm. like, I, I feel like What roof? Are you uh, what? Hey, how you doing, Forcer? Is your hair falling out? No. I sent you a text, uh, sir. I know this is like probably this. the best time, but I was just it. wondering, um, is it possible to potentially put in a request to go from part-time to full-time as I no longer oh, have yeah, of obligations elsewhere? Of, of course it is, Forcer. Of course it Thanks, is. Thanks, boss. No problem. You can go full-time all you want. Now, um, uh, Forcer, do you mind standing off to the side? I think seeing a balding woman on camera might th frighten the crowd. Just... What? Press, she's not balding. No, there's, uh, there's some <laughs> issues with hair right now. Captain Mom. Uh, come it back, Forcer. It's okay. We're proud of you. Alright, come on, Forcer. Head on back. Come on. Fred is my hair falling out. 
Yes, yeah, we um, did. We, we yes. Um, Forster, I don't know how to tell you this, but your hair might be falling out of your head. What the fuck did I do? Can I go? I tore a hat or something. Look, this, it, 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 I've been under a lot of stress recently. I got laid off. I'm not okay. Oh, you got laid off. What do you mean? You're, I've never, I didn't fire you. 315, get on the roof. I have other obligations. Why I was part time. Oh, why was that? FIB. FI, FI, I already killed FIB. And I had Booba mauled by a bear. Oh, I was laid off. Why were, wait, why were you laid off? Is that Forcer? Why the fuck would, why the hell would uh, Booba lay you off? You were an FIB agent before him. Oh, you know what? Just, I haven't I been putting in the time. I put huh. a lot more right. of my time uh, in here. Need the co -pilot All right. At MRPD. You want me Can to uh, destroy them? That? Yeah, yeah. No, Forcer, it's how okay. about you, um... Or a pilot. I've been, it's been a lot. Yeah, oh, I, need, well, I need somebody who is going to be able Help. to do with the, uh... Yeah, yeah. My goddamn hair's right. falling out, Fred. Of course it's been a lot. Yeah, you have, uh, yeah, you look like Trump. <laughs> oh. You do look a bit like Trump. Yeah, you look oh. like Trump if he, uh, you know, was a woman. <laughs> oh. Listen, but the great thing is, now you're part of the Cerberus Police Department, you know, all the technology Just to get your hair Just make sure back. the crowd only sees you left profile, okay? As long as they don't see right profile. Oh, uh, the, the wrong way! Left oh, profile! Jesus. Left oh, fucking oh, profile! Oh, okay. Okay. Not everybody can be as attractive as Nova and Cannoli. Did I just... That's right. Wait, did I just go sit in a car somewhere, maybe? Might be for the best. Maybe just yeah. go inside until it's over. Okay. Is it... Is, Anyone like uh, LSBN hey, good like, job live so far, streaming dude. it so I can at least watch it from I've my phone? I've done terrible so far. Oh, Liz, how about you? Now, you know what? I want you to stand uh, out you're here. Doing just, terrible, just, just I would hide told behind you you're everybody doing else. Hide behind the line. There's a tree. Should I go behind the tree? Yeah, right. get, yeah get, maybe it's maybe it's best right now you get behind the tree. Yeah, man. It's just like right, always. You just got to tell uh, people to do shit. Or else cybernetic do implants it. already have a bad rap. The last thing we need is for them to see a balding woman. No longer do I ever ask. You are kind of balding. What happened in the last couple of days? Gonna need a megaphone. Nancy Drew never sells them to me. She says I'm already loud and obnoxious. It's about to, uh, I'll just you one. Hi, where are you right now? You have one? I don't sir, but I will get one. Oh How are you gonna my get diligent one? Duties. Well, we need, I kind of... Does anybody have a megaphone? Does anyone have a megaphone for press? No, is a megaphone? They're finished or finish? Klaus coming in for a cloud, sir. Hey, how you doing, Klaus? I'm doing good, uh... Oh, you got a megaphone? Yeah, would it be possible to have it back? Yeah, 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 I'll give it back to you. All right. All right, does everybody know Thank what you're doing, what you're looking out for? All right, 309, I've secured a megaphone. Your Grand Marshal has secured a megaphone. Yeah. Uh, Dan, you want to go over uh, go over it all again? Just make sure we're all on the same page. Yeah. Okay. Mr. So Pretty changed her hairstyle. Looks very nice. Oh uh, yeah, I just grew, grew my hair out a little bit. But one that you see maybe circling in the area multiple times. Kind of liked it before. I think you aged yourself you like 20 camera, years, so uh, respectively. Uh, but you, you know, it's just more authoritative. Gotcha. I think your best years are behind you. Don't pay attention to the press conference. Your job is to watch the people. Be a people watcher. You're gonna look for. No clues. Uh, what? What are you starting? Metapause. People who are being agitated. Uh, make sure to call them out. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Huh. All right, how's everybody doing? It's your Grand Marshal of the Cerberus Police Department. Hail Cerberus. Gotcha. Oh, hail Cerberus. Having a field trip, they're that serious. So how's everybody doing out there today? No, exciting turnout, huh? Hello. Yeah. You want a wrap? Yeah, they're all getting out. All right, mm. perfect. Mm. We got a nice little exciting turnout here. I, I haven't seen a crowd this big since I had my family over for Thanksgiving. She got a big family, huh? <laughs> no, I have an average size family. Oh. Uh, what else average size do you have, bear? respectively? That's a fucking bear. What yep, bear? that's a that's, that's a, a Russian bear. bear. No. All right, somebody translate for the Russians. Do not go be uh, uh in front of the barrier. Soup got blacked. Perfect. 
Uh, Privet, comrade. All right, all right. It's um. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at those muscles. Look at this. So you're probably wondering why you're here today, Charity. Are you rolling? Yes. I'm Charity, rolling. are you rolling? Because it doesn't look like you're pointing the fucking camera over here. Are you fucking rolling? Yes, we're filming you, Fred. All right, all right. Oh, hey, Ursula. Hi. Um. Yeah, the bear's pretty interesting. I'm here to announce the that the PBSO, the Polito Bay Sheriff's Office, is dead. The sheriff of the Polito Bay Sheriff's Office is dead. And Grand Marshal Kyle Pred of the Cerberus Police Department killed him. Oh my god. The Polito Bay has dissolved. We're moving into the city, right here in the Cerberus Center. We are your new police force. We are lethal. We are trained. We care about you. We care about your safety. And the peacekeepers of Cerberus will bring peace to these streets through violence. There can only be peace in the streets of Los Santos. And we are the perfect fighting force to bring it. We are well trained. We are outmatched. And we have the numbers. You will obey or die when dealing with the Cerberus Peacekeeper. We will uphold the law to the fullest extent. And if you try to commit crimes, the Cerberus Peacekeepers will stop you. We have the latest in technology. Full Kevlar bodysuits, bullet and knife resistant. Spalders. Yeah. Can we test that? Yeah, 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 can I test it on you? You want to interrupt my speech? Interrupt it again, and I'll beat your fucking head in, you cocksucker! You won't. Peacekeepers! Which one of you just said that? Of course, it's always the guys that look like the your mom. bandits talking the most. Go ahead and grab that fucker up uh, for, uh, you know, what's that charge where they're disturbing the peace? Disturbing oh, yeah. Disturbing the peace. Disturbing, disturbing the, peace. the peace. Get that fucking cocksucker out of my sight! <laughs> the Cerberus peacekeepers are here to keep the peace through violence, if necessary. We care about you. We care about all of you. You're Just important to us. Shut the fuck up! We care about saying. all of you. You all are valuable to us. I'd like to welcome you to the family. We'll be taking care of you from now on. And you better be Hello, behaved. Now. This is, announcement is brought to you by the latest member of the Unified Police Department, the Cerberus Police Department. I'm your Grand Marshal, Kyle. Pr Do I look like I'm taking fucking questionings, you stupid bitch? Did I say questions? Do you think I give a fuck? Disturbing the peace. Get that stupid bitch in cuffs. Which one is it? Which one? Get ready. Go get her! Go fucking get her! This is police brutality! You wanna see police CPD. brutality? Fuck the CPD! Get him inside! Get him inside! Fuck the CPD! Get him inside the fucking town hall! Uh, Grand Marshal, we might you. have a- we might have a threat. What's the threat? Uh, twatter, twatter with a drone video targeting this area, and your name is in the twat. We don't show no fear! Cerberus peacekeepers, spread the fuck out! If you see any threats or any weapons, neutralize them! I would not recommend anybody in the area draw a weapon, or you will be dealt with in kind. We are here to protect you. We are here to serve you. You are a part of our family. We care about you. We will make sure you are safe. The Cerberus peacekeepers will not allow anything to happen to you. Got any food? I'm kinda hungry. What do I look like? A, do I look like the Salvation Army, you broke fuck? Get that son of a bitch in cuffs! Disturbing the fucking peace! Get that motherfucker Can I in cuffs! Ask a question now? Which one? Oh, 
It's a it's a valid question. I promise. All right, bring him up. New Noel Nene. Get her inside. Get her inside. Your question is your question is null and void. Get her inside. I know you're gonna answer it properly. You have no rights, criminal. The Cerberus Police Department believes that everybody's word of this city is important. Now we will move into questioning. Mind your tongue. If you say something I don't like, I may deem it disturbing the peace. Do we have any questions today? Uh, yes, uh, Ursula Leichenberg, CGN. Gotcha. What's going on, Ursula? Um, so your title is now going to be Grand Marshal, correct? Correct. Will you uh, be leading any parades uh, throughout the town then? Disturbing the peace. Get that bitch in cuffs. Disturbing the peace. Bitch. Get that bitch in cuffs. Fuck Chang Gang. Fuck Chang right, Gang somebody, Media. Somebody on the roof over there taking pictures. They got a big gun on their back. Perfect. Oh, wait. Someone's oh, got a gun. Okay, okay, okay. Right, okay, okay perfect. Come on, bring her in. Well, I'm never going to sleep with you now, Kyle. Good. You, have the right you don't have the right that. to sleep with the Grand Marshal. Get, so Get her inside the town hall. Get her inside the damn town hall. Fuck you. Fuck you. Any more questions from the crowd? Drone, 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 scatter! I had a fucking question! How good was that press conference? By an exploding drone the other day, so be careful, Air One. So don't we blow up uh, on uh, drones and stuff if they're flying over government facilities? Yeah. I lost it south of us. I easily could go around to just be vigilant on the ground. If you see anything over the airspace of the town hall, you are deemed to shoot it down. Nothing should be over government airspace. Planning on a grand marshal. If I'm on the courthouse roof. Right, I'm on the courthouse roof. I did not hear the drone at all up here. So what Buddha think? Yeah, I'm truly sorry. Yeah. <laughs> what did Buddha think? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like your personal bodyguard. Traffic Logan, you hear it or you do not hear it? Yeah, you do a good job. Okay. Thank you, sir. Hey, I'm my final Marshall yesterday. No, oh, DW is right, there too. Was right. DW yeah, there I too? I just arrived in the area. I don't hear nothing. Go ahead. Great mom. Uh, is the area clear? All right, we're gonna continue. Dan Failey, get over to the front, uh, to the front of the town hall. No, you would know. I mean, no, I wouldn't. Dan, over here. All right. Fuck your questions. The Cerberus Police Department doesn't give a fuck about you and your. I mean, the Cerberus Police Department cares about you, but because of certain situations taking place around the town hall, we're gonna move into closing. Here you go, Dan Failey. Enforcer, Dan Failey, everybody. All right, I've got the drone over the courthouse. Drone over the courthouse. Inside, inside, drone over the courthouse. Inside, drone over the courthouse. It's Grand Marshal inside. It's inside. I believe it's on top of the courthouse. Oh, it's it's landing on top of the courthouse. Uh, let's go to the basement. Let's go to the basement. Well, press, press. Uh, we got We should hold down this point of entry. This is the most strong. This is the strongest fighting point. I'm just scared that like if it blows up directly above us, we're gonna go down. That's why I think basement is the is the safest. Hold on, Juno. Line them up against the door. The civil they're gonna have to shoot through those civilians to get to us. They have like a relative range of like 200 to 300 meters, so it's near but not that far. Yeah, they're bulletproof and stab proof, but we're still gonna use you as a human shield. So we want to look for somebody just standing in the stationary, possibly a pilot and a drone. So if you see anybody suspicious, call them out. It's literally my fucking. You hear that? Moving off to the east. I don't know if I should or not. <laughs> Yeah, what? Do what? I, going I don't know if I can hear through concrete. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I hear anything. But I, I, I heard do the AC think we turn on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I still think we should go to the basement, sir. Now, nah, this is the strongest place to be. 
There might be a, okay. if somebody could just check if there's anybody on tablet in there. Most certainly am, Bill. The drone is still okay, to the northeast. Shut up, Bill! You're distracting us! Fuck you, I'll rescue you! Yeah, right in front of that one car. Disorderly fucking contact! Do it! Contact. I fucking will! Bill's a Cerberus attorney. He's one of us. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Bill's one of us. He's Corpo now. Okay, Bill, you're fine. Anybody in there operating a tablet? Stay down there. Stay down there. Stay down there, please. Bill, you got a gun. Yeah. Dan, are we good? Wait, I, I do occasionally hear. Mm -hmm. you still, I still hear it over us. Oh, hey, Dan. Uh, I think that's the Dan, AC. Can you hear the drone from where Let's you go out there. Continue. Let's get All out right. there and give the speech. The closing Break speech. So, 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 last time. The northeast so, corner wait, wait, wait. of the courthouse. Yeah. Right. Everybody. Fuck you. Let's, have, let's have everybody on the ground pull out their class twos. And if we hear that drone, just be ready to shoot that thing out of the air if we have to. Plus, it'll look good for the shot. All right. I have prepared a speech. <clears throat> the pyramids. The Great Wall. The space program. The moon landing. Air conditioning and the bidet. Yeah, if we have one what do all of these things can, uh, have in common? To the They're um, momentous to the occasions the in history. That's where I'm looking, but I don't want to leave Today the we celebrate west, another momentous um, occasion. Kind of watched, but I can hear the, the creation the county, of the, the strongest county. Most powerful Are police sure force on Earth, Cerberus yeah, PD. Yeah, I'm still, I'm, I'm the west our new high-tech gear, including our eyepiece, which check, uh, lets us uh, palm trees right above me. see high-tech things that we can't disclose to the public. No. Our earpiece, which allows us to uh, oh, picking up any thermal signatures to, from that to communicate with each other like uh, an earpiece does. And of course. I our new it. uniforms, oh, where is it though? which are made of extremely high-tech and high-quality fibers and materials to protect house. each enforcer hear it from the loudest, dangers that uh, they may face on the daily. Corner of, what is this, East Way the Polito Bay and, Sheriff's uh, Office is no more. We can't be consumed by our East. petty differences anymore. I'm up here on the roof. We will be united in our we common interests. But today's oh, wars are not like the ones from the past. You see, it's we are not fighting you. tyranny, to oppression, or persecution. Little bush, red going light. Today, we are yep, fighting games with it. compounds, S-bus cars, and unlimited amounts of Class II firearms. It's restricted outspace of Wilson, so we're I think fighting against annihilation. Okay, I'm going to shoot it. We're fighting for our right to live, to exist. And should That's we win the, drone, the game, we, we will have friends. to establish a new holiday. <laughs> because the day we destroy the gangs <laughs> is, is, the, is the day it's that Los Santos declares in one voice that we will not push. go quietly into the night. I'm pushing we it around with my bullet. Let me break it out. There's, there's a jet over the courthouse now passing west. Get right out. Get right out. Get right inside. 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 inside. Get right inside. Get right inside. Yeah, go run. The jet is U turning, gaining altitude, heading to the south. I'll be opening fire. Right. Second jet coming in from the east. Smoking. Smoking. Continuing southbound towards Dorset. Over Don't waste South your ammo. Carol Wait for it to come close. Don't waste your ammo. All right, we need somebody to get on ATC to contact the person with the jet. Tell them that if they do not land immediately, then they were going to be shot down. I'll switch back to channel two. Hey, firm, we need them All right, to get these now. goddamn people yeah, uncuffed and get them the fuck out of here. Free passage. No way, to go negotiate with the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the criminal side. All right, go ahead and get them south. uncuffed. We got to clear the area. We don't Russian have time speed. to process these fucking assholes. Do you want the super shoot? We can see that LSI ain't coming near the bottom. The only asshole I'm in watching you, Nuno. You should stay here. Let's go yeah. get the jets, Cheryl. No, you, you keep watching Maybe me, okay? Maybe we should go get the jets. Let's go get the fucking jets. Let's All right, break, break. 309 Grand Marshal here. Me and Dan are going to go get the jets up. Oh god. Hell yeah, Grand Marshal. Good, good shit. Marshall. Great speech. Dan, but you're not. Hey, Perm, we're getting you're fucking a lame. dispatch on ATC, um, and we can still hear the drone south. Good speech, Dan. You know that they just confirmed destroyed? 315. Oh, thanks, Sheriff. Uh, I think I'm inside of the you. Drone and and damn it, Dan, Dan, you're gonna get us killed. Keeping. You broke the car, Dan! You right, damned it up! Still prevalent. Oh my god, Dan. Dan, you damned the fucking car up! Everybody get in, I'm driving! Ow, Dan! Trunk. Trunk. Dan, double tap the horn, please. Oh, I don't need the trunk. Go, go, go. So how was the press conference? 309, are you still in the frequency? A firm. Perfect. Are we going to come back here, or do we need to actually pursue the jets right now? We need to pursue the threat. Press conference is over. 
right, eight firm. I'll ground unit the uh, redirect to uh, jet pursuit. There is so how, how was my how's my speech, top, guys? So where it was, was good, Dan. Never mind. It was hard to hear over the gunfire, but it was good. Yeah. I don't think anyone listened, Dan. That should be okay. Uh, we got a maybe a charger. As long as we're safe. Headlights just kind of slow rolling by. Parking now at the. <laughs> All right, Dan. I'll meet you on the roof. Wearing a white top, black shorts, black backpack, running up, as well as an individual all in black. Do we have anyone on ATC? Uh, dispatch right now. Okay. Find those jets. All right, AT or dispatch. We had two, uh, what we believe to be Russian fighter jets that flew over the courthouse. They were last seen going southwest toward LSIA. Uh, we need to see if there's any, uh, any jets in the air, and if they are. If they are All there, right. they need to identify themselves Let's and land Let's immediately roll. or they will be shot down. Kapita, I did see them getting shot down. I'm checking ATC right now. I currently do not see any ATC that's flying, uh, unidentified aircraft that's flying. Only in a police officer. I saw one of them was shot down earlier at the courthouse. Is Air One possibly identified them heading towards the aircraft carrier? We're going to get a few on Code 6 at standby. Forward, Do I take Whiplash or Typhoon? Here. Typhoon are the ones with the I'll missiles, so you'll probably want Typhoon. Yeah. Perfect. Give me a palm drone. Wait, are you trained with the missiles? Uh, not with the missiles, just with the regular jet. Mm. I don't think anybody's trained with missiles yet. Except for yeah, Snow. I'll just, just in case. I'm it's sure Snow will understand. These, uh, jets do have stealth technology, so uh, just keep your eyes up. They might uh, be on top of you before you know it. We're checking Dankudu. Uh, why don't you and I head to Dankudu? On route. Yeah, but the jet was heavily damaged. I don't know if he could make it all the way up there. He could also have press landed into the water uh, near the bay. Right, um, I'll go through the Let's route where it. the swamps are at. Oh, wait, what's that to our right? Uh, that's a uh, thatch. Oh, it's 10 foreign, 10 foreign. Uh, we can go check the aircraft carrier. Hey, Firm, let's try to have some ground units who are available to spread out and uh, go across the, the island just to see if you see them. Uh, last time I think this happened, they were near the cove, correct? Uh, hey. or 76 to Iraq. Are we still looking for the jets? Yeah, firm. There's no visual right now, and they're not anything. Whiplash three is falling into position behind you, Dan. Uh, uh Fred is leading. He's in front. Oh, ten four. Yeah, Dan. I'm gonna pull to the side so you can get. You're the season. You're the seasoned veteran, but I am. I, I did survive a dogfight. Ten four. I'll lead in here. All right, check LSIA, right. correct? Hey, from Air One, check signal. Find the distance. Three for three is heading north to Palito to see if they're over there. We'll stop by the cove on the way. Air two is going eastbound, checking the coastline. We can also go to the cove that's south of the power plant. Yeah, if you can or check that, level. that'll be easier since uh, we're on uh, in a vehicle. All right, aircraft carrier is clear. We'll buzz the uh, LSIA real quick. Have one. We are clearing the east side of LSIA in the water to see if it's fresh landed. Uh, if ATC reported a, a crash vehicle, it might have been the drone. I don't know how that works, but it might have been. Negative drones don't register as aircraft. 10 4. What do you mean? We're getting amazing frames. What do you mean Fred, by FPS? Do you have the one with missiles? Hey, Fern, but I'm not trained on them. <laughs> yeah, 10 4. I don't think any of us are. It's mainly just a show of force right now. Beach side is clear all the way to power plant on the eastern side. ATC, keep us updated. I 
think our next uh, next stop should probably be Sandy. I'm gonna start making a right turn towards that direction. Seven four, wood life, please, on your starboard side. Y'all look cool, so. What the fuck's a starboard? Uh, it's right, not Grand Marshal. Uh, break. I don't see anything in the air near Sandy. Calls north of power plant clear. Continuing up to Toledo. I bet he met the Beatty 23. Then kudo. 6-6 traffic. I think my jet's faster than your guys. Make sense you're the Grand Marshal. I uh, get a lock in speed with the Grand Marshal. We can do that. Oh, yeah, these things will fly at 35. Great. I got my afterburners on, and you're still, like, I'm not pulling on you at all. Craft Tower to your uh, LSAI, L oh, I mean, sorry, RX is quick one. All right, it's so making a slight right turn and drop some altitude to fly over Sandy Airfield. Reference latest 911. What was that, latest 911? That's way out the west. Sorry, uh, yeah, west of the uh, Dean's World. Ten four. Last time we had a submarine and we had Air One in the air. It kept locking on. The marine was locking on to Air One. Uh, we, I don't think the submarine was, but whenever it was out, that's what happened. Spread. It is a nuclear submarine, so it most likely has weapons. Do we have any um, shark rangers available who can uh, be a undersea unit? Oh, we have multiple. Yeah, I'd actually like to get those uh, deployed. If we can get uh, somebody to pull out the submarine, get that down there. We'll start sampling pictures of this thing and see uh, see where it's hiding underneath. Six one seven back up. Whiplash yeah. 1, 2, and 3 are uh, almost 23 to the location of that 911. I see you guys down there. My altitude's a little higher than yours. I'm coming down. Anyone that can pull out that's going to grab the submarine? I don't see the sub. Uh, where are my shark rangers at? I trained a lot of you. 345 and 431 are going to grab one of the submarines. Do need, need someone in the passenger? Uh, 671. Care 2 also needs an additional gunner, since we're going to lose one. Uh, I can be your gunner. Swapping into oh. VTOL mode to hover over this area. Let's go fix it. Do not visual for the uh, submarine. Grape seed code 4. We have not code 4 to Grape seed airfield. 5876 Grape seed. Who's gonna meet up at the FPD? Uh, 580, where are you currently? Uh, Route 78, Grand Sonora, just outside the scrapyard. Wait, are we not right going there? to Dean's World now? We have uh, three, we have four aircraft hovering over Dean's World. What do you mean We're I missed it? There for now. Why are you guys meeting? Do you have any ground units near the craft zone? 309 over here, I got eyes on the submarine, right on my 20, just uh, north of the pier. About a quarter mile a -perm, out. A -perm. Air 2's gonna reroute to the civilian dock. Take 7 one is up. 45, do you want an additional submarine out? I've piloted them before. I uh, firm, let's let's get that. I'll I'll clear that. Do you need a submarine? Snow, where are you? We um, need I've you. I've got Alexandra with me right now. So. so we don't want to do anything to this this thing, right? Because that'll be like a act of war or something. Oh, it's it's diving, it's diving. It's an act of war well, that it's already it's here, Dan. Page, We're not, we're choosing not to engage with it due to its nuclear capability. Ukraine and Russia. Air 2 is refueling at the civilian dock. 
gunners come to the civilian dock? Uh, as this thing's moving, uh, Dan, let's try to gauge a speed on it. I want to get some more information on this thing. He just dived. It looked like it was over, well over 40, 45. Uh, 606, what's your current 20? Uh, what's Grant? Alright, come to the civilian dock. Alexandra head done. pops, and I'm not sure if she'll be able to come back. Repeat code 4. About 35 miles an hour there, Thatch. 10 4. Air 2 is lifting off. Where are we needed? Uh, unknown at this time. We're just hovering over this, uh, Submarine. We don't see any aircraft. Air, uh, ATC, you see anything? I just heard some sort of shot. I don't, get, I don't know what I heard. It was weird. Uh, I'm not sure if it was the instrument panel, train. but I swear I heard like a like a beep beep for just a moment, just a split second. So just uh, keep your wits about you up here in the sky. I would recommend not being in VTOL mode. If that thing fires a missile, it'll be a direct hit. Guys have flares. Negative. Juno, I'm on my way. I'm just, I'm oh, eight, just like 30 Snow, where are you? Snow! Alright, Grand Marshal, we're falling into formation behind you. Yeah, it just keeps circling the airspace around the sub without trying to lose visual on it. I don't know how I feel. I'm not the uh, expert in the skies, but I don't think us uh, being in VTOL is smart if that thing has missile capabilities. Uh, you're right. I'm going to let you be up front, though, because you do have missiles, and I don't want to be in your way. All right, Snake One is mobile now. We're uh, heading towards the VTOL jets. Uh, I don't have eyes on the lead. sub anymore. I do. It's still in place over there. Yeah, so I was currently directly below two. I believe it dived down. We're directly yeah, dive... west of Del Perro here. I can still see it sub. a little bit. It's a yeah. Uh, the last, the last pilot, the third pilot, is just past it, heading. Yeah, if you if you bank sharp west, you'll be right over it. You're right over it now. Are you heading northbound. How you doing down there? <laughs> I don't need station pointing on down. I'm getting beeps. I'm locked on right now. Someone's locked on to me. Get it? I got locked on as well. Trying to scare us. Same traffic. Air 2 doesn't see any other aircraft in the air, so it's a submarine. I mean, shit, Grand Marshal. Right, 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 just from LSIA. I swear I just had a missile come from LSIA. It was a large orange bleep that just came out of LSIA. Get I evasive. I Getting too. locked on. Who's gonna do a flyby of LSA? Just had another one right here in front of me. It was uh, on the southwest corner of LSIA. Almost looked like a flare coming out of this guy. Right, I got C1, I'm gonna check water. it out. Do need to do LSA? I keep on getting locked on. Does anyone have eyes on that sub? I'm on. They're shooting missiles, missiles, missiles on me! Where's on me? It's, it's, I'm, I'm facing maneuver some flight! I dodged it! I dodged it! Good shit, good shit! We've got, we've got the submarine to our right, northwest uh, of uh, Snake One. Move! 
checking, I'll be checking, I'm going down. Be advised there's a submarine that is shooting the missiles. There's nothing at LSA. Copy. Uh, ground units, let's pull out some boat units. Let's go recover Dan. Make sure Dan's already on it. <laughs> I'm, in the, I'm in the water. <laughs> I was never taught how to Dan. eject. How do you eject? The same way you get in. Oh, all right, copy. Right, this is Snake too. We have visual on the submarine right next to it. Get my speed to back on radio. Our helicopter got EMP somehow. Uh, Snake One, where did you see, uh, where did you see this up? It's directly to our west, we believe, uh, in, uh, in the Why ocean. Why? It's currently. always Dan getting uh, shot it's down. Gonna be the, it's dived down, currently, uh, lowering out. Uh, use your, use your compass to, uh, gauge height from the surface. Copy, uh, it's about 20 feet down. Okay, so raising again, raising altitude immediately to our west. Got eyes on it. Hey, if you're directly over No, here, how do I? I don't know how to use the missiles. Should have learned. Okay, well, we are directly below the submarine right now. Somebody, get, somebody better get on fucking channel two and uh, code for that. Submarine is now moving again, uh, directly west. We are immediately to its rear. I want a missile shot at me. Have we got motors on the channel? What's the status? The submarine's shooting down aircraft. Submarine units do we have? No, no, I don't know how to use the missiles in RP. You can't tell me in chat how to use them. Yo, Hino Tick, thanks for the six months. I appreciate that. I would like to have another boat unit on this. I just yeah, I don't we, know what got, we can do against a nuclear submarine. We have Snake 2. It's just extremely dark and we're not seeing anything over here. It's headed northwest. Is that, uh, is that correct? Yeah, it's heading westbound at this point in time. Yeah, I'm getting a thermal signature. Not sure if that's our subunit or if that's the actual sub itself. Uh, more than likely us. It is now heading eastbound. We are immediately below its main hole right now while it heads east. What, what's your call signs again? Uh, three, four, five, and four, thirty-one. Eagle one, Fox two. Uh, please try to get as many pictures from down there as you can. Any markings on the side, uh, something that can help us identify what we're dealing with. God, I want to watch Independence Day now. Air two is gonna gain Fox! altitude and Fox! 800 feet. Air one with EMP down. We picked up the two pilots. Their radios and everything don't work. Okay, that's very concerning. Yeah, copy. If we have no way of fighting this thing and it's nul it's uh, nullifying our jets and our aircraft, um... Yeah, they took out Air One with the EMP, fried their fucking radios and everything. Like, I got them in the boat right now. 309, I'm in the red on fuel. Looks like they're continuing southwest towards the, uh... Jaguar like One, I gotta break off, rig. refuel. What do we do here, Fred? They've taken down two aircraft so far. Wait, they took down Thatch too? Negative, I'm no, still No, they up. took I'm out Air up. One with an EMP. Jesus, I mean, there's. listen, we can't engage a nuclear submarine. We'll do more damage to the city than we will t letting it be there shooting down our aircraft. He's got to keep eyes on it the second. Uh, it's, it's surfacing. It's surfaced to the south. Fred, we need you to refuel a missile this thing out of goddamn water. What if we... What if the boat units breach the submarine and somehow hijack it? I saw the sea, the Coast Guard do that one. Yeah, they yell, they were yelling in Russian. I remember that. It's the 
Emerging. It's going down again. Emerging again. Air 2 is at a thousand feet. I don't want to get targeted. <laughs> Yeah, Why is PD, dude, boat units right now. I think PDRP is just so good right now. I got three units underwater attempting to board the submarine right now. God, it's good to have you here, Archer. All right, uh, hey. 343 is directly in front of right. it. Looks like they're continuing eastbound. Keep up. Watch out for those roads, so don't get hit. To the units underwater, when you notice your oxygen levels are about 30%, come up. Do not risk it. Come up. Alright, Snake 2 is diving once again. I'm getting better at my landings. Surfacing is going way too low. Agreed. It would, it would, it would drop it out. So even if we can get close to the submarine, how the hell are we boarding it? It's underneath water. <laughs> Just hope they surface again. I saw an entrance on the bulkhead of that fucking thing, but I don't know how the hell you're gonna get to it. We can charge it. Archer, we need to pick up, bud. I'm coming right to you. Can we have the units on the boat get oxygen tanks? We might need you to dive down if it starts to surface again and see if you can. Uh, That's what we've been trying, it, Patty. Alright, looks. listen, I don't think we're going to be able to do anything to the sub. We're at, we're at a point where we might just need to break off. Watch it, uh, have that, maybe that one sub can just monitor its activity for a little bit, let us know what it's up to. Maybe do some jet flybys and then, because I don't think we're going to be able to do, we can't do anything to the sub, we can't hijack the submarine. Who knows, the second somebody boards it, they might just launch a nuclear missile on Los Santos. I believe the last known location was eastbound towards LSIA, but it could have turned underneath us. We're about 300 yards north of the northmost unit right now. Ah, chat. Snake RP one overload extraction. again today. It's going dude. too low. The pressure's too high. The surface, surface. Yeah, I think they've, they've gone beyond thermal range. I can no longer see the submarine. Uh, you can't use thermals underwater anyway. Yeah, don't use thermals in deep water. It's uh, weird. <laughs> this is Snake One. We got RTB. This submarine is almost gonna go to blow up. And there we go. Perfect. Well, wow, only two hundred dollars for jet fuel. All right, ten four. Oh, you gotta love Double it. Double if you want. Uh, we have Snake Two, and we are to the uh, just to the northeast of, or sorry, northwest of Del Perro Pier. We can swap out if you want. Well, here's the thing, if it's gone below, like, 400, 480 meters... It went to, like, five, six hundred feet. Yeah, there, there's... The snakes are not gonna go that low. You're gonna... It's gonna, it's gonna crack the hull before you get that low. Yeah, it's crushed up. Yeah, we've got a lot of water inside. What about one of those other submarines? We have one of those older yellow ones. No, uh, even though it'll only go to about 480. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, we're dealing with something, uh... Well, a lot bigger and a lot sturdier than what we have right now. I think, like the Grand Marshal said, we gotta, we might just have to surveil the area, you know, do some flyovers every once in a while, but I don't think there's much we can do against the nuclear submarine. Yeah, hey, firm. I just got done refueling uh, Whiplash uh, or Typhoon 1, so uh, I'm heading back to the area. I'm going to do a flyby, and then I'll probably ground the aircraft and we can try and watch it. Air 2 is just following Snake 1, just to make sure nothing's popping up from the ocean. We should probably get Snake 2 to find the downed aircraft that Paley bailed out on. CPD Navy, right. can you imagine? I don't even know where it would be, buddy. I was down the ocean pretty deep. Probably there. Invasive maneuvers, Paley. Good job getting out of there best you could. I dodged the first rocket, but the second one, I couldn't do it. 
You did miss your chance to say, I can't shake them, I can't shake them. You also missed yours to say, do a barrel roll. Fuck. Alright, Whiplash Law, a one, I'm back down by the pier. Or sorry, Typhoon one. We should all be boarded on the boat again. I think uh, the boats, I guess we're just going to roll back to the Civi docks and wait for anything else to happen. Yeah, I think yeah, we're, we're going to pull off, try and just keep our eyes peeled. If, this, if we see a submarine again, we'll, we'll try and mobilize. But for the time being, I think we should just get out of the airspace of it. Sub copy. Uh, Subble, do we have to, uh, is there a way for us to park the uh, submarines? Or is it just kind of like what we do with the other boats? Yeah, you can park it. Same place you pulled it out. All right, Ephraim, thank you. Brandon, I'm going to have to call you and talk to you about something, too. They may have better technology than we really realize. And it, these are the shit, right? Ten nine nine archery cut out. Sorry, I got a bad radio. This is the Russians doing this shit? Uh, it's entirely possible, yeah. We've uh, we've seen the submarine before in situations involving the Russians. Uh, not sure if we should be concerned about that 311 or not. Usually they leave to get food and go around the, the, the cities. Uh, it's never been a concern. So, yeah. Do we got a bird that could follow them and just, you know, try to look normal? Flash three uh, RTB for fuel. I think I see your Washington just east of Maze Bank Arena. It's a uh, five. Uh, B sixty five Molotov. Okay, that's a Russian jet. The one with like the hollowed out front nose. Oh yeah, Whiplash. I've got eyes on it. It's uh, southbound towards. Uh, like the docks. All right, there's a fighter jet apparently flying over MRPD right now. Oh, opening fire! Down. I'm not gonna be able to stay on this. I have no fuel. I'll take care of it. Coming right for you, Thatch. Open fire on me. It, that thing has weapons capable. Yeah, shooting for the jump right now. No, uh, Bass, uh, we, are you trained with up. the missiles? We're being, being shot at by, by a by a by a goddamn enemy aircraft. My engine's going out. What? Who's been? Go to the ocean. You have to ditch it. Hey, Abraham, there's been fighter just the uh, last 20 minutes. Bass. Lay it down in the ocean. I'll come get you. Thatch. Motion can you give some maneuvers? Area. What's your 20? Give, uh, give Fred some It's trying to get on me. It's trying they to get on me. The canals. They are continuing northbound from the canals, passing Olympic Freeway, continuing northbound. I'm trying to open Heading fire towards Maryland. Maryland. Boulevard. I'm breaking off for LSI to get fuel. They are now U turning southbound, passing Olympic Freeway again. U turn again, Air One shooting. They're right on Elgin and Haywick, continuing eastbound. All right, no response from uh, on ATC from the uh, native visuals in the fighter jet. They are shooting at. I'm, I'm heavily damaged. Heavily damaged. I gotta pull out. Shooting at air two. We're dodging. We're smoking. Bring them to the civilian docks. We can open fire on it. Bring them to the civilian docks. If you're Stay firm. Dock, get your rifle out. Idea. Trying to get on me. You gotta get lower for our bullets to hit. Air 2 is dropping altitude. I don't know if they're following. Still got eyes on it. Air 2 has no eyes. 
Twenty front. Yeah, they're currently behind Air Two right now, shooting at. They're us. firing at Air Two. At Air Two, we're flying just dogs, London El Rancho. Air Two's down. Air Two's down. Right, right on me, it's yet. gaining on me. I'm gonna fly it over the docks. Right east, 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 east. Open fire, open fire. That's it, dude, that's the lead. It's mobile to the east. Bring it back east. to us, Fred. Bring it back to us. I Whoa. am. Bring it back to us low. Of uh, Dutch London and La Puerta. It's the on top of Mega Mall. I've recovered Fred. Uh, get him medical, make sure he's okay. Wish I learned how to use the missiles. Hey, Marshall, can you hear us? Them they over the Ubu area, over the Mega Mall, Ubu area. Who's been? If you bring them a little, we might right, be able to have the range. I need at least two gunners to build a rifle on up right now. Take my uh, rifle. Radio check. But I do need that. <laughs> no, we need yes. you in a jet right now. We've got a jet that's currently engaging multiple uh, airborne like uh, units. We've had two uh, helicopters go down. Uh, and two jets here, go Fred? down. There's one remaining. Uh, <laughs> you over here? We're gonna get I out of there. Uh, air three. I got air three. Oh, I Meg is heading towards LSI. Meg is he heading towards LSI. Into the I see air three by civilian docks ASAP. Okay. Well, why do we? What's the point in having air three up? You just got. You lost two helis already. I got eyes you on need, it. You need a jet missiles, not a helicopter. That's no. Alright, Freddy, you're going to be inside of the airport. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. What's happening? The MiG right. is at LSI 8. It's shot down two Alex, jets uh, so far. Alex, go get my car. Uh, looks like it's heading Actually, here, stay eastbound, with Fred. But uh, it's uh, coming back vitals. over the city. Looks like it's coming back to the city. Looks like it's coming back to the city. And we're going to take into Viceroy's right on the street. I'm trailing right on the pass. I got it northbound. We're going over the Miriam Turner overpass, right by Maze Bank Arena. Alright, stand by. See them, they're oh, flying over us. They're way too high. We can't reach with the weapons at all here. We'll quickly be. Uh, I think for three minutes, we're going to uh, uh, try, uh, try, uh, try and keep the jet away from Hedy. I don't want to see me pulling it. Okay. They're right towards oh you, God, sir. Fred. They're doing a dive bomb right towards MRPD. Yeah, I'm not pulling anything until uh, you guys dip. The suggestion was made to put gunners up on high buildings too. Uh, I think that's a good idea. Okay, who who took a, who took the hydra out? out? What it? Ah, it was Fred. It was Fred. It was Fred. Crazy. Luckily, we have two of them. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to fire a missile right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just circling over MRPD. 
up and there. Two units I need to... here, Madison and uh, Dan, go to Viceroy and clear that so we can bring in... Uh... Okay, okay, hold comms. I, I thought it. I need comms. I was so mad. His pulse out is bruised up. Uh, okay, I'm going to get far away. I'm going to try and target him in. from distance. Get okay? on channel 6. Tell them we're bringing in uh, the Grand Marshal. I know how to get southwest towards LSI. I only took it because I wanted everybody to get involved that was a pilot. Call Jenny. Combat is dropping the bomb buildings right now. Alexander, call Jenny. Copy that, Bass. Have I got permission to buy it? Go for it, we're killing police officers. Copy that. Yeah, must be a unit on Miss Bank Towers. So if we can get it all this way, we might be able to open fire. Yeah, you've got uh, on the western side of Miriam Turner overpass as well. Fred, can you hear me? What's the latest position? Well, yeah, I'm going to reach back right and uh, now, test uh, and check his vitals. Directly over to you now. So hard to keep eyes on it. It does have red and green operating lights, though. Vice George should be clear. You can bring the angel officers there right now. I think. It, it looks like a gray jet. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna pull him out. Eyes on you. Got eyes on it. Where am I? Am I dead? This is oh, hell. Oh, you're at the hospital. This oh, is, oh God, go this is hell. Oh, this is hell. Try and get away, Thatch. I'm gonna fall. No. Oh, I mean, yeah. Hell is. Hell is. Yeah, he's on you. He's on you. Hell can be many things. This is purgatory. All right. So, um, Grand Marshal was shot home? down. It was uh, shot down. He may have burns. Uh, he did stop breathing when we first pulled him out. Uh, so please check for water in the lungs. Alright. Still over LSA. Really above LSA. He's got fucking guns, man! He's Appreciate it. Up. Hey there. Well, this is gonna go Can really fast. <laughs> Hell troopers, no, I said well, to avenge me. We're looking at SLA, G, very southeast and okay. southwest. Okay. Can we get this helmet off of you? Got two, uh, two police PV here. If you, you know, if you can guide him here, they shoot him. Let's try, try to slowly move in. There we go. Alright. To the sign. Uh, so gonna get that vest to the sign. There we go. Uh, okay. So you got a shot oh, down? Didn't hit. Fighter jet. Low over outside. Enemy. Fighter jet. Hit him. Jesus. Hit him. I saw that from the rooftop. What the hell is going on? Are we being invaded yet? Is, is it happening? Uh, World War Three is on the horizon. Well, make it count, man. Oh God. Uh, it's, it's already used it. I, I, I used the missile. Okay. I'm gonna check his lungs. I told you there's there is a war. I mean, yeah, they really have an embassy. They already nuked the city once. So. Everyone on this side of the city wants to pretend nothing's happening, like it's not gonna affect us. But Submarine yeah. off the shores. Uh, stand by. Russian. They have a nuclear fighter jet. Jesus. Uh, see him right now. Automatic weapons. Anyone watching uh, Jenny, is that you? <gasps> From the building yes. That I'm in, uh, uh, I haven't been trained. Be, uh, <laughs> on the missiles. Yes, I'm aware. Uh, yep. There was a button in there that said missiles. Uh, <laughs> and I hit it. I hear you did some I, I good flying until you got shut out. Straight at me. I could use uh, another missile, that, was code, but that that'd be two million dollars uh, in one uh, aircraft. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, we have exactly on some O2 over right here, now. so they have Approved. to uh, Approved. Uh, oh, okay, well, I only have well, six left. Um, I just said approved. Okay, Tell him we'll give him the, the money. Air, I only have one missile code. So Tell him we'll get the money. <laughs> All right, you ready for some uh, experimental right, treatment? Got it from Humane yeah. Labs. Oh, Perhaps with cell rege regeneration, yeah, it makes you uh, feel better. My I don't know why, but it damaged my fucking engine, okay. so if I arm another one, I, I take that as a yes. Approved. Syringe over here. No, one, two, and three. There we go. How do you feel? You feel like in your veins? I feel like I should be dead. Uh, well, this is God I'm trying to dead. punish me. Hey, they nope. tried. This is purgatory. Welcome. Okay, can we get ground units there? So in case the doctor sees snow, then we can Thank try you very much. Lots of ground units. All right. Wherever snow is oh, my going, body. he's gonna re-arm, like, hey, repair and get gas. Okay, make sure you don't overexert yourself on now. I need my cybernetic implants. Is currently uh, downtown, which one? Have you one? Have you ordered one yet? Once yet? We can get you a cup if you want. Ripper dock. Uh, we have people down already. What was your ripper dock? Uh, repair the jet for some reason. Osmosis Jones. Ooh. Very scuffed. <laughs> Send it. Aircraft is continuing westbound over LSI. Um, uh, uh, right, yeah. Where would you like to go, sir? Dean's world. 
Oh, yeah. I'm gonna try and land. Alright, hop in. Load up. Let's go. One of the codes. Uh. Again, I'm like 90% sure as soon as I Did you try it again, it's you just try gonna blow up. Oh, wait, Avenge wait, wait, wait. me, Snow. Avenge me. I'm trying. I hit it once, Sheriff. I don't know. He just, he just took it. <laughs> he just took it? We have full stop of construction. Full stop of maze base power. So if it goes after you, go look in that direction. Oh, I hear right here. It's pushing south and alto right now. That's me. Okay, from its very high altitude, currently over the maze base arena tower. Alright, apparently it's over Maze Bank uh, Tower right now. I'm glad you're, uh, I'm glad you're alright, uh, Grand Marshal. Uh, the bad news, I was shot down, but the good news, inside my pouch, my Pop-Tart is fine. Diving. Oh shit, what kind? Wow, well, go gentlemen. That's the fucking best kind. Oh god, sorry, the localized weather hurt me. Not all right bad. Uh, Soggy? No, it was Ziploc. Oh, okay. All right, here you are. Thanks, Patty. <laughs> Sorry, guys, this is it's kind of scuffed. All right, I should be okay now. Sorry, but it's all good. Snow, I'll bring it up a uh, death pack for you in case uh, you need to take an emergency exit. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm good. You keep that. Uh, Strawberry's the best. Don't play yourself. Sorry, I'll be good. I appreciate that. It's coming in hot. Oh, shit. Brown Don't sugar cinnamon's good, but it's trash compared to strawberry. I see it. Stand by. I'm gonna try and... Oh, he's on my fucking tail! Oh, shit! Uh, little monster. We're into the Maze Bay Tower construction site. Copy that. If you get them, oh, we should be able to take it out from overhead. He's, he's right on my six. <sighs> I hit it a few times. I have another missile to arm. It's smoking, it's smoking, it's smoking. Smoking, it's smoking. I think it's going down. Westbound North San Andreas. West. Westbound San Andreas. Stop it, that. My missile really is up. So I'm going to try and find him. Well, we're being locked on. We're, one. Everyone's being locked on. It was me, don't worry. Westbound Delta Freeway, Westbound Delta Freeway. Recommended Pop Tart flavors right Wild it. Berry, Strawberry. Looking for lock. Brown uh, lock. cinnamon Box sugar. Two. S'mores. I have blueberries on there too. Uh, it didn't hit because it's. it's that's another two. Uh, okay, Th these missiles suck. I'm not gonna lie, they're fucking trash. I'm sure, we could talk to R&D and get them better. Yeah. Fire like, this machine. Hey, with these missiles, as soon as you turn in these jets, they just lose track. They're just not that good. Between South and Delta. We have a helicopter at LSIA. Uh, I believe it might be armed or unsure. Oh, God, It'll be more. close to the hangar uh, by the uh, South. Root loop pop tarts. What the fuck? That's a fucking thing. Chat, remember if you're new to hit that follow button and to get those fucking subs in, all right? Hope you guys are enjoying the stream today. Man, it has just been non fucking stop. And make sure if you're new, you follow the Twitter. We're almost at 40k on Twitter, chat. Almost! What the hell's wrong with my stream elements? Right, there we go, it's good now. Fuck me. Snickerdoodle? Oh my god. Oh. I, can see, I can see it upside down just slow. Oh, no, never mind, it's picking altitude again. Oh, it's it? I think it's eight. Oh, okay, copy that. No, where, where is it currently? Oh, uh, it's oh. just off of the Russian docks. Oh, uh, yeah, it's eight. Basically, in between the Russian docks and the aircraft carrier to the uh, All right, perfect. southeast of the island. Uh, trying to find it, stand by. Make sure if you guys aren't following my, uh, me on Twitter that you are. I I'm going to start tweeting more, I promise. Oh, it's CTH in the chat. This fucking nut job. Got no visuals currently. So you know, bro. Look, I didn't mean to roll you too hard on the whole Power Rangers thing the other day there. All right, Hog? I'm sorry. It's just, uh, I can't help myself. Might be small aircraft, but I think it's just, so disregard it. I'd probably go down as well. 
Well, the old did, the, uh, did the other downed aircraft get uh, impounded? No, oh, yeah, that's the recovery. Yeah. The one Fred was enough to recover here. Probably. Oh, that's gonna be. If you didn't do it immediately, it's probably gone. Uh, I Don't forget TikTok. Do I still have posts on there? I don't even know. What the fuck? Yeah, we shot down. I dodged one missile and then one missile. I didn't even have a tone. It just hit me. Alright, coming for landing a mission right. We just spent like. That's so funny. Oh, fuck. Money's no object. So, every. Like. I don't really think there's anything that can be done to fix those missiles. The problem is with missiles in this state is that they are incredibly easy to evade for a reason, you know? Yeah. We need machine guns. It's might be yeah, better to, uh, I, I agree. Yeah. Machine guns would be way more effective than missiles. missiles I think machine guns better. would be more fun, too. Imagine no, us flying even, over a little that. soul, again, or like control any control other right gang's there. territory, it and just fucking obliterating them with like, like mini uh, guns NCAA from a fucking, <laughs> <thing. Yeah. laughs> from a fucking uh, uh, aircraft. I think. But yeah, that's like, uh, it just, they're just too easy to avoid. That's why there's no uh, flare or chaff or anything, because they're that easy to dip from. Hey, we try to burst, we hold them off though, and listen, we can hold our PD out. Yeah, true. What did we gain out of this? Knowledge. Awesome. Yeah. They have EMPs. They can take out a helicopter and our radios. And our blips. And everything. Hey. Snow, have you ever thought about seeing whether we can request the those B-11 strike forces you used during the, uh, the war? I thought oh, the A-10s? Yeah, yeah, the A-10s. Why is um, all right, dude? The car needs to get maintenance done a nah, again because they're not going to be as versatile as a VTOL. A10s are not meant for air to air; they're meant for air to ground. Yeah, an A10 is oh, like oh, Columbo and just stuff. Columbo just oh tried to make a really cool entrance to the top of the construction site. He hit the the side of the building and it is now falling. Bash, you need to save the highway, man. He's built the skyway, man. It, it wasn't a successful ending. Oh no, Columbo. Yeah, he, oh, that looked really painful. He just fell no. like a hundred feet. <laughs> Ooh, That's a little more than a hundred. Oh, God. Where is he? Uh, the You're a highway, man. Like, how, like, halfway I'm up. Coming. The northeastern side. Uh, yeah, Warlord, thanks for the 20 the months. So Quinn, uh, stop, Quentin, thanks for that brand new tier one. Chris, thanks for the seven uh, months. Lloyd Christmas, uh, thanks for the cool, 17. Punk Rock, thanks for the hundred bits. Godfather, thanks for the 15 months as well. The fucking Skyway, man. Oh, God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch where you're going. Steezy Steezus, thanks for that brand new Prime. I really do appreciate it. Hey, Patty. <sighs> uh, send traffic for 3 for 3. You want to pick me up and... We can go back to my straight No, up. not the highway, man. Uh, Big trooper mind, fat yeah. ass instead. Yeah. Quentin, thanks for the gift sub. Uh, do we have a status report on 391? Uh, can only just notify me she's in 13. I thought that was a gun for a second. I realized it was a fucking dead yeah, gas tank, tank dude. Anybody knows Russian? Uh, stand by and translating it. I'm translating. The high weight man. Oh god. Time for an it eco says, round. How many dollars do you still have left? The translation says time for an eco round. How many dollars do hey, you still have Dean. left? Hey, Dean. Hey, project code. <sighs> Dean. Talking shit about our missiles. Who are? Hey, talking shit about our missiles. They were they, they were saying on the radio. Who like, is? Everybody. They were talking shit about our fucking missiles. Who? Everybody on the radio. They were saying our radio. What radio? Uh, 
on the PD radio. They were saying our missiles are bad. But the missiles are for all of the PD. Exactly, and but they were saying the missiles are bad. And they're lucky that I already why? got shot down out of the sky. You want to know why? Because they're Who'd jealous. Who'd you get shot down by? A damn Russian MiG. <laughs> what, what? What the fuck is going on? No, what's going on? Listen, Mr. Watson. As the Grand Marshal of the Cerberus Police Department, I'm going to keep this city safe. But as the General of the Los Santos uh, Military, in prison. I might create a circumstance that ushers in oh, World War Three. Uh, is he serving triple time Very confusing. No? <laughs> I'm so oh, confused something. right now. <laughs> yeah, you and me both. He's serving triple time. Yeah, the, the fucking ru the, the the aircraft had goddamn machine guns on it. It had machine guns that what shot aircraft? us out of the sky. Some some uh, small what Mago fighter flying? plane. I was fire. I was flying one of our new typhoons. Did you fire a missile? I was not trained in how to fire them, so I just kind of flew in the sky. So how can they be bad if you didn't fire them? No, 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 they're saying it. Well, I'm saying that they're great. Into, uh, Who has fired a missile? Next so we had snow fire a missile. At the MiG? Yeah, yeah, it hit, but the MiG still stayed in the skies. Really? Mm-hmm. And then I got shot down. It's these goddamn... I'm telling you, it's these fucking Russians. And I'm telling you... Russians, Russians have got anti-missile technology on their planes. Might have anti-missile technology. They have a nuclear submarine off our shores that shot down two aircraft, an EMP'd one. Jesus Christ, we are outgunned here. We really are, Mr. Watson. You might have to start working on new technology there over at Cerberus Industries. Oh, fuck that. I'm joining Russia. No, no, we can't. D don't defect. We need to kill them. They've got submarines and anti-missile jets and shit. What the fuck? Look, look, we got to kill them and take it from them. It's an arms race, Mr. Watson. Look, it, if you want to take if you want to take one of one of the jets up with a parachute, I can send someone to come shoot a missile at you to see if it's the missile or Russian technology. I don't know about that. But all I know is that we can't throw in the towel on the arms race. What are we going to do when it comes to getting space? What do you mean you don't know about that? We can prove the missiles are good or bad. I'm not getting oh, shot down again. That was terrifying. Just jump out they with a parachute. I almost died. Oh, good. Now you have more reason for him to go to the prison at this point. Well, well how are we supposed to, to say the missiles aren't bad if we don't prove it? Can't we just run a simulation? I don't know. Can't we use computers? <laughs> no, no. It's got to be a big show. All right, we'll try and organize something. All right, I like where your head's at, showmanship. Oh, did you? We had a press conference today. Oh yeah, I was there. I was just, I was just hiding. I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to be oh, overshadowing it. Oh, what'd you think? Uh started great. Had a bit of a awkward middle where you started threatening everyone and then ended great. Yeah. Hey, perfect. That's a that's the perfect mixture, I think. Yeah, people are gonna be talking about it. Mm, perfect. And then the news was all about that. Yeah, yeah, well, that's were, what it matters, right? You needed, like, up. the article and shit. Perfect. Perfect. Well, I'll talk to you later, Mr. Watson. We just can't throw in the towel on a potential arms w uh, race with Russia. I don't... You might need to oh. get a Cerberus nuclear submarine. They're not going to give us nuclear capabilities, Brad. I can get us plutonium. We hang out with Speedy, Brad. They're never going to let us have nukes. Yeah, what? You're right. You can get plutonium? What? I did have plutonium, but it got stolen from Peach's apartment. Why does Peach have it? Because it definitely wasn't safe in my, in, in my apartment. Is Peach around right now? Um, no. <laughs> Fuck. All right, Mr. Watson, I'm going to grab... So some wait, food. hold on. Wait, hold on. What's no, going on? No, wait. You said you can get us plutonium but then you say you've lost it so can you actually get it or not i can get plutonium i know a, i got a plutonium guy okay all right get some plutonium. Me, okay so can you get it or not i can get it okay but then in one minute you're gonna say but he's hiding it and then i lose confidence no 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 he's hiding it 
but I can <laughs> sniff it out. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, you, you work on that and let me know. We'll do. And I'll work on um, seeing if we can get the Russians to join Cerberus. Huh. All right. So that might send a bad image because if we're joining them and they're shooting down our aircraft and stuff, people will not be on board. We can, we have to destroy them. We can't join them. We have to destroy them and take their technology. Okay. Um, I can All maybe right. an operation to kidnap one of their scientists would be effective. Um, the dead of okay. night, I go in dressed up in all black, no markings that I'm an officer. We go in with Kalashnikovs and Grozas, and we uh, kidnap a Russian scientist, bring him, bring him to Cerberus uh, compound, uh, Cerberus uh, Center, and lock him in the basement. Okay. Tell him get that, get to work. That is a good idea. Okay, okay, let's do that. All right, perfect. You see, I'm an idea guy, Mr. Watson. Yes, I'm excited to see that. All right. Well, I'm gonna grab some food. Are there any I'll Russian jets in the sky right now? Um, I don't know. I turned my radio off. Okay, all right. But most all right, likely, well, enjoy your food. Yes. Oh, I will. You enjoy your day, Mr. Watson. Bye. All Hail right. Cerberus. How about Hail Cerberus? Oh, uh, look who it is. You're not hanging out with your friends in Little Moscow. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. You got very identifiable tattoos. Ah, uh, and know... hair. And demeanor. Uh, that guy was just, also wearing a samurai sword. Hair ID me. Hair ID? No, I only everything ID'd you. Okay. I think a mask is really going to conceal everything here. I never but, wear a mask, all right? Better get that Cerberus technology off your fucking face. Listen, I was Cerberus when you're in your daddy's fucking nutsack, son. All right? You better watch what you're saying around me. You're, no, you're not. You're just a fucking bus boy here. Bus boy? Hey, you're just a goddamn bus boy here. Probably not even that. Think Probably protects the person back. that puts you in this suit, huh? Me? Not you. You don't do shit. All right. You don't do don't a damn do shit, thing. But hang out little megaphone. Moscow every day. Allegedly. Yeah, you wish you could yell through a megaphone like me. I don't need to yell through a megaphone because I'm loud you enough. You wish you right, had right. a goddamn the streets hear me anytime, like even if. Even if I fucking whisper, the streets hear me, Pred, all right? No, they don't. I don't gotta I don't gotta over assert myself like you. That's why I'm better than you. I'm better at sucking dick. Trooper, how you no, doing? No, Go no. give me my free meals, you fucking asshole. Hey, <laughs> what's going on, Trooper? Grand Marshal, I I listen, I have some balls. feedback. I'm sorry for taking the jet. I just wanted to I wanted to make sure everybody was involved. No, 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 it's okay, don't worry. It's, uh, the, the missiles are awful. They're really bad. So here's the thing. Are the missiles awful, or is potentially Russia's technology better? No, uh, it's, it's not really something that anybody... It's not within our control. It is just, unfortunately, within this state, uh, missiles are just kind of trash. And that's just how it is. Fucking arms race? What do you mean? Russia beating us in weapons. Because they cannot get to the moon before us. No, I mean, I think that's... I mean, there's a reason why they were using guns. Is the missiles in this city and others like it are just not very good. Huh. I think I, they, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Desync. They either, they either track <laughs> or they don't track. And most of the time... It, so... You could okay, so I could fire a missile, another Hydra, and all I'd have to do would be accelerate, and the missile wouldn't hit. That's in the Hydra, right? But then if you're in like what you know that little Vestra thing that we've been chasing people in, the little one. Yeah. If you um, so say okay, so if I fired one at the Vestra, and it just started turning, the missile would lose track, <laughs> and that's just how it works. I don't think there's I I've no I I don't think they, there's anything they could how do. The fuck to aren't we using that. guns then? I don't know, but that, that I think my suggestion would, would be to dump all the missiles. I may as well just fire them into the ocean, or I can turn them into a coffee table, and that would be like a $6 million coffee table, and I we just have guns idea. instead. Hmm, I got a better idea. How about I get a, a missile turret put on top of the Cerberus compound, all right, the Cerberus <laughs> business unit, and then what we can just do is just launch it into the sky and then just uh, use it to, uh, you know... Do a nice little land-of-ground missiles. You know what I mean? 
Oh, I see. Okay, so you want artillery setups. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, I feel like I'm the perfect person to have the capability to push a button and launch a missile on any territory. I feel like I can be trusted with that power. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know you would I knew you would agree. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess. Hang on. There's loads of people on the roof and they're pulling a jet out. Give me a sec. Yeah, I'll call you back. All right. Bye, trooper. Bye, bye, bye. Hey, how you doing there, sir? Hello, sir. Oh, what you, what's with the sad face? What you so sad about? I'm not sad. All right, bitch. You'll get me my free meal. All right, pussy. There's your free meal and 10 donuts because I heard you're a fucking fat pig. Oh, yeah. I heard you're a stupid fucking bitch. All right. I love you too, baby. Yeah, yeah I love you too. Great day, all right. You know, stay safe out there. Love you chatting with you, my man. Feed your ass to Boris and keep talking shit. Hmm. Hmm. going on dan hey sure uh uh master guard what's her title again grand marshal grand marshal uh so am i am i an enforcer or am i a corporal what do you think you are sergeant <laughs> I'm not, i mean i'm not laughing chasing me no 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 i'm chasing the other guy that drove past yeah, here did you like, see him oh, yeah of course oh, i'm chasing you you fucking dipshit like pull the fucking car <laughs> over <laughs> god damn idiot you okay sheriff yeah i'm all right dan just dealing with some goofballs <laughs> we pull it over. Cool me, the dipshit, okay bro all right, so, well, Dan, uh, you know what? Just... I'm proud of you. You know what? You gave an amazing Some speech. Enjoy, you know, All right, you, uh, no, Dan Fetty's a yeah, fuck yeah. off. Yeah, oh, Dan, some, Dan Fetty's a Oh, Dan, some bro. people said you're a very nice man and other nice things about yeah, you. Four, super thank you. With, uh, in front of me. Where are you at right you know, now, we, Fetty? We feel highly of you. At MRPD. Uh, you like Dan? That's crazy. Do I like Dan? Oh, yeah, I really like Dan. That's crazy. Oh. I, call, I I wanted you to Dan? come up the other day, Kyle. I was infiltrating the, yeah. uh, the, the Russians. I wanted, I wanted you to get. Oh, okay, okay and sure. I'll come talk to you afterwards, Captain's office. When I get done this traffic stop. Oh, I don't. All right, yes, sir. Brother, I've known Kyle for longer than you've been in Los Angeles. That's it, bro. Shut the fuck up. Nah, you don't know you, Winston. You know it's Dean Quinn. Hey guys. Hello. When did Carl oh, look like great. such a twat, bro? You don't look good in that outfit, man. Oh, oh it's funny. No, you don't look good in anything you wear. That's someone in yeah, the jet? I'm okay with that. Oh, yeah, you're okay with that? Yeah, I guess you got to come to yeah. terms oh, with that because jet? you're an what ugly fucker. Oh. It's all good because uh, I'm an ugly fucker, but I'm a multi-millionaire, bro, so I'm sure. Um, oh, gotcha. Someone's grinding extra hours off stream, huh? Go ahead and give me your fucking license. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's called Gold Rush, my guy. It's a money printer. I'll enjoy it. There you go, man. There you go. How long I know you, huh? Um, four and a half years? Maybe, f yeah, four and a half? Maybe five. Maybe, close to it, at least. Yeah. Oh, Adam Ababwa. Uh, yep, that's the one. I was fingers crossed oh. that you were gonna fucking die when you were in the ICU. I lost a bet. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, well. That's not the Hey, man, what's man. going on, Juno? Hey, Fred. Um, there is an I uh, there is another jet that looks like one of uh, us. I think, we have a I think it might be the same jets. one from earlier. Oh, man, Westbound, like um Sorry, hang on, Sam. Sorry, ten nine. Oh, he didn't even give a fuck. ATC ten nine lost traffic. 
It's not ball. that I didn't give a fuck. I just knew you didn't have the balls. It's not real. Listen, Pete, we'll break your ankles, man. We'll break your ankles. Yeah, yeah, you. I'll break your fucking neck. Oh, my God. I see it. I see it, Fred. It's like it's uh, over the speech. You don't have it in you, big man. Heading northbound. I don't have it in me. <laughs> oh, shit. You picked the wrong fucking guy. Uh, 309. I need 78s here. These guys got a gun in a black Subaru. Four times. Going to be southbound. Las Lagunas Boulevard. They're fleeing from me. All right, Fred. I'll hang up. I'll hang up. I'll, I'll talk morning. to you in a bit, Juno. All Good right. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah, okay, passing you? Rooster's Rest now. Going to be westbound Eclipse Boulevard. Eclipse 676. You want to de-escalate from this MK or is it actually... Oh, it's crazy? 77s. I never... It's, it's only a 77s call. Oh, break out then. Yeah, yeah, we're westbound on West Eclipse. Yeah, it's out of a bob yeah. Oh, shit, King. That is, I still, uh... Yeah, I need to break off, and I'll, I'll take care of the warrant. I'm gonna go uh, break off. I gotta get the, my car repaired. It's driving like shit. It's not me. Um, we got a D-spound. Oh, wait, does that have a blue yeah, underwood? The car is the car honor. Yep, I'll that's it. We eastbound south. What about that power right southbound 8 Milton Parkway? Fuck him up for me, Hunter. I'm gonna knock you eastbound 8 Milton Parkway. Right southbound Los Angeles Boulevard, approaching your head garage from through it southbound Sundry Avenue. Uh, Grand Marshal Kyle Fred, hello. Hello, Pretty. Hey, how you doing? You able to do meetings soon? Uh, yeah, I can come pick you up in about 15. Give me a meeting spot and I'll be there. All right, done. I'll give you a call when ready. All right, perfect. I'm done. I think we got plenty of yes. We, we, could, uh, we could take a channel. Wow. Find a channel, please. Found Depp Freeway. Can one of the CVPIs break off? Class of vehicle. Plus. Found another big freeway off from Bone Guy. I found another big freeway going down off from towards uh, also the pet shop. I uh, have a. I don't actually give you guys a channel, but channel one is clear. Left south on Pocket Street. Hunter, let's take this to one. Southbound popular. I, I got you, Hunter. We're gonna be southbound on Popular Street. Continuing, uh, we're gonna be pretty far down there. Left. Let me going eastbound, El Rancho Boulevard, heading towards the, the uh, oil fields. Left. And holding right, correct lanes, immediate turn off of Elysian Fields. Right. Off road here. I know, Hunter. No. He's gonna go out to the highway. He's going northbound. He's going to go to the oh. right. I'm easy, me. Yeah, he's out on the right. Yeah, I got it. I got your comms. I got your comms. Continue. <laughs> <right now. laughs> A branch got in my eye! Westbound Del Perro Freeway. It's taking me a little bit to get used to how the fucking cars drive, Jet. Alright. We'll go over Del Perro Freeway. A big difference. Los Santos big change. Passing Los Santos Freeway exits. Passing the Elgin exit. Sending it westbound, Del Perro Freeway. No, no, it's me. It's Passing definitely me. Passing In character, Alta. it could never be me. OOC, yeah, it definitely can be. That's Just when I was getting good with the cars, uh, too, I feel like. You. Careful, careful. you know? Took the off road, off, off road right Just here. when I was starting to actually get, like, really uh, good with Palomino. the cars, we get a change. It always Stand happens by. like this. Right, northbound Palomino. Left, westbound Dorset. 
streaming westbound on doorstep. Wait, did he give me a meet? Did traffic, Billy Mang give me a meeting spot? Traffic. Oh fuck. Streaming westbound doorstep. So he can call me again. Getting ready to transition left <laughs> Coast Boulevard. Left south one. North I was Rock. getting good though. No, why would Southside people just lie Rock. to me and try and suck my Eastbound dick? It's not like I'm anybody Rex important. Cougar. Left northbound on Morning Woods, no right through the back alley, stand by. Continuing eastbound through the back alleys, approaching Dorset. Right, eastbound Dorset. Right, westbound Boulevard to Paris. Here's down! Oh, oh that was not intentional, but east you side. turned into me. Going eastbound Boulevard to Paris, right. Uh, southbound, fresh eastbound Dorset. Continuing eastbound on Dorset. Traffic is stupid as fuck right now. So you eastbound on Corset. Uh, left, northbound, uh, Los Lagunas. So you get northbound, Los Lagunas. Is it 10.50? Yeah, it looks like it's 10.50. 10.50, you turning. I'm so sorry, bud. Yeah, okay. Now we're going westbound, Boulevard del Perro. They are smoking. I do not do that often. I don't worry. I got a plan Smoking to make this time. right. Continue westbound past the BLC on Boulevard del Perro. Traffic is moderate. Stand by. Between westbound Boulevard del Perro, approaching Life Invader. All right, westbound Dorset. East and west of Dorset. Transitioning west to Clips. Left, southbound, north Rockford. Okay, All right, guys, good job. That was just an exercise. Oh, but, hey, guys, I guys, hold on, stop, guys. It's just an exercise. This isn't real world. Guys, terrific work on the exercise. This was just a training exercise. Good work. I'm really proud oh, of the responses cool. we got. I'm in. The building, trying to go for cups. Oh, yeah, it's, 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 it's just training. a training exercise. Training, training, that's training, all. Training yeah, don't worry. Exercise. Mr. Yeah, Ababwa yeah, yeah. knew all about it. Thanks for helping us out, Mr. Ababwa. Yeah, no worries. Of course, man. Yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. Thank you so much, Mr. Ababwa, for your help. Yeah, no worries. Anytime. Hey, 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 Mr. Yeah. Ababwa, can I talk to you over Black here? Exit in the man to calm down right westbound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. come on. Just step out of the car. Have a conversation with me. You fucking limp dick. Good work, everybody. I'm really impressed. That was a good training okay. exercise. Yeah, very good, very good, man. Very good. Probably you don't want to chase that this R, uh, the R35 then, right? Oh, no. Negative. Training exercise is over. That's why you don't fuck with uh, me. We need a little assistance. I need you to move. Right. My car. But wasn't you the car that, that flipped here. out most instantly? Wasn't I the one that made the call to get the people here who can do the job for me? This is why I'm in charge, because I'm not effective in the field. I'm aware uh. of this. But everybody that is effective in the field listens to me. Okay, okay. I see. Now you're going to be I getting mean... a speeding ticket for your negligent driving behavior earlier when you were going into that, um, that, that, uh, Benny's. Hope you learned a lesson here, Mr. Ababwa. I've, I've, I've learned a big lesson here today. Next time I'll have you fucking shot. Yeah, well next time maybe you'll be shot. You don't got the balls. I mean, I don't have a weapon. It looks like someone else has the boost. That sounds very that, important. That, uh, that disregard there, really sure? Oh no, oh yeah, sorry, I, I didn't mean to hit that. Sorry about that. See how everybody here is ready to fucking to kill you. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I was just trying to grab my phone. I, I just got an alert on Pokemon Go. Someone sent me a raid invitation. Adam, Adam, remind him the last time we went to war with them. Uh, he knows. He was let down on that rooftop. Do you remember? I stole his fucking megaphone and his badge. We're good there. We're good. It was uh, Oh, was yeah. Today, I remember yeah. the one time I won oh. something, too, and, you know, I just painstakingly oh. forget and blank out from my memory <laughs> like a bad habit the hundreds of other okay. times that I was a failure. Yeah. yeah. Everybody I mean, yeah, can does. have one, huh? It does be like that. Where's that one? Uh, uh, Mother uh, 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 
was the help. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, what the fuck, man. Hey, motherfucker. Oh, God. Ah, my laptop. Oh, sorry, I'm not sorry, son of a bitch. Oh, God. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Good work. Good work, oh. everybody. What the fuck oh, is that suit made out of, man? Oh, um, it's not made out of vibranium for legal reasons. It's made out of Kevlar. Put your fucking back, man. This is the second time you've done this, bro. This has been, uh, this message has been brought to you by the Cerberus Police Department. Obey or die. No, we see you soon. I felt bad about the head-on collision. You know? I don't- I don't really like the head-on collisions. Cerebrium. C Cerebrium? It sounds like a fucking brain metal. Like a brain matter. I can't wait till we have Cerberus beating sticks and get our new uniforms and stuff so I can look like fucking uh, Frank Decker from... What, what's his name? From Blade Runner? Fuck, it's been so long since I've seen it. What's the name of that shit? Does anybody know? What's the name of that character that Harrison Ford plays in Blade Runner? I thought his name was Frank Deckard. I know it's Deckard. I, I thought his first name was Frank, though. No, I'm gonna get a long kind of like cyberpunkish coat. It's gonna be like the long coat, and and it, there's also gonna be a short version of the one that um, Lang has, but it's gonna say like Cerberus PD, have like stuff all over it and shit. It's gonna be pretty fucking badass. It's gonna show like the vest and like a pull like a button up underneath of it. Pretty cool. Then we got a whole bunch of other stuff in the works as well. Huh, all right, let me just call a mechanic. Haze, tuner mechanic, harmony. The fucking autos mechanics. This is not good. <laughs> I blip? Yeah, blip? Hey, how you doing blip. there, 580 Master Beatty? Grand sir, Grand Master, Grand Maester. It's Ma Marshall. Maester Marshall. sounds cool. He's not a priest Ma from Game of Thrones. It's it not still Maester. sounds cool. It, it, this ain't Game of Thrones. I know. Do you, you know? know what? No mechanics here. Never on. And Why is that? I thought this was goddamn they, harmony. I thought they used to always be here. I don't know. The last few weeks, it's, uh, it's been empty more often than not. What the fuck? Why? Hmm. Who knows? Don't know. People have been disappearing in no the streets. Idea. I've been hearing, sir. Son of a bitch. It's the Russians. Back alley grabbings, and I'm not talking about the ass kind. Uh, in your case, you never know. <laughs> Alleged again, sir. But you know, I'll take it as it comes. You the almost end ended up on a list. <laughs> but I didn't, he's still, sir. He's still on the list. I'm not on the list. I'm You're on a on watch the list. list. That's, that's I, the list. What? Masturbating in a fucking shower where you're supposed to masturbate. But then yeah, this guy who has sex in a sandwiches. shower. I didn't masturbate in the shower or near the shower. The car yeah, was put on the in, mirror after the I left, sir. Mm. Ah, pa, ah, pa, pa, sir. With all respects. All right, like papa. Pa. Those Does sound pa like insubordination. That they was sound like you're chatting back. Stubbs, deal yeah. with him. Apologies. All right, Thunder, you goddamn muppet, get in the car. Yes, sir. Get him in order, right. Stubbs. I need, I need at least sir. another cop that's half as good as you, Stubbs. Then I'll be happy. You know, a cop oh, that has I'm... usefulness and is effective and has personality. Well, that cop is not going to be Thunder, but I'll look. <laughs>
<laughs> What's going on, Mac? Hey, Fred, uh, the Mandem want to be uh, tough guys and say they're going to be seeing you soon, but they didn't think that they could just talk to your face and send, so they wanted us to relay the information. Oh, okay, gotcha. All right. Did you tell yeah. them we'll be seeing them even sooner? Yeah, I said we're just on normal patrol, so we'll probably see them all the time, but uh, yeah, they, yeah. We'll they didn't really first. understand it. Yeah. It's okay. Listen, uh, the only thing that those guys understand is rhyme and rhythm. Okay. But what they don't understand is what makes a good police force. Yeah, that is very true. They don't understand it ever. They probably they also understand did. beats. Rhyme and rhythm does. I'm pretty sure that encompasses hey, beats. Hold on. Juno's telling me I have to call her. It's an emergency. All right. See Talk to you later, Mac. Red, we have a we have a problem. Uh, what's uh, one the problem? of our own, one of our own is currently in the surgery room at Viceroy. They're conscious, but they're all they're talking about is the Russians. I think they're compromised or something like that. I don't know. They're in bad shape. They want Who you. Who is it? Uh, John. All right, I'll be tell him I'm 76. All right. I'll Wait, see John you Spartan? Soon. Uh, no, 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 no. Hey, who else is in our department it's, named John? Uh, it is, it is. John Hy John Hydra? Oh, okay, Hydra, Hydra. All right, I'll be there. Yeah. I'll be there soon. Okay, all right, all right bye, bye, bye. All right, let's take a second to rewatch the. Hey, what's going on? You know, it's really hard to get a hold of you sometimes. I know because I I have a lot to do. Uh, listen, where are you? A so quick fix. Quick. Or fix. old quick fix. Old quick fix. The fuck is the old quick fix? Well, how do you not remember old quick fix? Old quick fix. Are you, you're not that old. I swear you were that old. I am that. I'm older than you, motherfucker. I don't. I have been here for seven years. Don't talk to me that way. Okay. All right. All right. Well, my bad. My bad. All right. So that's what I what thought. Is, what is the old quick fix? Where is that? It's uh. You just send me a Spanish fucking ping. Can you send oh. me a ping? Son of a bitch. Okay. All right. What's your number? One one two. I gotta stop by Viceroy and then I'll be there. I promise I'll be there in five to ten minutes. Okay, hey, uh, you pay. might want you might want to bring Linova. Uh, uh, I have some information for her as well. All right, perfect. I'll bring her. All right, you get me. Yeah, I got it. Oh boy. It's not quick fix. It's a uh, star shafters. <coughs> Radio check. Radio check. Channel wants to let you use. I'm for a fish. I mean, oh, sorry, Sai. Right, Northbound Elgin. Are you going to in that car? Negative. We're in Northbound Elgin Avenue. Left, Westbound Clinton. DT Primary, Westbound Clinton. Right, northbound thermal place. Whenever I see Cy Carter, I can't help but be a dumb fuck and want to kill him. It's like an addiction. Meet me at pillbox. We got something we gotta take care of. Uh, can I lose me? Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. Right, okay, I'm on the way. Right, right. See you soon. Bye. Red, 
Yeah. All right, before you go in there, let me explain. Uh, we've strapped him to the bed. He was shooting. He thinks everyone's a Russian. Uh, if this is happening to him, it could happen to others. Uh, this city is going to become a war zone. Uh, but it's already a war zone. We need the army. Like, ASAP. Don't worry, Don. We're going to get you. We're going to get you back in. Uh... We're gonna get you back on that horse in no time at all. Hey, Hydra. Great hey, Marshal! Well, he's a Russian spy! Loosen my straps, quick! Wait, quick, loosen a... my straps, Great Marshal! I'll get him! Who's a Russian spy? Who's the Russian spy? <laughs> hey, all of them are! Uh, they're gonna get you, Great Marshal! Uh, I, I think I'm a fake moose beard. Uh, uh, don't worry, I'll get oh, They got me on here good. He's really struggling uh, with those straps. Uh, one male Grand Marshal, that's not Moose Beard. Hey, He's wearing that's... his face. That's not Juno. No, that's. No, I assure you, that's Juno and Moose Beard. I can tell. Yeah. Can you sure, Grand Marshal? No yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Listen, Hydra, look. Get his implants off of him. I think he's going cyber psycho. Yeah, well, other... get, I might, get, I might get have an idea for piece. that. Get, him, get, get, him, get his eyepiece off him. Shorter and Before we do that, uh, going on, Johnny. I do have an idea. Uh, give, Hold still. Give me one second. Go to, uh, some, uh, let me. Uh, uh, hey, Fred, um, the Russians. I'm about to give them a bomb detector. That's what they were asked for. Them a what is? I, right, I think we should give them a bomb and not a bomb detector. Can we give them? Can we take a C4 and put it on a bomb detector? Maybe. No, but this is this is a show of good faith, right? We're giving them a bomb detector oh, to check how about their vehicles. We give them a bomb detector that fails to do its job. I don't think we have one. Where am I? Help! Help! Well, I think there's something going on in the other room. Hey, hey, be quiet back there! I'm trying to have a fucking phone call. Dispatch, can we get a channel for this? I mean, I'll, it's just, I'm giving them the bomb detector to show good faith. You can only use on the vehicles, and if you're still going to do your thing, it, it shouldn't be a problem, right? Uh, yeah, you know what? Give it to him. Get him up on the bed. Show good faith, Fred. All right. It's in our favor. All right. All right. Also, uh, the massive bears still roam around. Don't hurt it, please. All right. Hey, talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. I'm going to kill that fucking bear. Oh, Fred. He just seemed to gun at me and pass the fuck out. That's good. Oh, wait, he did what? He aimed the gun at me, about to shoot me, and then he just paused out. Oh, um, huh. Hello? This is, this is bad. Get his gun off him? Did Baji go in there and take his gun? Hey, no, well, are, are you and can only come to Viceroy? Yeah, yeah, we're on the way. We're in the mountains, so we're just on the freeway now for All some right. water treatment. Be there in two minutes. You. See you Let's soon. Bye. Grab his guns off him. I'm getting his eye piece off. I think I may have removed it. Uh, his... Yeah, his get, his, his, get his damn eyepiece off. Get his goddamn... Get his guns off of him. If he's going cyber psycho, he can't be armed. I mean, we don't have any implants to... As far as I know, he doesn't have any concealed weapons. So, was he... he yeah, was I'm gonna in surgery. I'm going to put his earrings back you on think, and remove his eyepiece instead. You think someone who works here did this? Because look at them all just staring. Not the past. I mean, here's you the thing. We just... can we can make a ton of assumptions, but until uh -huh. then, we won't know what's going on until we can get him clear, so... Thatch, okay. Juno, focus right, on getting I got his eyepiece off. Unfucked uh, up. Grand Marshal. All right. I almost got a Grand Marshal. Good job. Good job, Hydra. Wait, what? You mean good job? What do you mean? He's All got right, I got his lethal. You always got to tell someone when they do something good. Yeah, but that wasn't good. He was going to shoot me. I'm one of your own. Well, you got it. Well, that's why it's just, it's just you know, look. Not, he doesn't have anything to shoot what? you with anymore. You'll be fine. All right? Okay, all right, all You're right. not going to okay. be shy. It's, it's, it's just to make him feel better, you know? Otherwise, he'll feel stressed out. If I tell him it wasn't a good job, then he'll get all stressed out and shit, and that'll just make things worse. I mean, in I've dealt with cyber psychosis before. You have? Yeah. I almost went cyber psycho myself the other day. I wore my uh, earpiece Wait, and my scanner at the same time, and boy, I got to build I gotta build up a tolerance to that. I started getting lightheaded. What the hell? We should have normalized this at Osa. His, his scanner is damaged. It looks like a bullet hit it. Oh, oh god, my god, that's wait. why. Get him a new scanner. What if, get him... what if the there. scanners get yeah, hacked by the Russians? Please give us some uh, no, space. Our, our server is technology. Uh, can't right be hacked. Um, I just, I just need it. If I can, can I do a quick blood, blood withdrawal? Oh, oh yeah, check everything about him. Okay. Well, what do gotta... I do after... After he like, uh, I'm gonna need listen. To go I trust you guys to be able to figure this yeah, out. Yeah, all right, I'm. Okay. Yeah, I don't have all the answers. Thatch, are you gonna handle this? Get a new scouter on him. Get a new one. Yeah. I'm, 
Get a I was going to EMP him. him, but we don't have those anymore. Uh, so. Maybe no. I'll have to go grab a new scouter from the. Uh, get the a room. new scouter, get it on him, make sure it has the latest software update. If there's updates? I haven't been doing any of those. All right, well, you better get yours updated too. Hey, hey, lock it up, Thatch. Okay. All right. Lock it up. I'll take that tone with me. Lock it up. What's going on, Brad? Guys, I need you to come hey. with me. Hey, I okay. got a quick question for you, Brad. Hey. What's that? Uh, once I get the magic fixed out of this hat, uh, can I keep wearing this? I don't give a fuck. I mean, it, it's you. I mean, everybody knows you're a pirate. Where's me? Don't leave me here. There's a little bit of magic that makes my hair big. Like, oh. really big when I wear it. Oh, so I'm, I'm, I got people working on it, but uh, what the fuck once I get that fixed, you I'm look like Whippy it. Goldberg. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Linda Meriden or something. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, you want to follow us to Bob Smith, Fred? Well, we got, we got something else we got to do real quick. Just follow me. Actually, yeah, I'll follow okay. you to Bob Smith. I'll follow you to Bob. Here, get in with me. I'll meet you guys at Bob. What's going on, Jenny? Um, I'm sorry for calling, eh, but okay, we'll I thought it. you'd want to know this. Okay, uh, locked in. Dean Watson okay. just requested a... I was set outside the embassy. Dean arrived, and he wanted a meeting with their leader. And they all seemed pretty tight with him. Well, that's fine. I mean, look, you got to have someone that knows how to build trust. You're not concerned at all? Oh, no, I'm not concerned at all. Um, I already have a plan to break in there at night and steal a Russian scientist, so... Well... Okay, guess so. All right, well, as long as you don't care, right. it's fine. Hail Cerberus. All right, then be safe. Hail Cerberus. Hail Cerberus. Hail Cerberus. I, I swear, I think I get more phone calls or hey, Preted more than anybody in this city. Pred, you just need to put your phone in the glove box <laughs> if you just want to chill. No, no, the city needs me. See, when Jenny needs me, I'll always answer. But when other people need me, I always think about throwing my phone out the window. You just got a burner phone and just give it to give your phone number to command and I command. Oh my God. Yeah, I'd get a burner phone if they were <laughs> 250K. Oh my fucking God, is that it again? Dan, I can't talk right now. I'll call. I can't talk right now. I'll call you back. Uh, do you want me to still wait in this room? I've you been better, You leave that bit. fucking room. I'll be. You better stay in that fucking room, Dan. Oh, yeah. yeah. I told Dan to wait in the captain's office thirty minutes ago, and I still haven't been there. <laughs> Nicholas, who's in front of me? Major Leonova Cannoli and Major Cannoli are inside the car. Can I trust Cannoli? Oh, yes. Yeah. You can trust him with your life. Down here is better. All right. Get us up to speed, Mr. Meng. Okay. There's a lot of information. So, yesterday. We're actually yeah, yesterday we're starting Ugh, fuck, hold on. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, we're at a we're at a Russian voice. Okay, here we go. Vinny came into the the embassy yesterday, he had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the ambassador. It was very quick, but uh I wasn't able to catch it on. Oh shit. Uh, the Russians uh, had a mission yesterday. We were to find an underground silo. What? Yes. Underground silo? Where? In Little Moscow? No. We went out of Little Moscow. We scavenged uh, up by uh, Air X. And we went up to Polito, and then we went up to Mount Chiliad, and then we went back down to Air X. Uh, I have a very disturbing picture. Uh, it's, it's not good, Fred. Alright, I'm... I gotcha. Alright, you're fine. 
it's, it's not really. Yo, Jimmy, thanks for the 22 months. I should have received that, right? Never mind. Well, never mind. I'm not friends with you anymore, so I can't send the email. Oh. Just share it through the phone. Duh. Yeah, just make a document and share it through the phone. 2022, you fucking boomer. What the fuck you say to me? I called you a fucking boomer. Boomer. Because I am a boomer. Okay, so what's the fucking problem? No, I. it's not that I unfriended anybody. I've never unfriended anyone. You're a millionaire businessman. I know how to use that document, and then I can find the information and get it approved for email later. Yeah, you ready? I'm ready. There go. Yes, uh, so we have the missiles moving from underground the underground silo. Uh, to not be tracked. I was uh, reprimanded for taking this, uh, but luckily, <laughs> yet I still have it on me. Alright, well, this is terrible. Alright, um. Uh, yes, any more information? Oh, there's lots. Uh, here's the next one. I've been saying this, Pred. I've been saying it for days. We need to get on the offensive. Here's the next one. We were... Uh... We also went out and uh, we, we got the, let's say, roughly uh, 9 to 10 uh, small boxes. I, uh, we don't know exactly what was in them. Oh, I saw this when they went in the compound with the small oh, boxes. This, you're talking about the twat? There's the twat, but uh, shortly after we went out and got the shipment and brought it back to base. Uh, I believe Nova saw that. I saw the box. I was there and I too. I traded a box. Yeah, yes, we box. we got it from There's this location. They were I, Nova. They must have been smuggling it in with oh the fucking God. vodka. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ! We're gonna have to start secure. I'm gonna have to get. We're gonna have to start securing the checkpoint and checking everything. So so this is what. I was there and I said, well, listen, if they're exporting stuff into Russian soil, we need to search it. But by that point, they had already moved most of the boxes over. And the one this... box we did check just had fucking vodka in it. My phone wasn't uh, as great, but you can see here is where we were picking up supplies. Uh, I believe it was by fuck in Russian accent. Uh, we were picking up by NBC's uh, compound. Uh, there you should see a military truck in the background. Uh, hard to see, but I had to get away to take that picture. We also had a uh, small jeep. What? What are we looking at in that picture? Do you see, uh, kind of towards the back, you'll see a. Uh, our Russian uh, truck that we usually travel in. That's where we're picking truck, up the Brad. packages. In that area, you'll see like a whole bunch of containers. We we're picking it up from a container in that area. So it was near uh, NBC's boat. God. Uh, Look so at that poor fat son of a bitch. Boxes. While he's chasing cars around here, screaming about shit. We're fighting the real battle, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. God damn right. Big uh, uh The silo was near Air X, last I knew. Uh, Ray was with us, Ray Romanov. Uh, he has dual citizenship. And he was, so, uh, the ambassador said we were looking for a place to shoot a rocket, um, which was the Air X area. 
And then something about the ambassador. What the ambassador says. The ambassador said that we're looking. He's we're trying to find a a suitable silo to shoot the rocket from. And then later in the day, he said uh, Russia will definitely be first to get to get to moon. What? Say that again. Uh, No one's beating us to the moon. Okay, well, yeah, they're, they're gonna be the first to the moon. These commie bastards! These fucking communists! <laughs> you think it's bad? <laughs> it we can't worse. allow this! It gets way worse. Trooper Copper and Carter have Russian citizenship now. Oh my god! Also, when did that happen? What, when? Yesterday. Carter, I think, had it for two days. I think Copper just got it yesterday. Um, you know, Bucky? Yeah. He also has Russian citizenship, and he spoke to the ambassador one-on-one. He comes in very quietly. What else you got? Uh... Dean, Lang, and Abdul came to visit the embassy, and he also talked to the ambassador one-on-one. I believe Copper wants to know this information, but the Russians did kill a reporter across the street for taking pictures of the embassy. Uh, she looked, I think she was the one that was trying to investigate that. Oh, a uh, large shipment was picked up at 6 p.m. Eastern on October 25th near the NPC docks. Make sure I wrote the time down. And you may have gotten a call well, from Vinny re- yesterday. Re- relay that one more time. Relay okay. that last line with the large so, shipment. Yeah, the unknown large shipment was picked up at NBC Docks at 6 p.m. Eastern, October 25th. Okay. It's always Russians me against the planted world. pineapples on Vinny's pizza and then blamed you, Brad. Oh. Fucking yeah. god. Yeah. They're trying to start a war. Listen, I have seen war games. Uh, I I don't know how we can. Why stay do I? Why am I always this. the good guy? This is. Yeah. Why am I always the? Good They're guy? prepping to make a move. Yeah. Well, that was the end of yesterday. Um. I got some information about today, uh, this morning at least. What more do you have? GG attacked the embassy. Uh, we're, we're debating on uh, maybe sending missiles or something into GG's uh, base. As retaliation, we haven't 100% you know, said yes or anything yet. It's still up in the air. But I think that might change because they came in for a news uh, recording and they had a small meeting with the ambassador, so things might have uh, been smoothed over. Um, Abdul and Dean visit the embassy again. Uh, one-on-one talk, didn't get anything. We now have a bear named Boris. A very large bear. Yeah, he's in a track suit. He probably... Uh, won't miss him. And uh, our embassy has built up the defenses. We have stronger walls and more towers. What have you heard about Kat yet? That's what I wanted you here for. Yesterday, uh, we talked uh, about Katya, and uh, she explained that she might be related to you somehow. Oh. 
Oh. Um, I really need to pee. We had to talk without Katya, and uh, if she is found to be related, we are to put her in the gulag. What? Yes. Um, she's very sad. They do that I just for being related. Promise. I can't. Yes. Anything. I had to technically renounce my citizenship to become to be part of this Russian society. She isn't even a fucking citizen of a fucking America. So the, the ambassador is very strict on uh, no Americans. Like the bad, Americans, bad everything. And then I gave him a pretty convincing story on why I wanted to be in Russia. This is a, oh. a dangerous game. Um, yeah, Nova, your sister's gonna die. Fred! But unless you tell, listen, you gotta tell her just to renounce Russia and leave. I mean, it's that simple. That gate, she's right by the gate all the time. She just runs out, puts her gun down, and we'll uh, take her to Guantanamo. I promise you, we'll just torture her a little bit, but we won't kill her. All no. done, all done, all done. Is she still uh, in there, sir? Uh, right now she's uh, sleeping, but uh, she yes, she's free. Wait, guys, hold on, Fred. To the phone call. One second. Okay. One second. Hold my thoughts. All right, hey, what's going on? Fred, Fred, I've been in the lab. Don't worry. We're gonna upgrade our missile technology. No one's gonna say shit, okay? Perfect. We're not gonna. We've got the best fucking missiles. Fuck the Russians. Missiles. I gotta talk to you and Lang tomorrow. It's probably one of the most important conversations we're ever gonna have. It is. Why do you say that now? Why do you say that now? Because now I'm gonna be thinking about it for 24. I fucking hate I, when people. Well, do here's that. the thing. I mean, well, I gotta. You gotta build up anticipation, baby. Come on. I mean, listen. I gotta. I'm. I'm just ironing out some details. I swear to God, this better be the most important conversation. Oh. Uh. It will be. In trouble. No, no, we're not in trouble, but I'm going to be honest with you, and this tends to happen with me. Uh, it might be on us to save the world. Pred, Pred, we... Yeah, I know, we're what, what... not e we're take we plan on, you know, taking over the world and the moon and the galaxy, but uh, unfortunately, we have to earn the trust of the people by saving it. Looking good, Peacekeeper. Hey, you tell those beasts, yeah, they, they like that. They like that. For fuck's sake. Okay, all right. Well, now I'm going to be waiting in anticipation for this conversation. I mean, I could tell you now, but what's the fun in no, that? No, it's fine. I'll fucking lose sleep tonight. It's fine. Don't act. You're, listen, you're like me. Probably four to five hour guy on a good night. Uh, no, I mean, there's some nights I can do like nine hours for sure. Oh, my God. You lucky bastard. You know what? Fuck you. Uh, all right. <clears throat> Listen. Be vigilant. Don't waver. Russia. Bad. But Cerberus. Cerberus is badder. Talk to you tomorrow, Mr. Watson. We'll have a big meeting. Yeah, okay. All right. I'm going to... How Cerberus? Hail Cerberus. What's going on, Hydra? Hey, Grand Marshal. I just want you to know I'm out of the hospital. Uh, I got some bad news. What's that? It's terrible news, sir. Hey, what is it? I can only I can only eat one steak a day for the rest of my life. All right, you'll be fine. Listen, I got to call you back. I'm I'm very right. busy at the moment. All right, I'm all glad right. you're okay, yes, Hydra. All right. all right, I just want to let you know I'm okay and probably won't shoot any Russians without good reason. Okay, sir. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Keep that energy. Sixty-two percent chance. Yes, sir. Bye. There. Okay, listen, I got the plan. Okay. Something to drink, please. Sorry right. about that. It was very important, Canoli. Didn't mean to keep you waiting. It's okay. It, listen, if they're keen on doing this humane labs, you know, blood tests or whatever, we have this knowledge, okay? I think we need to get oh. and do good old fashioned snatch and grab, but it has to be with people we can trust. We need some black vans. We need to either 
we need to get the drop on him, right? So we either need to be in humane labs, unrecognizable. We get the drop on him. We hold everybody up. We kidnap Katya and we peel out. Or we do that same exact plan and we get a body double. And when we're taking Katya out, we switch them, right? And then we make it seem like Katya, you know, got the drop on us and, uh, you know, she got out of cuffs somehow, broke the zip ties or whatever, and uh, we just buggered out. So we're not just going to let Nova's sister die? No, we're not going to let uh. my potential sister die. The Russian, though. It doesn't matter if she's a fucking Russian fed. All right, we'll save Nova's sister when the time comes. Good old fashioned snatch and grab. I just hope I can uh, reach you guys out in time. Well, here's I know. The thing as well, right? You could also do cannolis plan, but look, you could we could get the records falsified so she could be fully Russian, but just tell her the real results. If you tell her, then maybe what if she she's maybe she doesn't care, and then she throws me out of the bus. Look at how she fucking get out of your involvement. Hell no. Well, I listen, don't know. Whoa, whoa, that's look, what you're, that's what first you're off, about. fuck that plan. All right. We're not putting Mang in any more danger. He's too reliable for information. If I have to choose between Billy Mang and your sister right now, I'm choosing Mang a hundred out of a hundred times. Your sister has no value to me other than she's related to you. So if we're going to get her, we can get her, but we can't put Mr. Mang in the crosshairs. It would have to be sanctioned through the army. Uh, listen, guys. Whatever happens, it can't be done on Russian soil. Cerberus That's operation why I'm saying now. We, we, we strike at humane labs. Like Wish the still idea, fucking but do you smoke see grenades? the size of that bear? This is, uh, Boris is, uh, very big. Uh, he, That's the he biggest bear fucking... I've ever seen in my life. Okay, okay, okay. What if we we cuff them and we bring some peanut butter and we start slathering them? In we don't butter. have his wrists are the as thick as these fucking. No, 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 not the car bear. tires. We don't oh. handcuff the bear. We handcuff some of the Russians once we get the drop on them, right? We hold them up. Oh no, we're just gonna take shoot the them. We're just gonna listen. Um, I'm thinking we, you know, we look. We'll we'll we'll, we'll figure even it even better. Out. No loose ends. I promised. Oh yeah, no loose ends, ever. They, they're fucking mobilizing. This Katya thing aside, they are mobilizing. Duh. I mean, yeah. Yeah, they, they are. I mean, god damn it. Uh, uh, we're, we're, we're talking about this peacetime, peacetime, when they've already shot a fucking missile at Wrangler. What? When was this? A few days ago. Small arms nuclear missile was fired off of Spucci Boulevard. Wrangler and a few, a few others, or... including myself, okay. were caught at ground zero. Oh, God. Oh, no, no. I noticed the ambassador will sometimes uh, disappear an hour at a time. I, I don't know where he goes. Uh, he was he was gone maybe maybe an hour ago for a while when uh, you remember when you saw us at the the the, the, uh, the courthouse he ran off and uh, we were kind of just waiting there and then uh, we ran up to the Mito end and he we didn't see him until we got back to uh, the embassy all right got any more Intel Ming that's all I got. That's everything. All right, it's better if you get out of here and leg it. Yeah. You guys be careful. Be careful. I right. already got a missile, and I don't know if it's for the moon or for you. If you uh, wait here, I can go grab you some cameras. Yeah, I'll do that. Take care. I'll be hiding behind I'll, the wall be, down there. Gotcha, I'll be right back. It's probably better if you stay on this garage ramp. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ, Pred. Listen, I got so many spies. Right? 
getting all the intel I need, you know, I'm, I'm doing this covertly, alright, otherwise, turns bad, but, uh, I gotta speed things up a bit, I have an idea, and, uh, hopefully, be carried out, Nova, I don't know if we can trust Copper anymore, uh, probably not, Noli, how would you like to be uh, enlisted into the Spec Ops Division? Done. Accepted. Yep. Task Force 142. I'm going to have to make some phone calls. We're going to do this. We're going to have to do it right. Nova, you mind grabbing some cameras when we pull up here? There's yeah, two sure. of them. Two of them. You know, another idea that you could take a page out of the good old United States book. Could uh, deliver them a bunch of uh, food and blankets. And I know Anita has uh, COVID right now. We could just have her cough all over the food and the blankets. Bad idea. Not a think bad so? idea. But here's oh, I thought you said that's... bad idea. No, no, it's it's too obvious though, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Um, I already have a plan for something major. Hey, I'll fill you in on Operation Red Velvet shortly. To get to a discreet location. <laughs> Doing the, uh, Time for a good old American false flag attack. I like it. Radio 13. Hey, Fred, what's going on? Happy. Bill, are you busy right now? Uh, we just got Marty Banks detained off of La Porta Freeway. Okay, all right. How about you give me a call when you're done? Yeah, that will do. All right. Bye, buddy. Bye, bye, bye. I'm going to put together Task Force 142. I'm going to carry out a false flag attack. We're going to drone strike the embassy. Blame it on Pierogi. It's a good idea. All fingers will point to Igor. Mm -hmm. Every single one of them. It makes sense considering all of today and yesterday. After this, we'll go to the captain's office and see Dan. Throw him in the glove box so we can grab him. Oh, he is. All right, grab here. Hop in real quick. Grab him and ghost. You know my state ID. Nova, scoot your fat, scoot your fat ass over, Nova. Damn. Chicken dinner. Uh, just, uh, just, uh, just like the Grinch with these new uniforms. Fucking Nova's ass has grown ten, ten sizes. Is it thirteen thirty one? One three two three. Remember it, okay? One three two three. I'll check yeah, every yeah. hour to see if they're in place. I'll give you an hour. To, I'll, I'll check every hour. All right. One three two three. All right, got it. Perfect. You're an American hero, sir. Probably gonna die, but. We'll die uh, I was just about to say we probably got to kill him once this is all wrapped up, right? Here's the thing: I already have papers uh, documented for all these people. Um, at first, it really depends on uh, how good of a job they do. I already had a plan to send a Reed Dankleaf in there, but I haven't been able to see a Chief Justice. And plus, I, if I know the Chief Justice, he'll just let them know that let them know what I'm doing. So what I'm thinking about doing is sneaking up to the prison, letting Reed out, and dropping him off in there my damn self, going full on rogue agent. Would have to be a 142 mission, I think. Oh yeah, I was thinking about getting DOC to be distracted by a PD meeting, right? Getting all the DOC people to like gather in the courtyard. I'll, uh, I'll release, I'll release him with a civilian helicopter, land in the fucking courtyard, he'll board it, and then I'll just ex, uh, I'll ex, uh, I'll get him out of there. What's that word for you? It's not excavate. Exfil. Yeah, exfil. Exfil. We're not gonna talk about anything else for the time being. Yep. I'm gonna have to get Stubbs, Mueller, and then we're gonna...
carry up. And we're going to take care of business. Oh, you fucking done it this time, Daniel. You have done it this time. God damn, bro. Well, give me one second. Wake the fuck oh. up, Daniel! Uh, 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 God damn it. What the fuck? I fell asleep in the chair. I've been in here for like an hour and a half. Uh. What were we here to talk about? I don't know. You told me to be in here. I'm going to grab some cigarettes. I'll be right back. Completely forgot what we were going to talk about, Dan. Hold on. Sergeant Dan. That's what we were. Oh, uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sergeant yeah. Sergeant Dan. Yeah, that's what we were going to talk about. Yep. I think people. I knew more, it. <laughs> I think people would lose their minds. And that's exactly why we should do it. Dan, look. Listen, we're Cerberus PD, right? We're all about chaos. You know, that's pretty chaotic. No, we're not. <laughs> we're all about ourselves. <laughs> exactly. Sergeant Dan. Canoli, if uh, you and Dan were on an island, and you, it was you, Dan, and a coconut, and only one of them could be sergeant, and you could eat the other, who would, which one would you promote to sergeant? And which one would you coconut. eat? Coconut. Eat Dan. Start with his feet. Make my way up the uh, shin. Uh, then I wouldn't eat the thigh because it's usually the most meat on the body. I'd probably start with his fingies. Uh, maybe use them as a little fingies? bit of an appetizer. Do you look at lessons to I'd this guy saying fingies. I'd probably grill his hands like some hamburger patties and uh, eat them like a sandwich. If I could find some, you know, leaves to put them in between Fucking two leaves. Fucking fingies, this guy. Hey, hey, that's the future of the PD right there. You better show some goddamn respect. So, Dan, I think this was about your whole corporal thing, right? After your demotion. Sergeant, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just saying. Beach. There, uh, Master Guard. What the hell? I'm sorry, what's your new rank? Grand Marshal. Grand Marshal. Sorry, it's going to take. I've, I've used to calling you Sheriff for a long time. It's going to take me a bit. Better lock it in. You, you heard my, my speech. It's the greatest speech ever written in the history of mankind. Better get it locked the fuck in. Was it not that good? Lock it in, Dan. Was the was the speech not locked in, Sheriff? It, lock! There was gunfire. Lock! There was gunfire over my head, and I still carried on. It only does look like Deathstroke. Dan, listen. Right? Who else yeah, in here is going to plagiarize the, the speech from uh, Independence Day like I did? Nobody! Uniform is that. You know, are you enjoying it now? Are you enjoying the, the uniform? No, it's really itchy still. I've gone through seven bottles of, Maybe you of just baby got, powder. Do you have a rash? No, when I take these clothes off, everything's fine. I get more fucking baby powder, Dan. These suits are the most comfortable thing I've ever been in in my life. I've gone through seven bottles. I've I don't even have underwear on. I'm so comfortable. Exactly. I'm I, right I now. feel like I am. I feel like I'm not wearing anything at all. I'm just I dick use, swinging. I use baby powder everywhere else, and then Gold Bond medicated powder on the on boys. You know, a nice little cool breeze during the day. Nova, how do you feel about uh, Enforcer Failey? Do you think he deserves to be corporal? Dan, I am a corporal. We're talking about sergeant here. Hold on, hold on. What do you mean? You're currently an enforcer. You were demoted yesterday. You said for Ooh. 24 hours. Mm, I said until I decide. I guess this is Dan, another, another lie, huh, Dan? Dan, when was the last time you was ever locked in? I'm always locked. I'm way more locked in than you. Okay, P please name three instances, Dan, where you locked him. For example, the drug trafficking case, Dan. That's not even fucking drug trafficking. Uh, you know, I'm 
may be drug trafficking. We'll have to see. The speedy case. Okay, I was super locked in. I don't give the, the fucking judge fucked us. He fucked us. It's crazy. You remember 580 you masturbating? What? How was that my fault? Told you that those cadets were your responsibility. No, you didn't. I just, I definitely, we did. Me and Wrangler told you. It's not my fart. He, he, he was masturbating not everywhere. Your fart. <laughs> Trying to <laughs> mock fault. me, son. No, it's not my Trying fault. Trying to mock your there. grand marshal. Grand marshal, Fred. What's going on here, Dan? I'm locked in way more than you guys are. I'm out here catching the cop murderers on the daily. You're out First, here catching Ezra, strays. I'm, who who helped uh, catch fucking John Doe's murder and put it on the dock? Me, Patty, and Nova, and who else? It was uh, uh, Odessa. Very two days later, who helps catch Ezra Funkhauser's fucking murderer? Me. I was. I there. led that. That's two back-to-back -back cop killers off the street because of me. And Patty and Odessa and Nova. Nobody's more locked in than me. All right, Dan. Sorry, I just got to just really quickly. Ugh, God damn it. So itchy. Are you sure dude doesn't have fleas? He doesn't have fleas. Like I said, when I take this off and I'm put on normal clothing, put dude everything's down. fine. Don't you make me choose my dog. See, that locked him in. See that? Yep. That's that a good tactic. Mm -hmm. Look, Dan, you're back to the rank of corporal. But the roster won't reflect it until I remember to send someone an email. It hasn't reflected it in the two months you've promoted me. Well, I'm getting to it, Dan. I'm very busy. It's, it's always said senior deputy for this whole time. Dan, I'm getting to it. Please. <laughs> All right. Sure. Uh, Grand Marshal. Perfect. All right. Dismissed, Failey. I'm just, I'm just glad he didn't dan up that speech and pull a fucking failie. Yeah, yeah. All right, let me get a cigarette. I need to go grab more cigarettes from the room next door. I'll be right back, and then um, probably gonna have to leave, and we're probably gonna have to go talk. But sure. um, actually, here's what I want us to do. All right, we're gonna wait a little bit. I want to do periodic drive-bys, a little Moscow, keep an eye on it. And on top of that, I'll give you guys all a call once um, once I get uh, the other individuals uh, lined up and ready to go. Right now, a major keystone in this entire operation is busy uh, throwing away uh, Marty Banks. Okay. Oh, they caught him? I guess so. Uh, Sega, here comes on the on the yellow Sultan. Where are the cigarettes? Huh. Oh God! In Costner, I find it. Might be on a different channel. Yo, felony. Thanks for the five months. For the movie studio situation. Yeah. They're just fucking being closed. Just get on last two if you want to attempt to see the thing. Oh. What's the Marty situation? Fucking, uh, he just it's had ten fucking people attempt to fucking break him out. Uh, uh, on RC two now, I guess.
Oh god, hold on. Ugh. I was laying in my chair there. We have to involve here. here. Alright, let me get comfortable. Alright, perfect. And so many, so many things to fucking take care of. I need to fucking enlist uh, the HOA. To the, I need to draft all the HOA into the military. I gotta get Sizz to let me draft the entire HOA. So, the for cigarettes. this thing, are we staying on the one or are we going oh. to two? I'm confused at this point. To go on two if you want to chase. Yeah, I'm on the chase. I say to document that black Subaru. Uh, we'll get these two sorted out nice and quick. Let's give it 95. Uh, we got a Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. The homeowner's army arc. Oh, that would be good. Bitch. <laughs> Jenny, Jenny, help. How many do I got left? Two. Two, damn it. Yo, Felony, thanks for the five. A Train, thanks for the nine. Pure True Blood. Buzz Light, your suit. Not littering. Those actually look sick. Seventy eights, I need smokes. The city's got a lot of stuff going on right now. Panic button. <sighs> Nah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Where the hell do you get cigarettes? Radio check. And two. And now. Uh, ten two on the radio check. Uh, channel four is code four. We have enough units to have a kind of suspect. Oh, hey, look who it is. Hey, how you doing there, Private uh, Hazel? General, sir! Six, seven, one, ten, eight. Don't tell me you gave this man Please, the fucking job. Right. Oh, yeah, this guy's doing an amazing job. Yes, sir, serving my uh, country proud. Hello, two from six, seven, one. Uh-huh. How's that going for you, Hazel, huh? Um, I'm gonna Whoa. add the 911 call to the... the Nothing has been going these on. These guys the spread lies and slander. Pictures. Propaganda and bullshit. And you're sitting here it's backing them up. Hey, how the hell? What the fuck did you just say? You heard me. Oh boy. All right. You guys talking about your nuclear what threats. What the hell are you doing? You bring car near embassy, it gets searched Dispatch. for the ball. Six, seven, oh, one, all right, six, I appreciate six, that. Nine, nine, no, no, 608, same traffic. Oh, oh. Listen. Listen. 
Good old fashioned beat down. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 Good old fashioned fucking beat down. What the fuck are you looking at, She Hulk? Sir, you need to relax. Police See, Rosa, I told you. Good costume. Don't you tell me how to operate on American Relax. soil, commie. Relax. Uh, ha! Ha! Did you say Murphy? Who? Oh. 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 Yep, here it is behind the blue building. To the north of the blue building on the deco. Oh. Across, or ginger. Mueller, is that you? Hey, it's me. What's up? Hey. This is that Here, I got something for you, oh, G. That. Someone stole your helicopter. Hey, you someone stole a helicopter. He tried to kidnap me. Free. God damn it. Oh, oh, yeah, he's going to get stolen online. Don't, 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 don't do this. Don't do this. Listen, G, you're lucky I don't take you to don't fucking jail. No, he didn't take you. It seems like you're doing a whole lot of recycling right now, Murphy. <laughs> you guys have three units on that 99, correct? Yeah. Murphy, you're so dressing you're like me when I was fucking I 12. Yeah, this is called this is called being rich. You dress very casual. Dress for comfort. Channel A, you can go. Unflattering. Does he come in? Because you don't give a fuck. Huh? Huh? Sure, that's not depression, Murphy. Huh? Kind of a coin toss with you. Business yeah, is booming. Just nice. give me a fucking uh, crusty Murphy. ass cigarette. Coming in. No, no, yeah, I gave you an empty pack. Like Mule, are you, you able to? to you able to get in? Uh, I can leave this. We can take you to Mission Row. Where'd you get the fucking golf? Where'd you get the fucking golf cart? I bought it for the LSPD for like a million dollars. Oh no! Ready to check. The, the budget stuff is always great. Damn too. We gotta organize. How many people do you want on this? It's gonna be five of us. It's gonna be me, you, Nova, and Stubbs. Okay. Uh, the it's guy that I task uh, task force one forty two operation. There's a couple actives on channel oh, one. The... Leave the bank situation on uh, channel three. The guy that I spoke to about all this, he said that uh, if we want to have like a like a wider range or like a better utility behind this, uh, it's easier to put one on each uh, drone rather than multiple Hello? singular drones. Hey, Canoli, listen. Um, we're gonna need to meet up somewhere. Um. I got a pretty good spot here, just uh, off of Power Street, and uh, or sorry, off of Vespucci and Power Street and Elgin, like in a parking lot. All right, ping me, uh, uh, three forty-six. Three forty-six. All right, is Nova yeah. there? Bring her with you. Yeah, Nova, we gotta go. I'll uh, I'll cool stops over. He didn't answer the phone. Uh, oh, fuck, he's processing. He's fucking processing. Uh, the guy. Marty ended up fucking breaking out again for the How third fucking out? time. Oh, like fucking loads of morons just came up, like all running up, uncuffing him, all that kind of shit. And like none of them. I mean, he's on there's not much you can do. We should just shoot them. Honestly, I I fucking agree, but at the same time, like, uh, yeah, we'll see it. We see how that goes if someone just shoots them all. Yeah, I'd do it. Yeah, there's a difference between <laughs> you and I doing it at the moment. I think, though, Fred. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's all have a chat. All right. Everybody, um... We're gonna start prepping the operation. I really want, hold on. Yeah, what's up, Klaus? Hey, Groucho, are you uh, busy? Yeah, I'm, v I'm very busy right now. We'll have to do this uh, uh, another time. I'm sorry, Okay, buddy. well, I had some uh, some yeah. intel for you. Is it good intel? Uh, yes, yes. All right. And um, I'd rather not where just are you at right now? Because, um, Elgin Ave. 
All right, look, what's your ping? Come on over here. All right, we're down the road. What's your ping? Uh, four, five, one. All right, so the operation that we're about to carry out is for America. Taking a page out of the American Army playbook. False flag attack. Blame it on pierogi. Uh, we have drones that we're going to equip with C4. And we're going to... Um, hold on. We'll talk about this in a bit. I have some intel here about Russia. Hey, Klaus, why don't you come on over here? Hey, how's it going? What's going on, Lily? Chat, are you looking for smokes and we have about 30 in our locker? Wait, I checked the locker. Did I spell it? God damn it, I must... Wait, what's our locker? CPD Eats. Oh, it's God. Coming. All right, I'll check. I'll, I'll, thanks for okay. telling me. I didn't All know right. you had that yet. All right. Yeah, CPD Eats. Okay. Oh, thanks, Pond. I appreciate it. All right. Bye. Bye. All right. Um, everybody here is trustworthy, Klaus. Okay, well, I mean, if you say so, sir. Trust me. All I know right. So, so uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know where to begin. These, uh, these people, they're like headless chickens when their ambassador is not around. It's it's really funny, you know, as being like a undercover operative. And I'm going, I literally am managing everything and telling them where to take positions and what to do and stuff. Eventually become a high-ranking member in the Russian military, huh? Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, I don't, I think there is no rank, per se, they say everyone's a leader, but, uh, I'm kind of like, you know, fucking communism, when, uh, can't stand it, around. yeah, I mean, isn't communism, like, one leader, though, like, a supreme leader, communism is nah, one leader, it's... but everybody thinks they're the leader below that guy, that's what communism is, yeah, and it's total, you know, government control over everything, I mean, I guess essentially it is the same. The ambassador controls everything. So his name is uh, Grav Gavel something. Yeah, I've met the ambassador. I have his phone number and everything. Perfect, perfect. So, um, yeah, we've had loads of interesting uh, people come in by. Everyone's showing support. Everyone, you know, they just bring what kind of stuff. But uh, two very interesting people showed up. It was, uh, it was Dean Watson and, uh, and Abdul. They, uh, they, they yeah, they, uh, they needed a tour or something. And the ambassador, you know, when he saw them, guess what he said? He hey. was like, Comrade Dean and Comrade Abdul, welcome. Uh, but anyways, I kind of, you know, I gave him a tour as, uh, as Vasily. Uh, I don't think they suspected a thing. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm on the good sides with, um, Dean Watson there, you know, I think could, uh, potentially speak to them and, uh, sway them whichever way we want. What else? Um, there isn't, there, they have a embassy worker, quote-unquote, named Katia. I don't know what Wait, the deal is. is. It, no, is she a sister? Hag? Is it an old hag? Like a really old lady? No, 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 no. She's relatively young, yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, the similarities between One second, between me and unknown Katya. number. Grand Marshal Pred. Set up complete, comrade. Good luck. Thank you. There's just similarities. That I don't know. Yeah, Snow is being very friendly. I mean, literally all of the troopers are. They're being super friendly. Like, they literally do anything. And it is it is scary. You know? Like, they're rushing their terms. Why is everyone, like, so friendly to them? Makes no sense. Didn't they, they, like, didn't they bomb Wrangler? They bombed a lot more people than just Wrangler. We also believe they're the ones that are shooting down our fighters and operating that submarine, but we don't have any proof. They still have a tank? Yeah, oh yeah, well, yeah, there was a tank inside as well. I think uh, the ambassador, he called in for your support. 
And I believe it was parachuted. They got uh, their own oh, Wattcat destroyer inside there, and uh, there's a. Oh. oh, yeah, there's a container. So. They're armed. Container? Where's the, where's the they container are located? Armed to the thief. Armed to the thief. They, they, there's only one container inside there. Uh, it's a green container. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, uh, you know how the container is, right? The, the shipping container. Yeah, green shipping container. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, pretty much waiting orders. How do you want me to proceed? I mean... Alright, listen. Hey, what I want you to do is I, I want you to just wrap it up for today. Alright, and stay away from the embassy, okay? Today in particular, or like even tomorrow? For the next hour. For the next hour okay. or so, stay away from the embassy. I mean, oh. I was not, not undercover right now because, uh, you know, PD. I know. Just stay away from the embassy for the next few hours. Alright, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, sorry, I tried to give you this intel before, after the meeting, but uh, I think you were busy, so... Uh... That's alright, I'm the busiest man in this fucking city. My phone never fucking stops. It's making me just want to throw it into the ocean. Yeah, I, I, I get what you mean. It is unfortunate, but, uh, you know, heavy lies the crown, right? That it does. That's why I have it, and don't do that. Alright, so, uh, Klaus, good job. Keep up the good fucking work, alright? Sir. Alright, the, the four of all us right, have well, to have a guys, private uh, conversation. Yeah, you guys have a good one, alright? Alright. Talk to you later, Klaus. Yes, sir. See you guys. Bye. Killer, you're not CPD, Hi, Kyle. but I trust you, all right, to understand that the information, leaking any information will be very bad, not just for us, but for the for the nation, for the city of Los oh, Santos. Yeah. Don't you worry. It sounds like the troopers are in bed with the fucking Russians. And I already know that uh, Conan Clarkson and Trooper Bass pled loyalty to Russia as well, so. Yeah, Mineo was out there earlier today oh, shoveling and, snow out there yeah. front drive. Yeah, and Mineo. Yep, I'm completely aware. Um, But uh, are we able to get Stubbs here? Uh, I called him. He's just getting out of processing. He's with 580, but I said just like leave him to the side for a second. Uh, But he, he's coming down here when he can. So, um, as far as the operation goes, we got two drones, um, and we intend to use them. I'm pretty sure Stubbs has an extra one if you want to go that route. Do three. I mean, three is better than two. I mean, what I'm looking to do is to do a big attack. I want them afterwards to never be the same. I want this whole friendly, friendly thing that they're doing facade to see so that people can see them for the animals that they truly are. Yeah, I don't know how long they're gonna be uh, friendly for after this. All right, so the operation, uh, I think that the best way to do it, there's two buildings. All right, hold on real quick, one second. Two buildings. Directly across from uh, Little Moscow is a fantastic place. Now, you can get on top of those rooftops. That's the best way to take out the checkpoint. Go high and then send it down low. Hit it, explode on impact. Off of Atlee Street, there's buildings behind so we can fly in and take out whatever's uh, back there. But the best point, but our, our two main objectives are to hit their airport, as well as their uh, checkpoint. Like I said here, the goal is to, hold on, someone's coming. Yeah, it's stubborn. Just wait for him to pull up and then we'll, uh, hit a 580. God fucking damn it. 
Why three of them? The fuck is this? Stubble. Hey guys, how you doing? Yo, what's up? Hey GM. Hmm. I, I was told to come. I'm rolling three deep, so I, I come oh. with, with with a package. That's fine. I trust these two. I think we can we can trust okay. these two. All right, what do you guys think? Should we put it to a vote? I feel like the more people, the more risk. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. The the bet the more people, the less people we have to worry about fucking things up. Trust me. More people to falsify a story. True. What's the deal? Well, for a uh, operation. Let me change real quick. Red October. November, October. <gasps> Operation Bleat. <laughs> Today's a historic day. Today is the day of a false flag attack on the Russian embassy. We're going to fl uh, frame Pierogi and Igor specifically. I already have the documentation drafted that I'm going to give to the Russian ambassador afterwards. The goal is simple. We're going to drone strike major points within the uh, Russian embassy at Little Moscow. We're going to take out the helipad. We're going to take out the checkpoint. Uh, they're going to have no idea what hit them. Uh, there's going to be two operatives that are going to be the pilots for the drones. Um, everybody else is to kind of just deter, uh, make sure they get away. We're going to have to be on uh, civilian radio, uh, radios because I want these people to not be on radar. Especially can't be me. People watch my radar blip like it's going out of fucking style. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to need two mm -hmm. people to have drone experience. Who has experience? I do, sir. Perfect. I physically can't. My thumbs were burnt off in a fire a few months ago and... Now I can't use the controller. Shit. I just All can't right. do it. I've tried. Here's what we got to do. I'm going to go grab a drone. We're going to go out to the Polito uh, forest. We're going to practice flying. See who's got it the best. Then. Operation Red Velvet can commence. After this, Russia will be on their toes. They'll stop this whole friendly, friendly facade. Part of me wants to frame this on the troopers, but, well, it's not going to be possible. Yeah, All the troopers are dick suckers, so. Wait, really? Uh huh. Hey. Yeah, they've already pledged mm -hmm. allegiance with the, uh, the Russians now. Nobody can what? know of this ever. It's going to happen. You understand me. You are to never talk about Operation Red Velvet. You are to never talk about anything related to Red Velvet. Is that understandable? Who, who outside yeah, of this sir. circle yes, already knows? No, but uh, only one. Unfortunately, Copper knows. And Jenny. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe a problem. But here's the thing. If only one person's against us that has any idea, they're just going to come after me. They won't know of any of your other involvement. This we should big. uh clock off duty and change into civilian clothes that's the plan i have a suggestion what's that history repeats itself but does anybody remember the korean war i don't know i don't read a lot of books so it was kind of like russia was controlling north korea and then the u.s was controlling the south right they were, they were like playing them it was in the middle of the cold war now pierogi and russia are in an outright conflict if Igor was to suddenly find a drone with explosives, he might just goddamn do it for us. Yeah, but we can't trust him to do it right. That's right, he might just blow himself up. He's a bit of a dipshit. 
Look, this is a false flag attack. The only ones that can carry this out right are the Cerberus Pol Police Department and Mueller. It's okay, we're all the members of the Los Santos military at the end of the day. We're gonna know a big, we're gonna have a big secret on each other. It's a war crime. Violates the Geneva Convention. But it's to keep America safe. And at the end of the day, that's our only goal. Now, if anybody wants out, go ahead and raise your hand and then turn around so that I can put a bullet in the back of your head. Everybody out? Everybody in? Un under, speak now or forever hold your peace. Yeah, Thunder, you, you know, Thunder. if you want to leave, raise your hand, Thunder. My loyalty lies to the man who put a gun in my hand and even more advanced equipment on my ass and shoulders. Hail Cerberus. Hail Cerberus. Hail Cerberus. Hail Cerberus. Hail Cerberus. All right. Hail the Grand Master. Mueller. Yeah, hail the Grand Master. Grand mm -hmm. Marshal. Grand Marshal. Marshal. We're all going to do here. I recommend we get in plain clothes. We clock off duty. We grab our respective vehicles. We head up north. What I want to happen is in 10 minutes, I want us to meet at the Polito gas station. I'm going to grab a drone for us to practice on. Is everybody ready? Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going to also go grab us uh, enough civilian radios for the operation. Seven. Might I recommend uh, splitting up to different places to get changed? Yeah. Even clock off at different PDs. We don't got to be up there until 10 minutes. Yes, sir. Gotcha. All right. Time to roll out. Hey. Do they have a... Let's go to... Uh... Hey, can you come okay. up to my, uh, Where's the GoPro? I am General Shepard. I feel like seven people is going to be acceptable if it's kind of like an OOC approved thing. Yeah, how am I the good guy? Why am I always the good guy? How come I can never be the fun one that wants to destroy everything? How, how come it's never me? It's, it's always, it's always me. Yo, Ethan, thanks for the two months. Minglish, thanks for the 14 months. Uh, Boy Guy, thanks for the five months. Daniel, thanks for the 15. Silent Savior, thanks for the prime. British Gamer Dude, thanks for the two months.
What's the song? Uh, Time Fracture by Bad History. Not that, uh, Doug, thanks for the brand new Prime. Yeah, I hate how I'm always, I always seem to be, hmm. I don't know if I'm the villain or not. I feel like in this world, I am the villain. But that's only because everybody else is a villain. I'm always the anti-hero. Gotta be corrupt in order to prevail in a corrupt world. Very true. Man, that was fucking expensive. That crim life. Yeah, every crim has a fuck every gang has a fucking money printer. What do you mean? Every gang has millions of dollars. What, do you, what the fuck do you mean? All right, I'll check. Uh, I'll check for it. But uh, chat, remember if you're new to the stream, to hit the fucking follow button. We're on our way to half a million this year. And make sure you get your subs in too. We're almost back to 9k. Almost back to 9k. Also, we might be doing a subathon before the month ends. Yo, Sable Claw, thanks for the two months. I really appreciate it. Be sure if you haven't followed the Twitter that you do. How's the RP on the server been uh, for everybody else lately? I feel like I'm on RP fucking overload, dude. Dead? Dry? Why? Non-existent? Why? What makes you guys say that? Oh yeah, Budacop's been good, I bet. That shit was funny when I ran into LeBron James last night. Another seven, look, it was an 18 hour subathon. That's because there was a clerical, there was an error. All right? Bat shorts, thanks for that fucking 10 bomb.
Really do appreciate that, buddy. When I get into the city, it's literally a ghost town. Oh, man, that sucks. Cop RP is where it's at right now again, which is good. But I don't know why... Dude, Crim RP used to be my favorite. Nah, it's not Minecraft music. In 4.0, are you going to fo focus on copper crim? <laughs> you even have to ask? I'm a cop main. I don't give a fuck. I mean, really, I'm an RP main, but my favorite RP is on cop. People are lazy. Yeah, that's on that's on both sides, cop and crim. Ah, uh, Toledo Bay Sheriff's Office. May she rest in peace. Yeah, I mean, I was always a solo dolo crim, so. But that's like. None. Come on. Lock out. Am I getting phone calls? I'm trying my best not to. I believe we've been streaming for seven hours. Holy fuck. they would have been here by now what is this i don't know what this song is Oh, this is the radio in game. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, that was, um, that was, uh, that was Zytorno. What the hell is everyone? I, I thought they would have been here by now. I could have swore I said Polito gas station. Maybe I was too quick. Sounds like a motorboat? Yeah, dude, it does sound like a fucking motorboat. It actually does, dude. Yo, Ash, thanks for the 14 months. And Lisa J, thanks for the 14 months as well. I really do appreciate it, guys. Thanks for the fucking resubs.
should watch the show that livery is designed from. What, what show? The, like, gambling high school one. Oh. Love is War. I've never watched it. Is it any good? Slore Bear, thanks for the fucking gift sub, dude. The rom com. I, I haven't watched an anime like that. It's entertaining. Yeah, dude, I find most anime to be pretty fucking entertaining, if I'm being honest with you. Oh, Bass is probably too busy for me. Go ahead and watch, uh, let's watch the Cerberus thing again, dude. Who the fuck is it? Welcome to the Cerberus Police Department, a new way of policing. High-tech weaponry. Gravy, thanks for the 19. D-Walk, thanks for the 7. High-end uniform made of the most advanced materials. It's basically vibranium, but for legal reasons, we can't claim it's actually vibranium. Right, State-of-the-art uh, equipment. You just want to face me. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna scan you real quick. Uh, if you just hold still. Give him the duo with them. All right, sir. It says right here you're a pervert. Is that true? No. Cerberus doesn't believe the people protecting the city should be struggling financially. That's why Cerberus offers the Cerberus Peacekeepers free food, free gas, and free vehicle repairs. Compared to the Cerberus Peacekeepers, Troopers, looks so SDSO, Ellis Speedy, and Rangers are basically mall cops. While the world is on the brink of nuclear war, Cerberus is making preparations to leave this planet behind and establish a utopia on the moon. Axel, you did such a good job. Don't forget, Cerberus watches over you. Cerberus protects you. Cerberus loves you. Oh, here it Cerberus paper is responsible for the contents of this advertising. Hail Cerberus. Hey, how you doing, Mueller? You're the first one here. Oh, don't worry. The others arrive right behind me. Okay, I'll wait till everybody gets here and then we'll depart. Okay. Just the uh, cannoli and the uh, that over there. that on here. This is uh, a right, this gonna is double gold and the. Uh, 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 accent. You have a bit of a bloody on you. Yeah, you can take this. Yes. I don't need your goddamn dinosaur technology. That's well. All right. Still waiting on cannoli and Nova. Uh, your totally pussy's out, like Gold. The... Yeah, your pussy's out. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and try here. Don't pick anything up yet. Go ahead and take your radios. Radio obtained. No. no, actually, not. There you go, come on. Okay. Now I have it. Did, did everyone grab their radios? Yep. I don't think. Wait, got yeah. you. Yes. Yep. Yep. I did. We got them. All right, good. All right. It's time to save America. Eventually, save the world. Yeah. yeah. Fred, I'm still carrying a payload, by the way. What do you want me to do with all this? Um, don't worry. We still have our cop IDs. We'll be fine. I mean, 
have, how much payload do you have oh, on you right now? Uh, the entire delivery. Why did you bring all of them? Uh, you know, it's always good to use them. You can cycle back past my house on the way. No, because by the time we start heading back, we're going to start prepping for the operation. Ah, uh, we'll be fine. If anybody we'll comes up here, we'll just shoot them. Don't worry, I'll have my peacekeepers clean it up. Yes. All right, everybody. Today, glorious day. Today, we changed the landscape of Los Santos. Some people might say we're the terrorists. We're not terrorists. We're just ahead of the curve. Doing what we have to do to protect this nation. We have to set all sights by, by Russia on pierogi. That's the goal. Now, uh, there is a potential risk to this plan. We have to be very effective. We have to take care of it. I have to check something real fast. Okay, then play with it. God, can you imagine how perfect it would be to hit it right now? I can. My thumbs were burning. I off. can fly. An explosion. I like the, Sorry, I was checking some stuff the, out. The top of my, my thumbs, you know, like the... They call you Stumple. Okay. I mean, just call them Stubble. If any of them approach me, I'm just going to be like... What? That's, yes. that's what? my pierogi. Yes. What? You say that pierogi accent is much higher pitched, not deep like a Russian one. Yeah. Yes. Sometimes I go like cannoli yes. real quick. Yes. Like what? What? What's going on, sir? What? You guys almost here. Where? Where in Polito? We're at the clothing store. They must uh, all right. Well, we're they right must now over at the gas station. Um, what we're right, going to we'll do is we're all going to head on over to the uh, forest area, the uh, the uh, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. All right, we're we'll, we're right right down the street. We're coming right now. Okay. All right. All right. We're gonna we'll load up. We'll leave second. when you get here. All right, bye-bye. All right. What I'll do is, um, how about you guys all get loaded up, get ready to move out, and then follow me. I'm going to give them their radios. Uh, our right. okay. I'll find us a channel in a bit. Uh, we should move from the bison into the... Uh... Right. Hey, uh, uh, Stubbs, can you drive for a second? Here, let me uh, give you guys something before we leave. Okay, well, hey there, we how are you? I'm Mercury Frost. Okay, we're going to... All right, good job, Nova. I'm, I'm convinced. Real quick. Oh, shit. No, I know it's there. I'm just marking it anyway. Fuck it. Hey, she's Mercury Frost. What do you mean? That's not Nova. That's not. That's not Nova. It's Mercury Frost. You heard her. Yes. Are we good to go? Yep. Where's the fucking Granger? Where the hell's the Granger? I don't know. I swear, people are like hurting fucking cats. Oh. I cannot. Just, okay, just...
How the fuck do people drive these cars all day and not go fucking insane? That deer had it coming. <laughs> when did you try contacting me on Jacob, Afro? I didn't even, I saw that I had a missed call from an unknown number. I didn't see it pop up though. All right, everybody, follow me. Whoa! Whoa! Ooh. All right. Who's gonna be your first uh, try the drone? It's so good. Yeah, I I will try everything. I get a feel. I get a feeling that Thunder's actually gonna be cracked at this thing. He's a kid. All right. I have a good day, yeah, um, You'll say. Yeah, you I've go. never Grab tried drone, drone right? I, I can Zoom fly helicopter with a, a controller. But uh, anyway, Stubbs also wants to practice with the uh, actual detonation device. But yeah, I, sh I say, uh, Mister Mister, you have a nickname or? You... Just test the fucking shit, Thunder. Okay, I put it on a flat ground or here. Put it on the flat, you just put it on the ground. Okay, I put this on. Okay, and now I open a controller. I see, okay. Right, there you okay. go. Oh. Uh, open up a controller. Civilian. A pilot. Okay. Yeah, uh, Amber, you might want to step out. You might want to walk, step walk towards I am it. Moving. Walk, walk towards it. Yeah, well, kick it with your foot a little yeah. bit. Yeah, you gotta kick, kick it with, with your, your foot. foot. Kick, you know, no walk, feeling walk. of scuffing. Kick, kick, it, it, with your kick foot. it with your foot a little bit. Touch it. Touch the drone. Yeah, touch the... Kick it with your foot. You gotta ki kick the drone with your foot, Thunder. Oh, there, there you oh, go. Oh, so oh, someone oh, else oh. kicking it might have done it. There we oh. go. There we Master. go. If he flies up, it's gonna take him Uh-oh. Thunder. Th thunder, no, thunder, stop. Thunder, 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 stop. Thunder, 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 thunder. I'm trying to grab him. All right, I got him. I got him. All right, there we go. He's just stuck on a bending bar. Oh, he's moving it. Wow, look at that thing go. Fast. Damn, you can see that thing from fucking space. It might be a better idea to do it during the day, honestly. Yeah, it's gonna have to be daytime. What time is it? Uh, it's 3 a.m. Yeah, it'll be yeah. morning by the time. Yeah, he looks pretty good with this thing. The fuck? Yeah. What? We are cops, Siren? Yeah, we are. We yeah, are cops. Crossing the bridge now. Yeah, but we're, we're not right doing now. We're not doing anything illegal. Don't worry about we're just, it. Listen, just we're just playing with the drones. We're just, having, we're just playing with drones. Is this a no-fly zone? No, no. It's, it's a, it's a, a bridge. drone. We're, we're like in a fight park. It wasn't a fight park. Up the national forest. Doesn't seem like it descends nah. that quick. Well, isn't that a good thing? Wouldn't you wanna? Wouldn't you want nah, to? You, like... want, you want it to fly in quick. You don't want them to have time to react. They all have AKs out. You want to? You want to be maybe we, quick. For the front gate, maybe if we have it at a low altitude and we just because it moves forwards fast, right? I mean, yeah, it could just literally just fly low and then go around the block and then just hit the gate dead on. Then well, yeah, we could literally have it come from behind the Templar Hotel, bang through the alleyway, and then just straight into them. Okay, all-knowing. All-knowing. 
Someone grab oh. it. Someone grab it. Oh. Grab the drone. Is I cannot. Uh, uh, I cannot. I'm trying. It's so slippery. I am uh, uh. Oh. Uh, uh. Have it. Oh, it's Maybe here. Maybe don't get it. Let me get it in case it's okay. not coughing. There's a lot of fucking frogs. Okay, I have heavy. All right, perfect. All right, let's head back. Gotcha. Yeah. And uh, when I use uh, controlling, I have to use a uh, hand, uh, how you say, uh, mousey mouse as well as uh, controlling for good control. I have not of using single control. I use uh, one control. How big do you think? The, hmm. I find uh, you can do a straight line faster. Uh, descending, as you say, uh, Monsieur Freddy's. I have gone French of all of a sudden. I don't know yeah, why. You have, you have but, uh, turned into a Frenchman. You did do that. Yeah, uh, we it, were. It, descending is, is very slow. Descending is slow. That's why it's... um. Yes. Uh, we might we might only be able to hit one target, and that's the gate and, well, the, and the hell. No, no, we can hit the the gate and the can helicopter. I play with it, sir? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and give it to gold. It's battery life. It's it's already at thirty eight percent. What? What? Yeah. What? That that it's a thirty eight percent battery. Was that at one hundred when you started using it? I didn't check. I will apologize. Cause uh, I also have a drone, but it's inside of MRPD. So That's we have fine. to retrieve just, it. Yeah, you just go in there and retrieve it. It's not like, it's not that hard for us to go we, retrieve we're, it. We're acting like we're far more suspicious than we are. We're just literally just... Yeah, we're drone pilots. coming in and out of our job. Bunch of drone enthusiasts, you know? What's yeah, wrong with that? Just cops coming in and out of our job. Oh, oh, oh no. That thing, oh, that thing's cartwheeling. Oh, that thing caught... Oh, what the oh, oh, shit! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, gold. Oh, my God. One of the drones. That's yep. goddamn good. 100%. We got our pilots. Damn good. Oh. I think what we'll end up doing is, um, Thunder will take out, uh, Thunder will take out the, uh, the gate, and then what we can do is have gold take out the helicopter. Question, how, how do we detonate? Uh, so... Uh, I spoke to a guy earlier today who uh, provided me with uh, four sets of explosives. Uh, how they work is that there'll be an individual uh, who um, has to throw that onto the drone, or just basically just like tape it on as best you can, allow it to fly, and then uh, you'll have a small detonator device uh, that you have to click as soon as it's in position. So it'll be someone like... Uh, We'll basically have a buddy system here. This uh, sounds like Battlefield 3. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, you played that game. You're, I fucking so, love you confident it. gold. What's the battery life at, Thunder, by the way? Thunder can't communicate. That's the thing while he's oh, so that, that, so that, so that point. Sorry, I can't get it. Yeah, get we, get the fucking... Them. Stand in... All right, why don't you block its path? Block its path instead of chasing it. Blo block its path! Alright, are you confident? Uh, yes. Alright, alright. What's, what's the battery at on... What's the battery at? 36. So it seems like... It, uh, yeah, I mean... Duh. Battery. Okay, she said it's at 36. So we must have got that one and it was low. So, my question is, who got the experience with the, uh, the, uh, boom, boom sign? Uh, um, I think, I mean, we have, we have two we can play with. I mean, yeah, well, I mean, we have you three. Have, you have one as well, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I have yeah, one so as we well. Have, we have five total, so. Yeah, we have five total, uh, so we can play with three, and then, um, uh, I guess if, uh, Stubbs and I, or do you either of you two want to try it? I'm comfortable not because I got everything. Like I, I, I I've done my I bit. I think the more experienced people should probably uh, do it. <laughs> I mean, we listen. We can none work. None of us in, have ever. All right, here's yeah, the thing: we can work in tandem teams. Like we can have a pilot and then also someone whose job is to detonate. 
I have a statement. Yeah. You know how you wanted to use only one? I think we should still try to do two. two yeah, we are. Uh, because even if, okay, because even if they go after one, then it distracts from no, the other one. No, I just thought the battery was going to die and we didn't have a backup. Okay. I, I have an, also an idea that if we take out the helicopter, they're going to rush to the helicopter pad. Maybe we don't go for the gate and we go for damage control. You know, we collateral damage. After the helicopter blows, oh, we take out the people. <laughs> fix the helicopter. Hunger Games when they yeah. blow up the medics, huh? A sniper of, of sniper in the woods, you know, well, shoot to wound. So you the mean problem. hit the gate and then hit the helicopter when they're going to get on? Reverse. It? No, Reverse. I mean hit hit the helicopter and they all rush up there to see the helicopter that's being blown up and then we blow all them up. Um, no, they're Ooh. gonna be on alert. I want it yeah, to be a be I want it to be a coordinated attack. I want them both right. to go in and then within just a few seconds, both of them have been done their job. So you're I literally just gonna. Put the fucking thing down on the roof, all right? Um, uh, you're gonna put the thing down on the roof across. All right, so hold on real quick. Let me just take a look. All right, so let me pull up my map. Uh, fantastic yeah, place wall, is the fantastic place the, on top of the roofs of that building. May be the best spot because we can hit the gate pretty easily mm -hmm. and hit the helipad fairly easily as well. And then from there on, uh, it's it's the job is to exfil out those people during all the fray. But it's it's a lot easier to do. So can you put the drone down, put the bomb on it yourself, and then fly it? Uh. Oh, what's what's up, Gold? Okay, so random side thing that might be an issue. If we have one bomber and one flyer, when uh, we're flying the drone, we get so focused that we can't speak. Yeah. So the bomber's gonna have to be able to have eyes on when the drone gets there, so they can detonate. Exactly. So, well, yeah. well, what if you have pilot bomber and number three, somebody with bonos like I've got? Yeah, that like, might the be. The drone's there. Go for detonation. That's right. pretty sick. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I mean. Okay. Sorry, Happy back to what you were saying. Yes, yeah. so we have two teams yeah. of three basically. Three. I mean, it's gonna be hard to exfil out six people because. The main thing is here, the less people that we have, like if you're able to fly it and detonate it, that's ideal. Like you can literally fly it in, boom, hurry up and detonate the shit. And then the rest of us can be joining the fray of the cops trying to deter being like, we saw it come from the the north or we saw it come from the west or the east. You know, so that way- Do you not worry about the cops being like, you guys aren't on duty. No, we're gonna be on duty. We're gonna oh, blend. Really? Yeah, we're gonna blend in. I mean, what we're gonna oh, do is fantastic. the people are gonna be in. So here's the thing, right? We're gonna be on duty, the majority of us. Then we're gonna have the two pilots. So five of us mm -hmm. are gonna be on the ground, making sure the area is clear, making sure the area is ideal, and then uh, we're gonna have it be hit. And then we're gonna be able to exfil them out, and then it's good as new. Uh, for a position for where we could have the uh. The drone go uh, instead of Templar Hotel, which is a kind of uh, high janky spot. We could have one of the operatives just uh, be on Olympic Freeway. We have a vehicle waiting up there, and then as soon as it goes off, we just drive whatever direction on Olympic Freeway. Yeah, but that's uh, more of a chance of uh, being seen. Right by, by the GG, I think. You know? Yeah, it's right okay. by the GG. And we don't Arnie know what the range, I mean, the range on that might be pushing it from Olympic to Little Moscow. True. You, always, you also got to consider yeah. the range. Yeah, I think that range might be a bit far. Also, the other thing is I, I'm unsure, and that's why we probably have to test it, if we can detonate while we're flying because of the way that the remote works. And we also got to think of the exit strategy. Do you just drop the controllers when you're up there and then exfil out, or do you carry the controllers with you so there's no evidence i mean we don't want anyone to try and fingerprint anything either so i would carry and then throw it into the They're goddamn dumpster. ocean yeah Our carry ocean, it and then throw so. it into yeah. the ocean blow it up all right let me check stuff because i have shit set up to monitor these fucks radio and we bonos if we try to stay paired up what if can the 
be dying. Well, honestly, if we have two bombers and I position myself as a scouter, then if I'm on the radio, yeah, but then I can just come on duty though. To all the bombers. All right. All right, so here's the one thing. We do have three drones, and we have a lot of explosives, so we can actually use this as a practice drone. Okay. Let's do it here. Yeah. All right. Um, Gold, do you want to try it, or Thunder, do you want to try it? Um, I don't really it? have experience with bombs, sir. Just, you know, more technology. I mean, all yeah. you're doing is sticking the bomb to it and okay. then flying it. So just go ahead, pick it up. Here, give her a uh, max. Or, or hold on. Let her grab the drone first. Okay, yeah, you grab the drone. We do the drone on the on the ground, okay. on the level down there. Yeah, yeah we can. Come Let's on. Do it on level Perfect. All right. I think we don't have that bison. We've been a good target. Okay. Give me the bomb. Yeah, Max, give her the bomb. How's it going? Five eighty drone relady. Oh, okay. I'll never call yourself out like that, although I know it was you, Thunder. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can sit normally. Do something to stick it to. It should normally be a little uh, button the on deer. the detonator. Go down about the, uh, 20. Go, go. G. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. it's the, it's the well, G one, After you've thrown it, that's the thing that's going to set it off, no? Oh, sorry. Oh, here, go, here, go, go about excited. 20, 30 feet away from us, just in case there's an accident. Okay. No one hunting here, is there? Oh, what does it matter? Yeah. <laughs> It'll be the target. There is. They're too busy. All right, so she's actually physically throwing it on the. Well, run. Right, here, wait, here. I run away from it real quick as well, though, in case. No, it's fine. It's fine. Why is it clicking like that? Fine. Is that normal? Does it, does it always click it. like that? She hit the drone. Yeah, it's on the drone. Oh my fucking god. Okay, get it so away wait. from you. He's the one with the detonator right now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh my oh fucking my god. god! So uh, grab the drone. It's uh, hold on. It's <clears throat> maybe we can repair it. Freedom, sir. The price of a drone. In That's a, broken. In it's in pieces. What? I don't think I. I don't think he's recovering that. You can try. Yeah. It. No, no. It's in pieces. I didn't realize it. It's in fucking what? pieces. All right. Let's get the hell. No. All right, everybody. Let's go back up to the cars, Whoa. and we're let's get up to, uh, back in the cars. We're gonna go meet at my house. Okay. Okay. We went. I don't know where your house is. Secondary bomber. I uh, meet at Polito PD, and then we'll go there from there. Right out front. Actually, no. Just follow me. Fuck it. Here, here. Come on, everybody. Uh, follow me. Okay. Everybody, oh, follow right. me. Dude, Condoli doesn't to... know how to say it, but he's wondering if we're gonna give them a one-liner before we do it. I'm already taking care of that. Don't worry. Okay. All right, all right. Cool. Probably like ego offended. Like, oh. That's terrible. What? Help it! Helping me! Helping me! Initiation. I'll make sure they're warned OOC of what we're doing. This car was a gift. Dude, this um, this role play is actually pretty fucking immersive. <laughs> OCL initiation. <laughs> I 
I can't wait to see people bitch about it, though. No one involved will bitch about it, but, um... What's the, you know, you know what I mean. Damn right. Yeah, hey, welcome to my humble abode, everybody. Beautiful. Nice little house. Beautiful. It's a piece of shit. Oh, okay. Well, we're just, just being nice. All right, we're unlocked here. Let's go head on in. All right, make yourself at home. I got um, a bed in there. I got a bed and. But yeah, I I I I don't have place. It's a nice row. Um, hold on. Two, two beds. Uh, beds and TVs. That's really all you need. You know. Do you all... do you and Angel sleep in different sleep in different beds? No, no, no. She um we sleep in here. Uh, sometimes oh, though the red lighting and stuff uh, hurts my eyes and she snores a lot. And then sometimes I go in in here to the other well, headaches. They happen there. Yeah, this is the guest room mainly though. Oh, okay, but it, um, I get you guys better. something to eat, but uh, or drink, just but I don't have plates or just... cups. Feel free to drink from the faucet. Oh shit! Um, in the bathroom. Uh, yeah, feel free the... to drink th from oh, the faucet okay. in the bathroom if you're thirsty. Right. At least you got um, the TV set up, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, you gotta have your entertainment. Um, okay. So, uh, good job, uh, Gold. Can you tell us about the whole thing there? It seemed like you hit it and then you hesit You took a while to detonate. Well, okay, so um, I can't, since I have to use my controller, I mean, not the, the remote controller with two hands, I have to physically put down the con uh, remote controller to detonate the bomb with one of my hands. So oh, that's why we okay. need a secondary bomber. So when you saw the hesitation, it was me putting the remote controller down so I could detonate. Shit. Yeah. Huh. So we definitely need to, because if I put the controller down, then the drone starts dropping, etc. Okay, so, um, what do you guys think of this plan? Uh, two of the cops on the ground will be in charge of, uh, we'll go up there and put the shit on the drones. Or yep. should we just, just, mm -hmm. um, so that way there's less people that we gotta exfil out and more people to, you know, sh 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 I think, I think if we have two people that we need to exfil out and that's the pilots only, uh, we have no worry whatsoever in regards to, uh, uh, exfil. We just, uh, I don't know. We just. Well, we're gonna have to people. wait for the perfect opportunity that the area is completely clear. So, I think what's gonna have to be is that you guys are probably gonna have thirty seconds to a minute for. So it's just gonna be two teams of two, um, probably on top of Fantastic Place. One team will take out the heli. One team will take out the checkpoint. One person's on detonation duty, the other one's on piloting duty. It sounds like that's going to be the way to make it the best and, and the quickest and cleanest. Um, what we m might have to do is, oh no, if I stage a 10-13 and pull everyone away, I'm going to be right in the crossfire. You know, so. Are you? I would imagine so. I mean, just in case, I mean, Copper knows, and if the troopers are in bed with the Russians, then Copper will have all the ev have evidence she needs to kind of push a major investigation on me. But they'll still have no fucking proof. <laughs> um, I mean, if she knows, then it happens anyways, regardless of the 13. She's... Right, never mind. Just wait for the uh, 7 o'clock daily shootout at Little Soul. Mm, no, that's in bad faith. <laughs> no, because then we'll be not respond. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think the rooftop of Fantastic Place is too far away. You've, that's it's where Fantastic take, Place like, is. Twenty to forty seconds to get off the rooftop to the ground. And that's the place that's right a next lot to Maze Bank, right? Get overhead. Fantastic Place is a street directly across the street from the Russian embassy. I mean, then we could just launch one from the fucking alleyway. And, and the other, Why not so, the rental spot? Nah, it's too far. It's way too far. What, Shit. A, what about the uh, the little underpass on Legion Square on the eastern side? Little, so what spot? So Strawberry Southbound in Legion Square, you have the little tiny tunnel. Huh. Yeah. That 
that could work. The reason why Fantastic Place is easiest is because it can literally just go straight over and hit the helicopter. Mm -hmm. So it makes well, what it. About they they might the, see you going up the their, back alley, though. I think you need to be on the ground of Adam's apple behind Fantastic Place. And well, the thing go, is, fly and, the drone and, over the building. Well, see, here's the thing, though, too. We need to be able to have good visual on the spot for the spot for the spotter. I mean, Can I ask a question? Yeah. <laughs> Anyone tried actually sitting in a car and operating a drone? Uh, it doesn't go as well as you think it is because uh, the radius is kind of where you set the drone down initially. Uh, I know that sounds a little odd. If I remember correctly, I haven't used a drone. I mean, we could change before. the plan. We could have. All right, this is some real CIA shit. If we do this, okay. We could have a, add an additional drone target if we used one of the bombs on the car. So let's say rent a car, go up there to the checkpoint, have the bomb on the car. Ah, fuck you! You know, get into a whole scene and just park it right at the front gate and be like, tow this! And then get the hell out of there. And then, bam. It's blown up. A mm -hmm. cop will pick them up that. around the corner and exfil them out. And then we have uh, a C4 hit the helicopter, and then another one can just hit a random location and be detonated. Isn't, isn't like, the main problem with that, like, they'll say, like, oh, well, this cop picked them up, and then, no, you know what be, I'm saying? They'll be out of sight. They'll be out of sight by the time they detonate. They'll literally just put, put the car there and then leave. They'll literally crash the car into the gate, pretend to be drunk. And then just leave. What if they just mag dump those, sir? Yeah, they, they are pretty keen to doing that. Mm. Got a, a fucking bet in a tracksuit. Stick with the drone plan. I guess you're right. Yeah, I, I think we're putting someone's variables. face at risk if we, uh, yeah. The homeless people we can get? The thing is, is if... Realistically, right? The drone plan, if you, if you hit it simultaneously, the only people that are going to know they were hit by a drone is the Russians, right? There's no chance PD will know that they got hit yeah, by a drone. I think we need PD there. That's why we have the people on the ground. No, no, but what I'm, say what I'm saying is, like, as the soon people as people are there for the yeah. PD response, that's why, it is, that's why we're going to have people around the area, because the PD is going to respond, and we're the first on scene, so we're leading the scene. We can say, oh, we saw something come from, we can misdirect the rest of the PD. Just saw a fucking drone f uh, fly from Legion Square. Meanwhile, everybody's getting down from that fucking rooftop. Um, the real now, question uh, is, do we need parachutes or do we need grapple guns or do, do we need anything like that? That's just gonna add, that's gonna add a little bit. I'm gonna check one of my cameras real quick while you guys think. Hmm. Uh, there's another building. Com having to uh even exfil out we just get them on top of buildings where we've hot dropped them maybe 10 15 minutes prior what about would, would the the bank would the bank building not be good enough on top of the bank the one that goes up might be out of range, out of range. Yeah, what about range. psychata's billboard because you can sneak that into the alleyways then <sighs> you're gonna get spotted there by pd yeah, you're, you're yeah that, get that's a real question uh, the thing about fantastic places, I haven't been on that rooftop in a while. So maybe what we should do now is, all right, how about this? Let's put everything away for now. Plan's not going anywhere. If we don't end up doing it today, we're prepared to do it tomorrow. And what we'll do is uh, me and Stubbs and some other officers will just get air one up. Everyone else will be kind of be patrolling around in that area. You can look for sites. We'll be on our uh, standard radio channels instead of the PD one. Okay, and we'll kind of formulate the... We have the plan of attack. What we need to do now is we need to get the exfil strategy. Yeah, I agree. I think uh, if you want to do that, we should take out L1. And uh, we should honestly just case the entire like block around the embassy. Get photos, look over it, yep. study it, plan out. What we'll just say is it needs to be flawless. We'll just say we're doing a PD operation just around the perimeter of Little Moscow with Air One or something. Nobody will ask any nope. questions, and that gives us perfect ability to fly around that area and be mm -hmm. completely fine. Just say you're going out flying. I mean, you're just gonna question that. 
Yeah, it's uh, you know, it's just good uh, to have a reasoning. You know, I mean, a lot of people are in bed with these guys right now. So I mean, mm -hmm. you know, the Rangers, all state officers appear to be friendly with the Russians and actually pleading like their, loyalty uh, to them. There's more developments today. They built a wall. Huh? So they do yesterday, do that. They yesterday do do there that. was a ramp on Strawberry Avenue and uh, Atlee Street, and people were jumping inside. You know, the uh, the northwest side of that compound, there's like a low building. It's maybe like three or four stories high. Well, as of today, that building is eight to nine stories high. They doubled the height of a building in a day. Russian engineering, <laughs> ingenuity. Yep. Yeah, that's something else. All right, so our uh, radio channel that we're going to use um, is, let's use 863.5. 863.5 and I want you guys to keep this written down. Keep this memorized. Yeah, all right, old chick. Thank you. Da. All right, radio no police jack. comes on the radio. Da. All right, perfect. Privet. All right, don't use um yeah, we should yeah, be fine. No we shouldn't use any of our real names on the radio. Mm. Names. Code names. I'll be Jaguar. Ah, oh, shit. I can't use. I use that one all the time. That, that one's already better. Yeah, one, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be Spunk Monkey. No, it needs what? to be one word. One word, 580 Master Spunk. Oh, I know. Spunk. Right, so Bash, ev everybody in. know that, uh, you know, Thunder's a big guy, right? And it's ironic because he's big. We should Bash. call him something like opposite of big. So let's call him Slim. Okay. Got it. Yep, you're All right. Slim. All right. You're Slim. slim. You got no uh, thumbs. Ghoul. You got your fingers. I love green little ghouls. Ghoul. Nova, what are you going to be? Um... I don't fucking know. Make something up. Gray. Like opposite from a Nova. Gray. What about just gray? Gray. The gray. 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 Yeah, gray. Like it. Like it. <laughs> okay. It's opposite of a Cataloni. Cataloni. Pizza. Pizza. Pie. Yeah. Pie. Pie. Like that. Okay, so cannolis pie. Double. What are you, Stubbs? Be long hair. It's the opposite of stubble. Oh, that'll long? be mine. Okay, so long, long. hair. Okay. All it's right. Two, How about two, just hair? Just hair. hair. One word. Hair. 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 All right. Okay. What's well, opposite? Gold. Silver. Lead. Not even opposite. Lead. No. Lead. Opposite of gold is just sh you know shit. shit? Okay, my <laughs> code name shit. That's you know your my name. Your code name to be shit. I mean, it seemed like a general consensus. Sure. Drop the All shit. Right. Okay, okay, so, um... Toretti for Pred. That's too Am obvious. I... I'll be... What's the opposite of a Jaguar? We should Ant call you I'll be... Panther. Ooh. What about Derp, sir? Derp? Huh. All right. I'm gonna take a leak real quick. Derp. No, 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 not derp. How about. The opposite of pride. How about. So well, you're the leader. Mantis. What Mantis. What kind of fucked up name is Mantis. So Mantis. Anyway? Mantis. I like Mantis. that. I like, I like that. that. That's, that's a stupid name, but I like it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh -huh. So here's the thing get all these names written down if you have it. Okay. I have Thunder right, Slim, I... Nova's Gray, Cannoli's Pie, Stubbs Hair, Gold is Shit, Pred is Mantis. Wow. I. What's Max again? He What's said that? leak before goal. he left, so I vote he's, for leak. He's goal. He's goal. 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 It's gonna be very difficult. Goal. People's accents, because people say goal. it. Goal. Yeah, it sounds like they're saying goal. goal. Yeah, it's goal. 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 Okay. Goal. Just say goal. Right, so, um, goal. G man. Go ahead. What I'm gonna do is I might go on patrol a little bit. Uh, because I don't really get too much time to patrol. Do you guys want to come up with the exfil plan, and then I'll be in the area, and I'll be on radio, or what do you guys want to do? I, I think, think we, we should scout I, the area. Yeah, scout. 
Yeah. All right. I'll so I'll be on the ground. Stubbs, you want to be in the sky? You're a far. You're the best pilot by by far. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna, what what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna patrol around the. Uh, I'm gonna patrol around little Moscow. Should okay. some of us just like walk in the area like this, or should we all, you know? No, no, we're, we're, we're gonna opinion. go to Polito PD, change and get our cars and get back out on the okay. street. All right. I think uh, I think the best thing to do is do the X ex fill plan today, and then convene tomorrow and execute when we've had time to divulge the X fill. All plan. right. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And I think right, we should aim for probably like one or two hours after the meeting. So that's kind of like yeah. prime Russian time. Yeah, that's prime Russian time to hit. I get here. Ooh. I just got another. I just got a fucking Jimmy Neutron bla brain blast, dude. Oh, fuck, mm -hmm. I'm not around tomorrow. Imagine, so. um, oh, you're not. No, I it's wait, Thursdays. You, you take days off. No, yeah, he takes Thursdays uh, on off. Mondays and Thursdays, uh, I, uh, I've got movie night with Moosebeard. We like to, you know, we oh, like to so watch cute. movies. Yeah. Yeah. These movies, no, we're just, little we're just a two, two guys, you know, two men watching things. Is this like watching a moonskin race? Two guys, one movie. He keeps talking about like midgets that he keeps watching on TV or something. Yeah, we know. really like to watch things themed around small people like dwarves. Oh, nice. Yes, yeah, pretty Still much. Guys, the, you know? It's always the Hobbit, pretty much every week. Oh, the Hobbit is uh, today, the worst of the yep. Tolkien verse. I like to separate it from the, the initial three and see it in its own genre as shit. But you know, more enjoyable that way. Oh, if you don't like compare the Star Wars sequel three. trilogy. Right, I, I hate to go back off topic here, but. We're gonna get off topic. So, Stubbs can't make it tomorrow. Yeah. So that means that it has to be today. And or then Friday, day. I get off. I'm I'm off as well. Yeah, Actually, I'm I can not gonna be, be around. Yet. I'll be around. I'm not be around uh, Friday or Saturday. Then maybe we should just do it. Well, let's just do the damn thing. Marching favors the bold. Cause how how the hell are we gonna not? All do right. It well then. Stubbs? All right. Here, here's the thing. Okay. So let's get to pl planning the exfil. Then everybody's on the radio. All right. And then uh, I'll be on the ground. Stubbs will be in the sky. Uh, we'll have a couple mm -hmm. more people on the ground. We'll have a few people in the chopper with stubs. And then I'll um, be in the chopper with stubs. All right, but just remember this too. If you're on the ground, mm -hmm. don't be don't be caught lacking by talking too loudly and abruptly. Like wait till you're in a good position to talk. Last thing we need is someone on the ground saying something with a car next to a car of uh, with Marty Banks and GG members in it or some shit. I think I should uh, probably be at your side because the Russians always see me next to you. Okay. All right. That means uh, so I I'm probably with uh, Amber, and then Cannoli. I guess you're the other detonator that's going to be with uh, uh, what's his name, Spunk. Slim. Well, maybe we get Slim. Like, me and Nova, oh, like me Nova, and maybe Cannoli on the ground, and then the rest of you in the chopper, since you're probably going to be the detonation teams and the pilots, because you you guys okay. are going oh, to have to plan the getaway. Hmm. So for the get, it's gonna be, uh, Max and Amber, and then Cannoli and Thunder. Those are our two teams. Well, uh, what's stopping us from actually just like finding somewhere very low to the ground to get this set off that's in cover? Yeah, that's just... we'll scout that out. Yeah, we let, can... let's just get moving. Let's yeah. just get moving. All right, I'll see you. Uh, I'll see uh, you if guys. We go on back duty. on duty doing the. We're gonna need a PD channel. Um, no, just keep, keep the like, radios. You, just keep the well, radio. No, it doesn't work. Doesn't work. I'll just put the put your PD radio in the. Oh, standard radio. Put your PD radio, radio, radio in the fucking glove box. Hey, what do you mean? Oh, wait, so right. the standard radio yeah, doesn't work right. when you're in a helicopter. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, 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 no when, when we're, we're on duty. Alike. Yeah, it's, well, I was wrong. No, when we're on duty, you just go back to the radio channel again on the on the standard radio. You'll be fine. Yep. I do it all the time. Damn, this car handles so fucking good. It, it it might not be as fast as it used to, but it, it might have the best steering. Well, plans always get overcomplicated when you have uh, a lot of people involved, but also makes it better. You have. Oh. Nielsen, uh, Minerva's telling me you have to just lock down the entire property. That way you can't, you know, get...
get in. Radio check. Thank you. Jesus Christ. I can pick him up. Oh, my, my terrorists. My terrorists. My little terrorists. My little terrorist cops. Oh. All right. Well, uh, good to know. Then it is, let me take a look, 863.5. Radio check. Stand two. All right, just making sure they work. Who the fuck is the private group? Oh, I got a fucking... This entire room. Thing is, though, we might not be able to do it today anyway. But if you wait to do it... Didn't talk on the radios. Let me just play a game of telephone. Hey! Nova, that you? Hey, what's up? Here, come with me, yeah, Nova. Me. Is there, where's everybody at? Hearing back up? Uh, upstairs, I think. Hang on, okay. I'm having a radio issues. Alright, so, um, I think what we should do is just scrap the radio thing while we're on duty, and this, it, the plan gets planned from the sky, and then what we can do is we can just reconvene on, like, a PD channel and then go from there. I think using yeah, an encrypted good. channel is better. Like, we could use, like, 13 or something like that. Yeah, no, we, just, we just we just won't talk details. We'll just say, hey, we got to have a meeting, and we'll mm -hmm. we'll have the talks in person. Where's uh, everybody else at? Where's I think they're just uh, grabbing their gear and shit from the locker. Do you want right. us to be on 13 right now? Yeah, just go ahead and switch it to 13. An encrypted radio channel. We don't have to worry about anything. All right. Um, Stubbs, what we're just going to do is we're just going to be on channel 13. Just doing like, we're just going to basically be on like patrol. And then what we'll do is we'll meet up and we'll have a talk after you guys survey the sky for a little bit. And maybe change some uh, plans of uh, some points to go in from. All right, sounds good. All right, where's Thunder at? Let's uh, get him up to speed. Me and Nova will start heading down and uh, being uh, on the ground in little outside little Moscow. Yeah, I'm grabbing the other two. Do you want to go in our usual gear, the general gear, or not? We're going in this gear. Okay. Ten two. Three oh nine in route, little Moscow. Cops left me. Still. Might be a situation going on down there now. I think they're trying to steal the bat. Really? Let me check my cameras. I got cameras set up there. Oh, it might might not be. There actually might be something going on there. There's only one guy at the gate, and I could hear on the microphone that someone was c climbing up their uh, their ladder. Okay. That's another thing we got to be worried about is if they have someone in one of their watchtowers. They generally tend to get pretty lazy. Oh yeah, they're well. Yeah, I mean they're Russian alcoholics. They're not really known exactly. for, you know, not being lazy. I am envisioning something really bad, by the way. What's that? <laughs> the bear? Hey, hey, that barrel blown the shit. What, what, it might cause the bear to go psycho. It might do. It might be a favor, right? Good. 
Oh my god. Imagine. Uh, Imagine. Yeah, the, the bear just goes on a fucking killing rampage. Exactly, the long tail. That's really good for us. <laughs> That's really fucking good, actually. Can bears get rabies? Yeah. They can. Everything can get rabies. Pretty sure. Yeah, I don't fucking know. I would assume. Why wouldn't a bear be able to get rabies? Maybe it'd be like that film, 27 Days Later. 28 Days Later. You missed a day. Well, it's like, it's like 28 days, 28 hours, 28 weeks. It's, I fucking went on forever. No, it's 28 days and then it's 28 months. I like those movies. Oh, weeks, whatever. How's the shift been, Nova? You sleep yet? You tired, bitch? I can already tell you're starting to get so oh, sleepy, Nova. No, my my time is finished, Fred. My time oh. is finished. My three days is up. Oh, maybe just maybe you're just tired from watching Grace and fuck your wife. Nope. Fred. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. My brain. Hey, how's my favorite Russian embassy doing? Jesus. What fuck are they we, shooting at? Uh, we had the incident. Oh, what's the incident? Uh, prisoner. Prisoner? Prisoner? Oh, tell me about it. Group come by saying they have prisoner fugitive from Russia. Wait, so you mean to tell me that somebody kidnapped a Russian person is holding them prisoner, or they kidnapped a Russian prisoner? The uh, what? Neither. You misunderstand. N neither. All right. Uh, then make me. Then help me understand. Maybe there's a, you know, discrepant language barrier. It's, uh, it's, uh, don't worry, it's not a problem. Sounds like a problem. I mean, you say there's a yeah. fucking incident, and then you say there's not. Oh, it's a fucking bear. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. it's okay, we're not, we're not coming in, Jesus Christ, hold the bear. Jesus. Oh, shit. Yeah. Right, it's okay, look, it's okay. It's alright, look, it's me. It's your friend. How does a fucking hey. bear get that oh, big? Oh, Jesus. Don't let it eat me, for God's sake. Oh, Jesus. Back back the fuck up, Boris. Just stay still, Fred. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. God. It's from its ass against me, Fred. It's licking my feet. We have intruder. Oh, you got an intruder. No, nah, nah. it is all yours. No, 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 no not in truth. Oh. It is a gift for us, actually. <sighs> he did not try good, to good break bad, in, so bad. no oh, treason. Da, da. Oh, he didn't he try to break in. Us, no, 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 yeah, no treason. What the hell we got here? Well, he was given to us by yeah. Mozini gang. He said Bobby, Bobby da, Hoshka? Dadushka. Bobby, oh, Dadushka. Bobby was given to to Russians by Maldini gang. We do not want. Dadushka. To... Parachute, parachute. Shoot, parachute again. No beef. Okay, we got in Invasion. upstairs. Invasion, guys, get go, go, I cover, get go. I'll get you medical, Bobby Babushka. <sighs> <sighs>
309, I need medical here outside a little Moscow. Bah, by the bab, I can't. We should have units that are just kind of stationed there. Let me check. Yeah, hey, they're we inside. Did. Oh, shit. Boris, let's be. Alright, Boris, get, Boris. get in, Boris. We're getting Boris attacked, me. Boris. Boris, we're getting attacked. Get in. Echo one Holy or echo fuck. Damn, that made a fast as fuck. That motherfucker's fast as shit. Yeah, my motherfucker is there. Bobby. Oh, I'm. Sorry, please leave. Oh, hey. You're being attacked. Okay, nah, we can talk about it. Shit. Yes, leave. Does he have a gun? Oh, hey, That's Carmella. So cool. Oh, and Mr. Jingtai. Yeah, what's going on, man? We're good. We're no, you good. wouldn't happen to be plotting please, any please terrorism, would you? Me? No, you think I do shit like that? You're right, It'd Bobby. be a real shame if you did. <laughs> yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? It'd be a real shame if I had to throw you away. Rush B. Rush B. Yeah, well, you'd I'd have to really catch me hate first. That. Rush B. A real, real, oh, real my shame. God. That, that never oh, works, Rush Bobby. B. It never works. I mean, I don't think you oh, could right. catch a cold, man, so I don't think you got a chance to catch a uh, Penis, penis 309 to penis 64. Papa 64. Oh, Papa, my bad. I forgot my phonetics. Papa 64, I'm outside little Moscow. I have an injured individual. Man, y'all uh, fucking Bobby up like that? Oh, uh, like we didn't fuck him up. Got another one. Duh, parachuted in. Oh, it's Tessa. Tessa! Yeah, fuck Tessa. What? Tessa's a fucking bitch. Stop it, Fred. Whoa, you gotta stand united. Oh, now more than I'm ever. Not, I'm not united with the fuck the Rangers. Rush me. What happened? Oh, hey, it's Rush Kiki me. Pendragon. Hey, how you doing? Hope you don't catch a cold here. Uh, I think you got two oh aggro God. got uh, taken out before they were able to hit B. Fred. Oh. We have to talk about something. Lock second door, comrade. All right. Or, or shit, get Boris through. Right, let me get Let's him real quick. No, but keep an eye on him. All right, Fred. Okay. With the utmost seriousness, sir. Okay. I don't think we should be getting used to or normalizing the shit that's been happening the past few days, especially today. You getting blown up shouldn't be a nonchalant thing. No one should be fucking entertaining to a comedic value. Wait, I got blown up? The Russians right didn't you get blown up in the jet today? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got shot down. It was terrible. Oh, my God, Fred. Oh, God. Uh, regardless, I don't think anyone should be normalizing it. We don't have the capacity to fight the... the uh, That's where you're that wrong. Seen. Okay? Trust Listen. me, everything will be taken care of. Well, can I hear it's your not... voice if I'm allowed to know? Nobody's allowed to know. Okay. Because this place is going to... I have a feeling Let's just say it's going to become a war our zone. missiles just got a lot better. Huh. Is that what we have, though? Better missiles? That's all you need in war is missiles. Okay. Oh right. I just think we should be doing the whole army thing, like, okay, sooner okay. rather than later. You know what I mean? No, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. It's getting I taken did. care of. I did. All right. Get well, you can get uh, I just care a lot, okay? Oh, there's nothing wrong with caring. Why is he so mad? Why is he so mad? Hey, do you guys got Me enough? Where's alone. the parachuting uh, Percy at? See you again. Are you able to get that guy who was parachuted in there? I do believe we have him Replicant, the state yes. your fucking function. Replicant, state your function. Escape! Uh, stand by. Oh, that's a, uh, your functions uh, that escape. All right. 1041107 at 1202. The fuck did you just say? Uh, fuck you, Pillbot. Oh, God. Oh. oh, God. That's what you get, Pillbot. Oh, God. Grand Marshal? Yeah. Uh, I just had a, a text message. You might want to see what? this. Uh, what is it? Uh, uh, you just need it. You just need it. Where am I needed? Uh, what's your call it? 
Am I just needed fucking everywhere? Should I start cloning myself? I don't fucking know. Listen, just call Stub. Oh, okay. Yeah, Stub will, Stub will's great. And one, you know, it's true to that word about needing something is Stub will. He's not answering his phone. He's, he's not Martha answering Hale. his phone. Martha Halen on the radio then. Uh, 309, I'm on frequency. Stubbs. Hey, we're on freak. Yeah, Fred's on freak. Yeah, it's just... You guys hit those gunshots maybe five or ten minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, someone tried parachuting into little Moscow. Yeah, they're on a red alert. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a, it's just not a good time down here. These poor people, little Moscow, are being harassed nonstop by, uh, gang members. It's terrible. They're getting harassed so much by these other gang members that they've got people on the Temple Hotel rooftop, the rooftop to the north of that, the one across from MRPD. Sorry, sir. These guys uh, have to be on the highest some alert with their are trying to parachute to into, uh, Ready to shoot any embassy. gang members that they may try They were wearing, something. uh, Russian tracksuits. Hey, 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 who the hell is this guy? I feel sorry for the gang member that tried He's to He's a right friend now. of embassy. He's afternoon. Oh, good after fucking noon. Let's just say he likes to buy a vodka. I've gotten rich off this guy. <laughs> Yes, I, uh, I visit occasionally to buy the vodka here. It is the best in the city. Oh, okay. all right, that's good. You got so, your uh, passport? Yeah. You got your American passport? Of course. All right. We're having a conversation. Where's, uh, where's Katya? Katya is stupid enough to intrude us. Oh, Katya, we took, we, we uh, took her to lab. Da? Yeah? Da. Doctor oh said, God, how the, the hell do you think you guys are related, basically? Done. Very good. Right, well, that's patrol. what you want, right? Let's get on patrol, Nova. We don't want to bug the Russians. We don't want to poke the bear. Because it's really fast know, right? and violent. Dasvidanya. Hey, Grand Marshal. Hey, how you doing there, Bundy? Dasvidanya. Yeah, doing all right. Oh, you visiting God, with our neighbors Bundy. here? Just trying to have a conversation. What's going on, I'm Bundy? I'm sorry, here you go. Oh, I was just, I was just asking you, visiting with our neighbors here. Uh, yeah, just saying hi to them, you know. Oh. Hey, Making sure uh, hey, everything's Juno. fine. They're dealing with some uh, bullshit. Oh, oh that's yeah, not people, good. What kind uh, of bullshit? Looks like gang members are trying to get inside the compound. Someone just tried. They shot someone that tried parachuting in. You know, I, I, I don't. I mean, you know, without the protection of the United States government, I can't imagine I'd be nearly dumb enough to parachute onto foreign soil. God knows what they'd do to you. Oh yeah, I mean, they, they could never get out. I mean. And let's be honest, if it's like a gang member, are we really going to scramble the military to get him back? Eh, probably not. We'll yeah, probably say, yeah. eh, keep him. Uh, hey, you got a moment to talk, Sheriff, somewhere? Um, uh, basement of Cerberus, how does that sound? Oh, all right. Yeah. Uh. I got to head to the uh, basement of Cerberus to talk to Bundy real quick. But yeah, it looks like these guys are on high alert. Doesn't look like anything's gonna be happening around there for a while. We may have to suspend operations around Little Moscow. I don't want to risk anybody getting shot down. Them being on high alert. Yeah. Who knows, they might get themselves in a gang war in the next couple of days if they keep antagonizing people. Uh, hey, firm. I'll, uh, I'll back up so you can talk to him. Oh, I appreciate that, Nova. Hey, Paula, you going to bed? Good night. Hope you have a good rest. I don't think it's going to be possible today, Chad. It's too high risk. It is way too high risk. All right, what's going on, Bundy? Uh, where do you land on this whole Russia thing? Um, where do I land on this whole Russia thing? Well, as the general of the Los Santos military, uh, I oppose any foreign uh, force trying to hold ground in our territory. 
and I believe that they should be killed. Oh, thank fucking God. Because uh, Bass and Malton, have, they're both riding the fence so hard on this that I was about to take them to fucking Viceroy to get that shit surgically removed from their asshole. What else is new? There are a bunch of... Listen, you're never going to get anything big done by them except a weight gain. Yeah, and that was that happened so fast. Do you feel like that happened fast? I think we should go take some to the doctor so he can go get his thyroid checked out. It almost seems like it's got to be like a water retention thing or something. I don't, I don't know. Um, God, it just sounded like there was shots over. All right, the, look, I had a guy who was on the inside. Um, he overheard that they have plans, and unfortunately, one of your guys is involved in it. Um, not like he's not intentionally involved in it, but it's Gunner. They apparently have a tape. Um, I didn't see any reports on this incident, so I don't even know if it was recorded. But basically what happened was Gunner went over there and he did fucking Gunner things and he poured gasoline all over one of their vehicles and then he lit it on fire. Well, they didn't do anything. They just stood there and watched and they videotaped it. Wait, who, whose vehicle did he set on fire? One of the Russians. He set one of their like transport vehicles on fire. This was like oh, uh, well, probably he, he does three their, plus days ago. He hung out with them uh, three plus days yeah. ago. He was doing. He did their hard base. Yeah, they're manipulating the shit out of him. They're gonna use him as well, a reason him... to start the war. Do they want war? He, apparently, they're waiting on direction from Mother Russia right now, according to my guy that's in there. They're stockpiling class twos. They've got a whole fucking crate full of them. And they've got that videotape of Gunner that they're planning on releasing and saying that that was the first act of war. Huh. I don't know how to proceed because I'm on strict orders as the general of the Los Santos military to not fire the first shot. No, I, I don't disagree with you. But when they're ready to move, I need you to contact me. Uh, do you have a, uh, do you have a stealth division? You got some Navy SEALs that you can send in there? Um, not at the moment, no. Do you think you can I mean, get some together? I mean, the only thing is, is that, first off, there's no way to infiltrate it. You can't infiltrate their compound. They're on high alert. They'll shoot them down. I mean, they just shot down someone, someone parachuted in, and they started shooting the son of a bitch right in front of us. You think you get somebody on the inside, somebody that's got a uh, passport? I have no idea. Um, they I've all got, seem... I've got, I've got the code to their storage, Sheriff. So before shots start firing or afterwards, if we've got a SEAL Team Six, if we've got somebody we can send in there, we can Check. disarm them before this even starts. Thank you. Bitch. You've done a better job of collecting intel than me. If you got the fucking yeah. code to their storage. Yeah, well, that's, uh, we can thank my guy for that, but I don't know what my guy's name is, so. All right. Who just spoke on the radio? Um, one second, I gotta look at something. Hey, no. Who is that? Second. And you guys are going for this whole, like, like, Futuristic. Uh, you guys don't have like a gray fox. You don't have like an invisible man you can send in there. Uh, I wish I had a fucking invisible man. I mean, that's in the works. We're gonna have our goddamn uh, covert unit and stealth technology abilities, but it's it's in development. Oh, Cerberus so, R and D's okay. busy. But what have you been up to there, Bundy? I mean, listen, um. Got to do what we can to protect this goddamn great nation. No, oh, I agree with you. They were, they, you know, they started this. They were pissing on my goddamn property and setting fires to shit. You know, they, they, they really shouldn't have done that if they wanted me to be on their side. I mean, not sure what we should do. If you get any ideas, bring them to me. Well, I, I think this is information that it's better if we sit on it. Once they make any act of aggression whatsoever, or even once they start campaigning and rallying the troops, or I mean, we all saw how Sandy turned out, right? 
you know, Sandy was a, a bunch of, you know, fence building. Now, check. We already got There that. is no war in Sandy Shores, as Toretti would put it. Yeah. Uh, and then they did recruiting. Check. They're already, I mean, look at the fucks that are running around in red tracksuits right now. Um, the next step was they all... I think once we start seeing some of those signs, uh, you get your SEAL Team 6 together, they come to me, and we uh, we disarm these fucks and take them over by force if we've got to. I mean, if we have to launch a large-scale a scale military operation, it can't be done without Senate approval. We can't make the first move. We're under strict order. It's a recognized yeah. embassy. Us going in there would um, make us war criminals. You know what they do to war criminals? They let them be EMS? Well, I don't want to be an EMS. No, neither do I. Sounds fucking terrible. We'll have to... Listen, we're going to have to, unfortunately, just sit sit by for a little bit. Hold on, I'm getting an important phone call. Second. Hey, what's going on? Hey, where are you? Uh, right now, I'm meeting with Bundy. He's, okay, uh... well, I think Max is going off duty if we're going to do this a different day. Yeah, we can't do it. We, there's no way it can be done right now. They're on high alert. They have hostages, uh, their own what? people in cuffs in their in their meeting room. They have the gate guarded. They have uh, tons of fucking lookouts. Uh, oh, yeah. Have, they're on such red alert that we wouldn't be able to get anything done. Um. Yeah, I think we found a good building now, though, and we know that they have freaking lookouts on the all of the rooftops. I don't think the Russians are doing anything right now other than defending their embassy but right now we got to wait for them to have a lull you know what i mean we got to wait for them to be uh, things yeah yeah okay well um i think we know the building so that's good progress at least all right okay bye bye hey bundy they got two intruders over there let's all head over to the embassy real quick and see what's happening yeah, Nova, yeah. come on. No, Bundy, we'll uh, we'll talk tomorrow. All right. I like where your head's at. Yeah, yeah. The military can't make its first move. Otherwise, no, no. We're starting uh, like World I said, War Three. We gotta wait for them to start it, so we have UN backing. Yeah. Once they start it, then we use the intel. Uh, that's that's what I see. Bringing Bundy in might not be a bad idea. I'll have, to, I'll have to run it by the team. Let them know what our goal is. But we'll have to wait and see. Private Hames will have briefs off duty. Okay. Go, go across the street. All right, what the hell's Fred, going on? Uh, two two CG street, members man. in cops breached. Oh. Oh, it's gonna get dicey here. Is it gonna get dicey? I mean, I'm not gonna get shot, man. I'm. Uh, you need to you need to leave. This is an who the hell do we got and who the hell do you got in custody? Oh, I'm on the arrest. Okay. Press press some other guy. I don't know who they are. you can't hear that. Oh, you will be arrested. Yeah, trespassers. Oh, no. No. All right, do they need medical? Charges yeah, yeah. Against they are these just trespassers. Just want to get them out of here. Misunderstanding. So, all right, listen. Do you guys want us to charge people with terrorism, or are you just going to keep catching and releasing like you're fishing? Yeah, this would be that a question for the ambassador. For ambassador. When he wakes up, he had bad head oh. Oh. All right. What I, what I then why bother 911ing us if you're just going to catch and release them? And say that you don't want charges pressed. Quiet, quiet. Confusion. Confusion. Because uh, I'll charge anyone with terrorism. I don't give a fuck. Well, we, we, it's like we do want them charged, but we don't have permission to so until an ambassador tells us that. All right. Yeah. Is, uh, Comrade On this Gavrilo, is, he the, is he the ambassador? On this occasion, it was confusion. Uh, we have an ambassador, his name is Vitali. He will be around uh, later, hopefully, if not tomorrow. All right, well, if he's around tomorrow, I'll meet with him. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. that would be wise so that we can establish a uh, 
clear policy and have it communicate. It seems like uh, the Chang gang want to go to war with us right now, nah, for some reason. They want to go to war with well, all of Russia. Apprehend this Remy right, character. Just, just nuke little, just nuke little soul and be done with it then. I'll give you, I'll, I'll fucking sign this goddamn paperwork oh, yeah. myself. I'm the general of the military. We are yeah. not seeking to... be doing this to... nation a, a great service. We are not seeking to engage in military action against you. It, we we no. really seek peace with the they United just, States. They just said that they know the radio. Hey, hey, I mean, listen, if you guys got a nuke little soul, I mean, hey, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? I can, I can get Senate it approval. It is what it is. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, There's unfortunate, but it is what it is. One in a and a green WRX. They, uh, they All multiple right. So, warnings to talk with the guy, mister. Everybody who tread on Russian soil, we give to you. We go for we, terrorism. We do have the right okay. to defend ourselves. And we oh, will okay, exercise so that now right. we'll go for terrorism. Okay. No, no, no. This motherfucker who was just here. One guy said he was Mr. K. The other guy, I don't know what his name was. Why aren't you guys torturing him? I thought that's what you guys do. You torture him in the gulag. Uh, we did not torture we, him we did, we did just speak with Ambassador. Yeah, pull out a fucking writing. tooth and get all the information you need. Jesus we Christ. Do I need to fucking writing. join the Russians? Anybody that enters uh, Little Russia should be charged with uh, terrorism. Bah. Hmm. All right, all right. But if they enter unlawfully now. Uh, okay. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go 42. I'm tired today. No. Good night, Grand Marshal. Good night. Good night, Fred. Oh, my God, Fred. All right, sleepy pad till tomorrow. I'm not really sleepy. I just don't want to burn myself out. That's fair enough. If I got to add to start right. throwing in gang members for terrorism. True. It's going to be a busy day. I right. got a lot going on. Yep. Catch you later, Nova. All right, good night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, I don't want to burn myself out in case I decide to do a fucking subathon on Friday. Hey. All right. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and call it. Let me see what's going on. All right. I raided Cannoli a few days ago, but I haven't raided Miles for a while. But uh, yeah, man, I'll see you guys tomorrow at uh, 10 a.m. CST. I hope you have a good day. Be sure if you're new, you hit that follow button, follow the Twitter, and join the Discord, and subscribe to the YouTube channel.